live. I think we're live. How you guys doing? Welcome. Yes. PVP campaign, myself and Pwn. Round two, baby. It's go time. How you doing, man? Yeah. You good? Life yeah. treating well? Sweet, sweet. So the matchup for today, I'm going to be playing my kind of... I think he kind of looks like Gandalf, but he, he's basically a dark culture caster character. Um... And he's going to be combining some weird tomes. We're going to be using a little bit of Holy, maybe some Arcane, maybe some Necromancy if we're feeling a little wild. Uh, we're not sure. We're going to kind of play it by ear. But uh, Pwn is playing uh, just the most, you know, kind of unga bunga get at you barbarian build. So <laughs> Gromash Hellscream is coming to... Uh, you're using... Garrosh. Yeah, Garrosh. Garrosh, yes. So you're using Chosen Destroyers, right? The one where you just like punish bases and get super fat off it? Yes. Yeah, that's super fun. That's gonna I'm be here fun. to raid the lands. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be fun. I wonder. Um, so we have two AI rulers. Burning our women. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's how you roll, man. <laughs> it's an interesting trait. If you get enough free cities near you that you can just punish quickly, you can definitely snowball. But if if like you just have the one near you and you can't find the other ones, you can you can kind of struggle a little bit for sure. Um, get off the white. Get off the fool. Uh, that's going to be a separate episode. So Pwn will be playing Gandalf leading the halflings. Uh, against some, I'll probably be doing Saruman. We, we're going to do that another day, though. So, All right, man. You good to jam? You ready to party? I'm ready. Fire I think all, up. I think all the settings are good, yeah. I don't think there's any. We can always restart, too. So. I hope Mole Man doesn't come back, dude. The revenge of Mole Man. <laughs> yeah, Garrosh is a Warcraft character. Yeah, yeah. He's playing He's playing Garrosh. You'll see, it's a, it's a pretty... Accurate representation from what I've uh, what I've seen. Mole man comes, dude. I mean, if I wanted to go like one hundred percent, I'd definitely make his skin more brownish, yeah, than yeah. red. But the fell orcs are like the cool orcs. They they're pretty rad. They're pretty rad. Um, these are our traits. So you can see we have the dark culture, powerful evokers for some magic, a little bit of this. Um, obviously the other tools are you know just quick reflexes. This is just always very nice, even against AI and whatnot and overwhelming tactics. So. A little bit of echo. Shouldn't be too bad. It's just the nature of uh, my recording space here. So, cool. Let's get it started. And uh, we're going to be starting with the Tome of uh, Foul Witchcraft. Yes. The Tome of Foul Witchcraft. I don't know if I... You've never I've heard never of this heard one. Of the Forbidden oh. the forbidden Ways. I, I'm nervous now. You should be, dude. You should be. You should fear it. Start with that. And you can see our starting army is really good because of the traits we have. You start with like three tier two battle mages. So, it's, uh, it's very, very good. Um... Soulbinder is for our first research. Start auto resolving. Shouldn't need to fight too many of these fights. Oh my god, really? I was I was just bragging about how I'm not gonna need to fight these, and then the first one kills my units. What? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So you can keep doing some map stuff while I just fast forward through this. Yeah, I have a lot of map stuff to do. Works. We're one turn in. Dude, you know what item I unlocked? Uh, I don't think you had it for our campaign. Was the um was the uh, necromancer orb i did have it for our campaign you did have it did you find it was useful or was it just kind of like a little janky I thought it was cool yeah i thought it was pretty good okay gives it light damage yeah that's not bad at all some undead shenanigans it's like no i'm not not losing anything we're fine all right so let's do a little bit of this the cool thing about these like curses is they have like super long range um so we could use the ice shackles on you guys Slow them down. Yes. Curse them all, Anakin. Curse them all. I really like the Warlocks. They're uh, they're super fun characters. So you guys can reach here and here. So let's actually back you up. And uh, we can just like counter charge with these guys once they get a little bit closer. Oh, Gandalf can over channel. We should probably just do that. Well, he, his name's Turn Von Haggard. He's he's not Gandalf, but he's in the ballpark. All right. Yeah, that's right. We got the new uh, new channel stuff. Okay, we we'll just keep our archers there. Oh, I have been shot by the foul peasant mobs. The Bretonians cometh. So I think oh the the AI. So do you know about how you can like stand on top of the um, the AI like corpses and then you can't raise them as the dead. Right. Yeah, I didn't notice that until uh, I was playing around last night a little bit. Yes. You would have to waste your units standing on top of corpses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was like, yes, you were definitely going to lose some units to this fight. 
Okay, let's get you up. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, Warlocks are one of my favorite units. It's honestly why I wanted to play this one today. I was like, oh, the Warlocks would be so fun. I don't think that'll kill it. Practice any battle cries for maximum immersion? I have it. Uh... <laughs> oh. Yeah, Pwn, you need to get some battle cries, man. You're playing Gromash Hell. You're playing uh, Garrosh Hellscream. You want to call him this Chad Dad so bad? I know. Well, Gromash is the coolest. It is super cool. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't go that route, but I know you wanted to do like the. I already have. I do already have him made. Mm, okay, so this is like the Chosen Destroyer, like the more villainous one. Yeah, it makes sense. Yes. All right. So here's here's my character, is Turin Von Haggard. He starts with the Necromancer Orb just because it's cool. And uh, yeah, he'll be hopefully getting some levels. We already found one of the... Um... Wait, did I forget to build a second scout? You always want to build a second scout, typically. Scout Rider, right out of the gates. Maybe Pwn will have to fight his fight now. We'll see. Nope. <laughs> he's not Gandalf, though. Yeah, he's not. No, it's Turin Von Haggard. It's a, it's a different character. Waiting on a decision. Dude, are you just, just cleaving through skulls over there or what? Yep. <laughs> oh, this map. I didn't even take damage. Wow, why is this map? This map is big. It's much bigger than the other one we did. I think it's because I made the underground small this time, so it like wouldn't allow one of the players to start, and it had to maintain the start distance. So this is a much, much bigger map. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is going to be a colossal one. Hmm. Did I forget to end turn? I did. I'm a potato. You did. You did. Please don't make me fight these battles against like water elementals. There you go. All right. Just clearing out the old land. Grab that, get a little mana, keep scouting around. Speed build you. Wow, how do we finish that so quickly? Okay, so we need to see what we want to boost. I've been getting a little bit better about boosting stuff lately. So let's take the farms out of the gates and then we can build some boosted buildings. The experimentation chambers and that requires a forester, which we don't have any near us. So uh, we actually do have one right here. Okay, so we can get that next turn and uh, we'll just work on the chambers for now. Get that knowledge rolling for you. Let's go ahead and get the experienced leader. It's nice for leveling things up. Yeah, we need to get ourselves a Krell. He kind of looks a little bit like Heinrich Kemmler for sure. Zag, zag. It's Zug Zug. <laughs> zug Zug. It is. Okay, we found the evil presence lingering Something in our lands. Something you doing? Something you doing? Grubby does the best of that. His 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 is really solid. He, he's been practicing for a long time. All right, so we have the Whispering Stone. We have a little bit of action going on here. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to do something a little bit different than what you would normally expect. Give the Whispering Stone to our own city. Continue exploring. Don't really care for that yet, but we will soon. And let's go take the Brigand Camp down. Oh! Have you encountered any mercenaries yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just got an item called the Monster Slayer. Tier 3 bow deals 30% damage against large targets. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, so let's take that. Get a Forester, because that will boost several other buildings. So we can boost this now. In the Stone Mason, we need two farms. So we'll build another farm over here. And that will give us the boosted buildings here. So let's get the Stone Mason going. Perfect. I was pretty terrible before. I don't know about you at like boosting like infrastructure as you build it, like focusing on that. Well, I I played the old game, so yeah. So you're more used to it, yeah. Hmm, it's not a bad one. That's not a bad one at all. I wonder if I could Goals take that. Have cool lines in Warcraft Three. Yeah, Juanox, Taz, Dingo. Yeah, the trolls are great. Okay, so that's all going along. We have Soulbinders. We soul be We be jamming. Yeah, they were super rad. My my first victim. Damn it, turn stop deciding things. Dude, you just got decided on so hard, bro. <laughs> oh, I have a wonder here. I don't know if I can I can't remember how difficult this one is. Hmm. Too easy. It's a pretty nice little uh like base location down here actually, if we wanted to like start something new. Maybe we should just give the whispering stone here for now. Well, we'll just start on it, why not? They are evil. 
so that's okay. I, I was always a fan of the ogre voice lines. <laughs> it's clobbering time. <laughs> yeah. The ogres that's are like one of my favorite yeah. Ones. The ogres are iconic, I'm man. Ready. I'm not ready. Okay, so let's set up an outpost here. I'm gonna go grab my food and bring it down here. Yeah, do your thing, man. Turns over, so. Yeah, you passed your turn. Cool. Just up in a nice bath. Yeah, I will soon. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying. So we just gave our um, whispering stone to this free city here, which um, is gonna synergize with our shadow culture, where we get the uh, ten knowledge per whispering stone we have given out. So. Yeah, so our general strategy is is basically we are going necromancy, but we're collecting souls now. We're not going to be spending any souls on skeletons and like early necromancy units. But once we get late game, we're going to spend those souls on like super cool magic and turning our race into the undead um, and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time for sure. And in the meantime, we'll just keep scouting. So we see a small monster den. You keep scouting here. Let's get that watchtower. And it looks like there's another monster den over here. So you can see the map is becoming uncovered. We're gonna set up another city in this corner. We can build it up this way and then we can start expanding this way with our other city. And um, probably just vassalize these guys. I was gonna go kill them just for the experience, but I think there's plenty of stuff around here. We're, we're not, we're doing, um, our tome combination is gonna be very interesting actually. We're going with, uh, there you go. All right, so let's do this. We can annex another territory here that is boosted. And it uh, looks like, yeah, more or less everything is boosted. We need a quarry though. So let's get a quarry over here. Right on that iron deposit should help us build a little bit quicker. And yeah, you can see almost all of our buildings are boosted now. So that's uh, that's what we're talking about. So let's grab this to get to tier two. No, no, Hadris, man. I know you think that necromancy is bad, but I've been scheming it in the shadows. And I, I played a game with Subutai and uh, I've made necromancy work very well in a couple games. I still think I would have done okay if I just didn't lose my base. Yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's good, but you have to. Yeah, there's there's some weird nuances to it. It definitely needs maybe a little bit of a change. How does this game compare to Heroes Three? It's it, it's it certainly feels like in the vein of Heroes Three. Yeah, it's really fun. This game's a blast. It's really fun. Hmm, evil Gandalf. Oh, I have the. Okay, waiting for combat. So you're fighting a fight. I'm guessing. Yeah. No worries, dog. No worries. Do your thing. I don't lose none. Yeah, losing a tier one unit early sucks because you have to spend like you know a, quite a bit of money to get it back, and it feels bad. Uh, no, this is not a small map, Adrian. This is a, a medium map. So it's medium. Yeah, it's pretty big actually. You can see like uh, you know there's there's a lot there's four rulers. We have two AI. Um, so yeah, there's 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 some mole man could be back. Although I made it so the underground wasn't going to be like big so i think that's why it like took that underground space and moved it to the overworld for a media map because it seems much bigger than usual yeah necromancy is good for sure it's it's yeah it's early game isn't super strong although honestly i just use the souls for the necromancy magic and like the magic is really good like soul fire and soul overflow those spells are crazy good so i just don't use them on the undead until late game yeah uh-huh so we'll go maybe clear all this out first. We'll see what our scout can find. Then we'll do the uh, crystal thicket here. Save up a little bit of Imperium. Yes. Dude, Spoon Man's a great song. After we had that stream with Mole Man, I just had to go listen to that song like <laughs> like, like several times. Oh uh, yeah, so currently right now he's fighting his battle. So we have it set where you don't, because when you watch other people play their battles, um, you have more desyncs. Whereas if he just plays through them, there's not going to be desyncs. And we can still look at the overworld map and do some empire management stuff. So, you know, heroes in the crypt yet. Oh, still lost a unit. Yeah, sometimes it's it's like scary it's accurate. Yeah. I also, I, I messed up. I forgot to use a spell. How, da how dare to, you, dude? To, to, to open up my fight. <laughs> no. Where's Anna? Anna's, a, Anna's around. I think she's doing some art today. We, we're going to go back to doing bigger multiplayer games once they fix the desync issues. Because one-on-one -on -one isn't bad, but if you're playing with more than two people, it tends to just be desync over and over. Yeah. Which is not fun. Dude, are you just going to show up at my doorstep right now? The Chosen Destroyer? Yeah, I'm, I'm like... <laughs> away from your base. Are you just charging at me, casting summon irregulars <laughs> with a trail of shitty tier one units? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this campaign might take uh, two minutes. <laughs> that'd be so funny, dude. 
Yeah. Thankfully, I do have my haggard like whispering stone. So the dark dark cultures get that awesome whispering stone trait where they can get vision of their like aspiring vassals, so I can like see them coming. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. So opponent's just making his decision right now, and he's done. So let's apply this. So this is soul binders. Basically, makes our casters apply that and give us more souls for the soul god. Okay, what is that? That is a a giant tier four swamp troll. Uh -huh. Hmm. I wonder if I could take that. I feel like I could. I think that's the best one to open. Okay. So this is actually kind of a scary fight. I don't think we're ready for this one yet. Yeah, this one has the mimics. So we'll come back for that. Um, we'll just go fight these for now. So we'll see what the auto looks like. If I lose stuff, then I'll, I'll end up fighting it. Yeah, I think I can avoid losing that. I think I can avoid losing that for sure. Can you compare this game to anything else? Uh, it feels much, very much like civilization map building with um, Heroes of Might Magic 3 kind of grid-based combat. It's it's I, I really enjoy it. What does this one do? Oh, this is the displacement map. Okay. So I understand why this might be a little bit of a tricksy hobbits this year. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get Gandalf Stormcrow. You guys. Played Warcraft 2 once or twice when you were six. Couldn't even speak English. You learned English from Blizzard games? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, the serpents are on the way. The dread beasts. Can't quite reach them, but we can do some, uh, we could do soul fire, but I think just saving those is gonna be better. Shoot it with your bow. Bring it down. Okay, the Swamp Beast won't be able to make it to us next turn. Let's do this. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. Can we reach the Swamp Beast? I don't think so, but I think we can move up and prepare for it. Okay, it's going to be just short of getting to us. And uh, we can use these scouts to like lure away some of these monsters here and make them like chase the wrong direction. And uh, we can do Ice Shackles on uh, YouTube. Slow them down. All right. And pass turn. Did somebody not cast here? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, we could over channel. Not really any point in doing it. So raising the dead, unfortunately, does require a little bit more movement. So we're going to go here and do that next turn. Oh, man, the troll just threw up on me. Okay. So Gandalf is going to... Evil Gandalf, turn Von Haggard, is going to raise some zombies. <laughs> yes. Yes, perfect. All right, so that thing's kind of a beast to take down, although we do have it a little bit tar pitted right now. Uh-huh. And this dark this dark warrior guy, we're gonna hopefully he just doesn't die to the diseases, but he probably will. Oh my god, that thing's such a raid boss. Apply some weakening effects, just take down the tertiary mobs. Let's weaken him. The warlock's sundering curse is so nice. It's so nice. Uh, you know, I, I, when I first started, didn't like this. I was kind of having a hard time with the shadow cultures or the dark cultures, but I, they've really been growing on me, um, quite a bit. Should have used this before because I have the, ma the mana addict, so I should have cast that in the beginning to get the lifesteal. Yeah, it's okay. Mana addict? I do have it. It's really good. If you're going like mass battle mage, it's like, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Once again. Uh, let's just do the Ice Shackles on him, because I don't really have too much other good magic. What's the other one that you used? Powerful Evokers. Ah, so so you, you are becoming Nagash Von Carson? Yeah, it's it's really uh, a very nice synergy, for sure. More so, I like it because you... Well, the life you see my units are healing when they're doing damage, but... Also, um, starting with... Uh, what's it called? Like, double Battle Mage unit is what I really like. It gives you, like, a very strong start. All right, let's flee the scene. Almost done, brother. Just like one Haggard wallet, Water Elemental. All right, let's blast that thing down. And you can see we have the critical hit thing from the uh, overwhelming numbers. It's pretty nice. Evil, but I really like it. All right, didn't lose anything there. The battle has been won. We'll go clear this out next. So for you, let's go ahead and get Restore. It's always nice to have like a heal in your army, even if you know my army isn't healing focused, it's nice to have that. Let's keep exploring, see if we can find uh, Garrosh Hellscream. 
lot of villainous camps up there. And now we can uh, annex this uh, tranquility pool. It's really good. Researching spells cost 10% less knowledge and it gives you permanent 20 knowledge as well. Yeah. No, Hadri's. I, I, I played, so since we played the other night, I played two PvP games with Subutai and um, several a couple other folks with Necromancy. And what I found to be the key for Necromancy is saving your souls from the early game. So you don't spend them until you get to mid game. Uh, like, so I'm just, I just use them for utility and magic if need be. And then you can immediately become undead and, you know, do all that kind of fun stuff as well. Okay, I need to save some dough, man. I'm, I'm poor as hell. Okay, these guys are getting up there. Hmm, nope. No, thank you. So let's go here for the easier auto resolve. I might lose this guy. Let's see if the if they want to throw my unit. Nope, they killed the scout, which is fine. I was gonna unsummon that thing anyways to save money. And uh, cool. No mole man yet. Have you seen mole man in the shadows? Is he around? I haven't met anybody. It's been pretty peaceful here, huh? Okay, so we can make a shrine or probably do a library first. Man, we are really poor though. We need to we need to step up our financial game. Okay, so that looks good. No traits we want here. Passing turn, brother. All you. Nope, waiting on you. Oh, I just I just finished. Oh, okay, it was just lagging. Isn't that a it? Okay, so now we want to build. Hey, I'm from home. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Mm, we so we have no heroes in the prison. This gives us a little bit of money. The underground laboratory. We could probably fight the Mimic fight by just baiting out with the Dark Warrior here. Okay, Bone Golem we don't care for. We're not going to mess with that. Soulbound thing is, is cool. Ah, The Bone Golem could be worse, but... Bone Daddy? No, I don't go Bone Daddy early. I might go back and get him later. I miss playing the... Um, the Materium Culture. Oh, the Insolent. Looks like it's one of your people. No. Aggressive orcs, followers of chaos. Okay, I don't know if that's you, but looks a little bit. Be barbarian. Yeah. It's the shattered keep. Dude, look at us just burning through these turns, man. Orcs, we are experts. Yes, we're. Unlike Hadrians, deserve their questioning and necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Can I take this? Hmm. When do we pillage turns capital? The second we find it. How, how dare you, bro? Have some respect. What is this? No, no respect, bro. Where is the respect? Yeah, the, the skeleton summon's nice, but I like to save the souls for later and just kind of play more of a standard opening here. Oh, man, I think I can take this. It comes with two of those, like, mimic guys, which I guess I could just send forward a dark warrior and just then it's not that bad. Um, so, yeah, I suppose that's probably the route we go. Oh, man, I really want to take that down because what does it give me? It gives me, eh, it's just mana. I guess we could come back for that later. It's not a huge deal. Go and clear this out, get a little bit of experience. Let's just play it safer. Because there is a small chance I could lose my army to that. I'm not familiar with that one, so. And turn. Okay, so now we can start founding a city here. Looking good. We'll go up and clear this out. Part of me wants to just go karate chop these guys and just force vassalize them, but I think it's going to happen soon enough. It takes longer if you force vassalize them. Just yeah, it can. It can be it can be ugly. All right, so what do we need for this? Another forester. All right, so let's just get this. No, um, no like uh, the relations to grow with you take longer because you because you force them through military actions. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, for me, it's good because I have the dark culture thing where when you kill enemy heroes, you get like knowledge and stuff. So it's like uh, right. There's a little bit more of an incentive there. Soulbind Army, Soul Overflow is the one I wanted. That one's really good. Okay, I found one of the other rulers. It's like the standard Destined Humans. And then, okay, we have not found Pwn yet. We could cross the Misty Mountains here. <laughs> no, we're playing Turin Von Haggard. Yeah, he's like our 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 
evil cackle. He's not evil per se, but he could be. You know, we'll see the 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 way the wind blows. Definitely need to go over here and punish this guy. In game barbarian play, fourteen hound masters. No, in game barbarian plays uh, army of demons. But and, yeah, hell yeah, and berserkers. Pwn plays yeah, cool stuff usually too. Pwn's like a cool. He enjoys the fun stuff. He's not. I mean, that might be the most optimal to spam that, but yeah, we don't. We don't really know. I think the demon units are super cool. Oh, they're so rad. The fiends especially, when you're especially the the uh, the chaos eater. Yeah. That thing is so awesome. Okay. It is. It's it's definitely one of the more flavorful units for sure. Forest of Reflection. How I wonder how hard that wonder is. So we go clear all this crap. Um, we got a small monster den here. Clear up. The Destined Humans are kind of far away for us to like get really aggressive on. So I don't think we're going to go straight for them. But we'll have to see. Yeah, he's definitely more leaning towards evil. Yes. I mean, look at him. No, I, well, Pwn's 100% evil because he has chosen destroyers, which means that like everyone hates Pwn basically. Foreign Dusk, you know, part of me wants to just get in there and just karate chop Let's these Let's go, guys. mini orcs. <laughs> you have the mini orcs, yeah. I love it. Okay, so let's go up here. I think, guys, we just clear this out and just to enforce Vassalize the city because it'll instantly give us a lot of goodies. Um, this will be done in two turns. Although, yeah, the small monster den's good. We'll do that first, and then then we'll we'll see how far along we are. Begin the siege. Uh oh, Pone's already just becoming the chosen destroyer of a city. So, how it works with Pone is every time he kills something, he gets um he gets a permanent increase to his uh, his inc like gold knowledge, and uh, every time he wipes out a city. So for Pwn, his playstyle is just like go and but he's only allowed to have one city. It's pretty fun. Did you insult me? God, really? No, I have to find you before I can insult you. The human guy's already insulting me, dude. Good. I hope he marches to war. He probably will. Garrosh summoning demons is, is the least in character build you could do, which means it's the best build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is yet another totally lore accurate. This is alternate time, you know, Warcraft uh, came out in, with all these different timelines. Yes. So uh, this is the good one. This is the this is the way, huh? This is the one where he is, sips on that demon juice. Hmm, okay. I see where we're going with this. Yeah, I might as well have just made him Heinrich Kemmler, to be fair. Although we're not going pure undead is why I didn't do it. Like, we have some necromancy inflections in our culture, but yeah. The guy, some of you may may not have ever ventured back far enough to see turn what he really looks like that's him yes it is <laughs> it's just 100 percent facts so that gives faithful to those units i really like this tome for the abbey but i think we need to do something a little bit different i was going to go kind of holy rollers but yeah that this tome is also very nice this one's cool too but you know not going to be super useful against the dreaded barbarian hordes so what does this yeah, even so get every time i burn a city i get permanent increase to like lore gold building <laughs> so we're, we're just out hunting cities to to burn the countryside this is what you get for becoming a mercenary pun i just butchered some mercenaries in your name wait i i'm i'm like the least mercenary <laughs> yeah you're the opposite of that nobody nobody will hire me so we could go Tomb of Zeal, which is cool, because then we can get the Legion of Zeal, which gives um, Fighter, but it doesn't really support Battle Mage units. So I think, like, Evocation, let's see, Lightning Blades, Lightning Focus would, yeah. So I think more, like, supporting the Battle Mage route would probably be a little bit better. Yeah. Oh! All right, so Fulmination, uh, Lightning Blades isn't terrible. But we want the lightning focus. There we go, because that'll make our uh, our guys do a little bit more uh, damage. All right. So going over the misty mountains here, we've leveled up once again. So going for this tree here. Strength training is really good. Ten percent damage on your whole army is like is pretty great. Is pwn named Trogdor? He should be. Trogdor. Trogdor's burning the countryside. Yeah, that's some that's Trogdor! some that's some old lore right there, man. Strong bad. Yeah, that's 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 From home star runner. Yeah, that's ancient. Those are the ancient times. Early internet days. 
Oh, perfect. It's just literally spawned this quest right here for us. That right. is a name I have not heard in a long time. Hmm. And then Attack! he. Attack! Are you attacking me? Oh, no, you're attacking a city. <laughs> I was like, Pwn just jumps off the top of this mountain here and just comes down. Oh, all right. We have to, re we have to try it. No worries, man. Do your thing. Take your time. We'll chill with chat. I thought turn the real turn was a mullet. Yeah, I'm like Tamarcon from from Warhammer. Like just the Nurgle the Nurgle parasite that is actually just a mullet attaching itself to human bodies and controlling them. Yeah, I I really like the dark culture battle mages. So like you can go for like necromancy tree to get soul binders and um, necrotic magic which makes them do like it stops healing and does damage over time and then you can go for like the arcane tree to give them frenzying focus and like so they get more critical strike. It's really fun, and then you just have a wall of undead in the front of you. It's it's a cool playstyle. Um, it's a really really fun playstyle, and now we can get a second hero, which is really strong. So, let's see what edge lord heroes we can get. So, unfortunately, not really too many good traits. And this unit attacks an enemy; it gains a stack. Yeah, it's like I might even take a level one hero, because this guy at least gives production to a city he's in. So we'll probably take him, even though he's only level one, which sucks. But oh man. All right, so we don't have anything boosted down here. We would need a forester, which um, I guess we can, yeah, get this forester right here, and then we can at least start to build this city up in the back. Dark knights are the yeah, dark knights are really cool. We might use some in our build. I'm not sure. You bastards! You bastards! How dare you, Pwn? Killed one. He just killed one. I guess. Every auto resolve. You thought you could outsmart the AI? Just cackles. And... No, 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 he had a it, it had two of my guys. <laughs> oh, okay. So you you, you had die. a net positive. Hmm. Oh wait, that's not what I want. It is what you want. That's that's what we looking for. I did. I got the bow, so we're gonna go for a bow character. Yes. I have that tier three bow, which Pone will be eager to steal. What I often do is I use, um, one of my favorite strategies has been using a hero in my main army with my main hero. Like, so I have two heroes for, for the main force. And one of them's like a pure combat and the one the other one's like support. It's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it comes together with your little mole hands. <laughs> oh yeah. 18 Imperium to lock this up. Is there anything I even need here? Not really. Nah, so we could just attract some territories. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jacob. All day, man. All day. The Fetid Legions with Whiteborn is such a fun combo. Oh, it's so fun. Okay, looking good. You, you're still in the fight, right? I just want to make sure we didn't desync, yeah? And Pwn's streaming, by the way, too. Um, if we have somebody in chat who could drop a link, and I'm sure he can afterwards to his stream. He's, he's live streaming his perspective if you guys want to see it, so. I almost lost something there. Dude, the AI is coming, coming for blood. Fat heel. Yeah, you got some dreaded barbarian heels. I do. People definitely do not expect the dreaded barbarian. Well, what's funny is he Pwn's playing like this giant like linebacker orc, but he's probably going to go for the spawnkin race transformation. So he's just going to be like the wee king of Angmar, like from our other stream. Yeah. Anybody have a device for an industrial faction? Yeah. So industry is crazy good. I think. Um, what I like to do for industry is go for. You know, one I go for like one industry tome and then one casting tome, whether it be uh, arcane or so. I have a, a front line of like really tanky units and then a secondary line of battle mages is or some something like that. It, it's been really pretty effective. Um, I basically played like a chaos dwarf playstyle that was very much in line with that. It was like a tanky front line. Yeah, it's it's fun. It can work well because industry are just so rich and you need to prospect too. Like if you're on a big map like this and you have like three scouts just constantly prospecting all the mountain ranges, you are going to be straight up rolling in money. Are you live streaming, Pwn? Somebody said they checked your channel and they didn't see it live. I am. I got I got people here. Yeah, he is. Maybe you just got to like click on the channel and look through it or something. I'm not sure. It's under live. It is under live, yes. So Pwn's fighting a siege battle right now. We have our quest here to take down these, and then we go to the small monster den. Getting level 5 is a huge power spike for us, especially if we get the Undead Summon. That's like the one we really, really want. The city has fallen. My lord. The city has fallen. Burn it to the ground. How long does it take you to raise? Uh, four turns right now. Okay, that's not too bad. 
So when he raises that city because of his faction trait, he's going to get a permanent, I think, 60 gold or is it 40 gold? It's 40 and then 20 knowledge and something else, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's something in that ballpark. Thanks, Adri. Appreciate it, man. All right, so let's do this and we will take the Forester and that will give us a boosted uh, growth building and the workshop we need a one farm. So we'll... Set up a farm before we, uh, a boost before we do that. Got another hero over here. You got another hero? No. The AI who I'm burning. Oh! Oh, you're already the small chief. Look at him. It's, it's war chief Garrosh Hellscream. <laughs> He's supposed to be this like 10 foot tall orc, dude. And you're just like the, <laughs> just, just the, the Garrosh Wee scream, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Hater's gonna hate. Go to Pwn's chat and call him a mercenary. <laughs> I like how that's like the new insult for this game. Filthy mercenaries. You better not. Hmm. What do I get? A night guard? So it's a tier 2 unit. This gives us that. I almost want to just take the money. The food is nice though too, because that gives us population growth. Yeah, I'm going to take the money so I can recruit my other hero now. So let's go ahead and do that. Crew to second hero. And uh, yeah, so it's all about taking the character that has the order adepts, gives us plus three order affinity. That's actually not bad either, because that will help us unlock some nice tech in the order tree. But the builder is also nice for a new city. Plus 30 income is like the equivalent of several building buildings. Yeah, I think we'll take the builder guy, because we can just respec him um, to be an archer. So it doesn't really matter too much. All right, so yeah, builder is quite good. So what does he start with? Yeah, he's level one, so he literally has nothing. So we're just gonna give him the bow. And he will head up to join our main army. And then we need to make him the governor of the city. Yeah, 30 plus production is fat. That is like really fat. Okay, so we need to take this node here. Also need to annex this. So we can go ahead and make a mana node there. Okay, looking good. This guy's run. I think, or no, I guess he hasn't. We need three foresters. Is that even possible here? It doesn't look like it is. So I think boosting that is going to be pretty much pointless. Uh, another quarry isn't bad. Let's do that. Build speed is always good. That will boost several other buildings. Filthy mercenary. How dare you? You are a filthy mercenary. How dare you? <laughs> Are you just going to declare war on me as soon as you see me? Just the... Yeah, hmm. by the time we... Our cities meet, you will you will see the power of a... Of a, uh... War breed. Oh! <laughs> the dreaded war breed. Oh no. So war breed is like a tier 3 unit, I think? I think it's tier 4. Well, it's a tier 4, but don't you get it from one of the tier 3 tomes? I could be wrong. Hey, that sounds right. Sounds like it could be right. I'm not sure. So we'll get a farm here next with our next batch of Imperium that we managed to get. Gold. Gold, my lord. I wish you could rename characters in uh, in uh, in this. Let's see. So we can go here and pay them to leave. Uh, clear the node without a fight. Yeah, so that blocks growth in my main city. But could I even annex that territory? Yeah, he's on. It, it literally is one of my annexable territories. Yeah, it's fine. So that also gives us the mana as if we won the fight, which is cool. Okay, player decision. Moving up into the woods, and uh, we can. Can we reach the small monster den? Not quite. It'll be nice to equip later. It'll be nice to what? Equip later. Yes. So now they have lightning and the the dread, the dread thing as well. Could we go could go for a tier three, but yeah, we need to we want to wait for that to be boosted before it's really worth it. To be fair, and that is going to be three farms for the Masonic Hall. So we needed one more farm for this territory. So let's grab that. It's going to boost the workshop for us. Get the library, and uh, this would take uh, a forester and a quarry. So we need a quarry here. Which we can get a little bit later. 
Someone calls you a war machine, chosen destroyer, but for me, you're just a mercenary. You are, dude. You're just a filthy mercenary. Ah, uh, Fulminations, 15 lightning damage and an AoE radius, which isn't bad. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Keep that momentum up. Hellstream was described to be Lord of the Clans, but smaller than both Rolf and Doomhammer, but with jet black hair and burning soul aside. Sounds, sounds I'll, about right. I'll so, like, I did not play oh, WoW, damn. but I know that, like, his picture from, uh, his stuff that I've seen in Hearthstone, he's, like, always bald. Hmm. Probably this one is the what direction we go. To, to grow mash Hellscream. We didn't get a good trade on our lord at level 5, which sucks, but it, it's not the end of the world. Pa Papa Hellscream. He, he had long jet black hair. Is Pwn just the, the lord of WoW lore over there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you know that. You know Grom has long hair. Yeah, I do remember that. From the cinematic. That was so cool. They, one of the OG ones. Did I take down the pit bull? All right, so Bone Golem, we could just throw in there. Lightning Torrent's okay. It's not like that amazing, I don't think. We'll take the Bone Daddy for later. Yeah, the 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 virulent outbreak isn't bad. Like, it, it, I believe it applies some nice debuffs. So that that is something to consider. Okay, so let's get you in there, and then we can fight this. Should pull in our other character. Yeah, and then we can auto here. We shouldn't lose anything to that. Spy oh, I got a good item though. So this allows me to summon a, a spider. It's only a tier one spider, but you know, summon items are just always good. I guess we need to rename this, right? That's what you get for my becoming- voice, uh, My voice is probably a little low because my mic's a little further away from my mouth because I'm eating food. So I'm just trying not to give you guys the, that juicy lip smacking. Cone's a, a true champion. Uh, you can click, you can rename heroes. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm not really playing like a, a lore build here. This is more of like I think a <clears throat> functional one. So, oh, it's sto it's a raging quite the storm outside. So guys, if I if I <laughs> if I get banished from electrical or internet outages, that's why. If you just get picked up and it's care a storm and something fierce, not 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 tornado, <laughs> just lightning and rain. Phone just carried off into the sunset. Like, oh, all right, stone basin. We need another farm here, so we'll wait on that. What else do we have boosted here? Experimentation chambers are always good. Can maybe set up another city over here too. It's a, it's pretty good. No, it's just dinner. <laughs> and uh, what else do we want to do? Looking good. Ending turn. Can't imagine a head-to-head -head in Total War 3 without me. Oh, thanks, man. That's right, dude. S speaking the truth. Oh, dude, we have some... Uh, og How do you spell Ogremar? Ogre. Ogre Ogremar? Yep. Like the capital? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure uh, off the top of my head to be honest. We're gonna call it Black Rock because I think there used to be fell orcs there. Black Rock and let's enter. Oh, did I just get attacked by some some mercenaries? Uh, the land of Oz is the shadow realm. Clicking our heels together. Alright, so let's see this. Our juicy bonuses have come. The city has burned. Oh, that was lagging there. Okay, I was wondering why it wasn't letting me do that. Okay, so he leveled up. He is just legitimate going to be an archer. Um, so Cold of the Week is always good. 20% damage is, is super nice. This thing do? Oh. That's pretty good for me. We have met another ruler. Let's we'll see who they are. Back to that. So we have, we have our other ruler, the Ashborn Hedonists. I don't know if you've discovered them yet. The Ashborn Hedonists. Yeah. The... This guy, yeah, that's the one. That's the other people I've discovered. You and them. Oh yeah, they're they're hanging out. I wonder if it's worth it soul binding the army. Like part of me wants to save my mana. But let's just try it and see how much more we get. You shall not pass. I I like feel like it's not worth it to soul bind. You get like a couple more, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It doesn't take souls. Yeah, it takes mana, but I like to bank my mana for some late game summons. All right, let's see if we can get an auto here that's easy. Cool. Oh, ho, ho, I got a Frostworm mount. How jealous are you, dude? Yes. Super. Yeah, you better be, dude. <laughs> can we reach that? No, we can't quite reach that. 
It doubles the amount given, but like, look at yes. that. Yes, my alignment has been changed to very evil. Oh no. Should just pack up our cards and go home, dude. Do you fear me? No. I do, I do. I, I fear and respect you. Good. Put some respect on the name. Stonemason. See, like, I didn't... Did I even get more souls from that? Like, I feel like I didn't. I don't know. It didn't seem... It didn't seem like it was... Seem like it was worth it. All right. So, we have some higher tier stuff that we want to save up some Imperium for now. The Ashborn Hedonists. Your sorcerers do more damage to soulbinded people. They do. But I can just... They apply it when they hit things anyway. So, it's kind of like... Yeah, it feels it feels redundant. I don't know. Maybe it's good. I attacked the next turn. It, maybe maybe it didn't apply. I don't know. That was that was very weird. Oh, you want to hear the mukbang mercenary food snack? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for lightning blades. I can't talk to Thrall about the storm because he's probably pissed that I went with Try the this. Work route. Okay, let's see. So sixty-four up to. 13. Turns us in a Wait, state of combat. did you guys see that? I just got 13 souls, but my soul count went down. This guy's lord's just running around. Oh, it's because when I'm auto-resolving, the AI is casting death spells. Oh, God. Oh, we just figured it out, guys. So the AI is using the death magic. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Okay, we... Ex we we learned this together. Hopefully this will save you guys much suffering. But that sucks in a head-to-head -head, because you don't want to, like, force your buddy to sit through every battle, you know? Oh, man, that's really bad. That's really not good. Okay, so that's per adjacent quarry or mine. Yeah. Oh, that explains that. You can toggle that off. All right, that explains a lot. That explains a whole lot. I was wondering. It's a very easy thing to miss. Very easy thing to miss. Have you go grab this. Now we can come down here and do this quest by our base. You can auto without... Yeah, but it's going to make the autos worse because I, I have a mana addict army. So if my army isn't casting spells, then it's um it's not good. He takes uh, penalties. Yeah, I take leadership take penalties for not casting. Mm -hmm. mm, the plot thickens. It's all good. Yeah, I was wondering why I wasn't, like, saving any. It felt like it was weird. The Lord Sinran's just, like, running around scouting. I almost want to declare war on them. And... I mean, you you well, are I don't the... want to take the Imperium hit, though. You need to fabricate. I learned my lesson there. <laughs> you need to fabricate it, man. Uh, by the time I'm ready to do that, then he, he'll, I'm sure he won't be standing right here near, near, my, near my city. Yeah, yeah. I should have insulted him though when I met him. That's didn't feel like going to war with the other player just yet. Sixty G's. Let's keep heading down here. Someone sent a war party. I don't know who. Okay, so now we get our next home. So this one's pretty good, but I want to start working on this. This is my power fantasy to make this one work. So we're gonna try it. Mmm. Yes. No. Summon the beast. No. Pones just like no army I'm... of Turin. You found one of my armies. I just see your scout. Oh, okay. Not too bad. He must die. What? You're gonna kill my scout? Oh my god. It'd be funny if I did though. It would be quite funny actually, for sure. All right, so what do I need to like boost things? Is there anything that isn't really boosted? We need more quarries, so let's just throw one of those bad boys up. Your skill rating's boosted. How dare you? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we're all good. Passing do turn. The, do you remember the TV show Your Mama? I I I don't actually off the top of my head. I think I could be like reminded. It, I mean, it was like literally just people like insulting each other, like making your mom. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I think yes. I remember now. I think I remember it. Come on, get, yes, I succeed. Don't I didn't bother reading everything I get for that, but 
Looked like a net positive, so we'll take it. <laughs> the barbarians don't read, dude. They just just bang their heads on things. Yeah, there's no no me's no read, me smash. Dude, Hulk smash, man. All right, um, an infestation is attacking my forces. What? Oh, there's an infestation over here. Okay, got it. Got well, it. Got it. To, you know it's fun to turn around and gets incredibly chaotic. Hmm. If you turn turn on the respawning, uh, infestations. Uh, infestations. Every ten turns, they just like randomly sprout up on a map. That's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> like on unoccupied territory. That sounds like yeah, fun. but eventually, like you're out doing other stuff, <laughs> and then they just keep spawning <laughs> and spawning. <laughs> I guess you would probably just want like a dedicated army that's like there to just like hammer them, right? I think that would be the way. Okay. Yeah, this army's auto resolve is pretty crazy now. You notice we take like zero damage. Um, we don't need to draft. Oh, I get an item in Nightmare. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the Nightmare mount for our archer guy. I I know it gives him ten more HP. So even though he's not like a close quarters fighter guy, it still is pretty rad. Oh, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sure, why not? We don't want any of this. This is what we want. Yes. Yes. I'm only ever going to have one city. We'll eat that cost. I actually, I am a, I am a Banshee enjoyer. I, I know they count as battle mages, so they buff, they get buffed by all your other stuff, which is cool. Um, let's go ahead and do archery too. Oh, I think Banshees are great. Me too. I, I, I didn't, I... You got to be patient with them. You can't just be like bum rushing in ahead of your army. It's like a very tactical unit. Yeah, they're not as tanky as like the earth elemental, you know? Yeah. You don't want to just blink it in and throw it away. Okay, so we got a vassal here. We got those two. This is going to be our next prize here, these guys. And uh, enter. I wish there was some tomb tech to make use. Scouts are, can actually be good in battle. If, if you want to be really degenerate, you can um, you can go for the uh, the faction trait or the army trait, whatever that makes all your characters have spider mounts, and then you just spam scouts, and they all have the spider mount, which has the web attack, which is really overpowered. And you just have like an army of scouts shooting webs and snaring and doing damage. It, it can totally be made to work. <laughs> Siphon evil, yeah, we're going very evil against Pwn for sure. Although he's evil too, so it's just it's evil, it's evil all around. But I am the most. Evil yeah, he's definitely. Ever evil. Yeah. He's really got me beat there. He's definitely the most evil. So we just got the trait that makes it so when something dies in combat, we get more casting points. It's essential for this playstyle. Um, pass turn, brother. All good here. The humans, the destined humans of Silver Ridge are moving down from the north. Here's Pone's Unga Bunga town with six population over there. Let's see what we're at. Okay. <laughs> He's setting up outposts everywhere. I'm not. Is this your outpost? Oh no, that's he has a very similar color scheme to you. Oh, it got really laggy there. I don't know about you. You getting a little bit of lag, or is that just me? Uh, yep, I'm definitely getting a bunch of lag. I think it's the AI is like moving in some weird way or something. All right, cool. We'll take that. So that's just a quest to kill some shit in our territory, which is we're already still nearby. I think so. We can just yeah, they're literally right next to our base. Um, we now we just. Mercenaries. Oh, I'm trying to go there, but turn, turn fights every turn. So Literally auto resolved it. Has has an army ready to fight every turn. So that's what I. That's what you get. So by the way, guys, if you wanted to be more efficient with the necromancy playstyle, you wouldn't be auto resolving. But you know, I'm not gonna make my my pal sit through that. It's pretty pretty lame. Um. All right. So we go down here. I just don't understand how you always have things right near you to fight. Because I'm moving around efficiently. Wow, I need to learn. I need to watch your stream. You do. You should need to watch it. Watch to learn. Uh, it's not Saruman. This is Turin von Haggard. He's he's just my own homebrew necromancer kind of caster type character. Saruman. Saruman the stinky. The mole man cometh. I don't think the mole man made it into this game. Turin. No. I think there's two humans, right? Yeah. We well, one of them's like some sort of a. I think it might be an elf actually. I'm not sure. 
each other's big hat mage nerd who's the big green red ma mean machine. <laughs> you got it. Dude. You call me a nerd, dude. Oh my it, god, so mean. Dude. I didn't. I didn't call you. A nerd. How dare you? That was, thought we were friends. A spell eater. Okay, let's keep grooving. I mean, he's not wrong. How dare you, dude? <laughs> god. We'll go get this tree next too. It's a really nice one to have. It gives us the uh, old astral keepers, which is fun. Kind of sucks to run all the way back down here again, but I think it's worth it to annex the wonder. Um, that this one's nice. Oh it's, yeah, fat crit. Whoa, fat crit, bam a lamb. Did you get a big crit? I think I'm going to here. Are you in a fight right now? No, oh, I'm picking my my magics. Oh, okay, got it. It kind of looks like Gandalf though, a little bit for sure. Yeah, soul wells give you three per turn. I'm gonna build those. Hundred percent. But I, I wanted to unlock this stuff first. Might as well restart the map. Then. <laughs> no, sorry, there's no Molman. Restart. <laughs> Everyone's pretty disappointed about the lack of moles. Turn was expecting me to make a mole man. <laughs> I thought that's what was going to happen. I, I expected the, the mole memes out of you. You're pretty fast turns for me. I'm just like waddling around. Um, nothing we really want here. Summon one more of these. Just misclicking like it's nobody's business. Mole man. I guess I'll turn off the um, the spell magic and see what that looks like in terms of the autos. Okay, so city's building here. How's building looking here? Pretty good. The dreaded dread spiral will be finishing. And get a wizard's tower for some more Imperium. Doom Depth Tramps is really good. It gives you um, extra knowledge for how evil you are. Oh, I'm evil, baby. Are you evil? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very evil already. That's what I like to hear. I've already, already ransacked uh, some people who were just trying to live their best life. Oh, did I keep misclicking here? Because this stupid city icon is like blocking me. There we go. Okay. Yes. Feed them to the unholy followers at my city. Oh. <laughs> 76 souls, we're gonna take that, because that basically guarantees us to get our whiteborn when we when we age up. Alright, so now Big spooky lost wizard. Lost wizards are no joke, man. They're pretty pretty scary. Would be nice to have another army to go do some clearing. We'll go down here. Yes, he's one of the, the lost the lost forbidden blue wizards, correct? Wait, I never rearranged this person's uh skill set. Let's replace that with a Doom Depth Trench. Joy Siphoner is one of my favorite spells in the game. Why did nobody tell me that I almost forgot this? Yeah, we need some mana. We're going to leave me out to dry. going to throw you to the dogs, man. Okay, looking around. We produce an institute, so we need some mana buildings now for sure. Uh, let's go with this is a great one, by the way. Precision training, accuracy, and crit chance for your army. Super nice. And did our archer man level up? I don't think so. Evil presence lurks in these lands. Does it? Spiels? The astral ripped here. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure, Sammy. Yeah, no, I, I realize that now. Oh, I was wow. playing this I was playing this build on my own, and I wasn't having any issues accumulating souls. But now that I'm having auto with Pwn, it's... Uh, I actually yeah. open here. You're going to lose somebody? I, I, I thought I was, I thought I was gonna lose my lord. I thought I was about to drag this lost wizard into a fight with me. Oh my god! Really bad. The lost wizards are just freaking brutal, dude. They are they are really really nasty. Cause they 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 know how to like kite you back. You know they run they like run into the bushes and like cast spells from the corner and are just laughing at you and. Definitely not ready to fight something that, that powerful yet. Per adjacent conduit, so we could just do this, like so. All right, so that should get some mana. Uh, Soulborn is, it's a little bit, I think it's 150, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's 150. Just keep summoning and reinforcement. So we'll do that next turn. Wizard Sour will give us some more Imperium. We got all the goodies coming. Uh, nothing we really want to do here. Founding Absorbing Cities, now nah, we're okay. Free city can be integrated. Um, they are a dreaded dread legion city too, so maybe integrating them wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know how good their research, the development is though. 
Hmm. I've tried Evil High Culture. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. Getting a lot of really easy to do quests. I don't know about you. Although that one looks like it's further away. Yeah, it's all the way over there. My quest would be easy, but I'm. You see, I'm busy turning. How dare you? About to ransack the next one. people trying to live their best life. Uh, okay, we should be fine. What does this do? You enter as come to life and reveal. Oh, the mirror mimics. Okay, so there's a couple of those. An upcoming resistant attackers is active. It's a lot of mana. This is 204 mana, which I don't have. So I just get bolstered resistance. Yeah, I mean, it's not even that good. All right, let's see what the auto-resolve looks like. If it's bad, man, I probably should fight this. Yeah, I'm just going to fight this wonder. Because it's the AI is just going to run the wrong unit in to get hit by the mirror mimics, and I'm going to lose. Mirror mimics, OP. They are, dude. They're not as OP as my dreaded spider hatchling summons, though. Aha! Uh -huh. you have, you have oh, no, he didn't cast it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, I guess he gets oh, to... No. I accidentally, like, moved him. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. That was weird. Nice spider hand. Okay. I, I think it should hit the nearest unit. I'm not 100% sure. That wonder, was there a mole man? No, there's no mole man in this one, unfortunately. Just these, uh, these mirror mimics. Okay, so they should move into range and make become a copy of that. So let's go ahead. Yeah, we could do this. It only affects two of those units. Okay. Okay, it worked that time. Jeez. So we just send this spider up, and that's going to... Um, the AI will then make a copy of those guys. Fulmination. And then we can do some uh, some nice little nukes here. Some Sundering Curses from downtown. Man, the range on that is incredible. It's really good. And he's just going to chill to get his like full shots. Um, we could do a little bit of shock damage, but I want them to get the spider. Yeah, I'm trying to bait them, if I, I remember. Oh, okay. We could... Oh, yeah, dude, get wrecked. Of League of Legends. Okay. So this morning, I was like, man, I want to play some League of Legends. So I got on, hopped into a game, but I couldn't, like, load into the match. Yeah. Why is that? Well, I thought I thought something was wrong, like, with my computer. Like, I restarted my computer. I uninstalled the game, reinstalled it. Nothing. Finally, I, like, went online and uh, saw that the servers in North America were just like all fucked up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> I, told, I, I told my buddy that story and he was like, he's like, wait, you uninstalled the game and reinstalled it before you went online to look? I was like, it was an oversight, I admit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, I guess they steal my faction trait too, the missile resist thing. I think they become a perfect copy. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Perfection. Okay. Let's bonk this guy down. We can cast a little bit more magic here. Mole Man will always live in our heart. Mole Man was the best character in the last campaign. Later that night, after we finished, I went and just beat the... I just, like, absolutely steamrolled Mole Man to get the Pantheon points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Spell Eater. The, the strat is that we are going to mouth-breathe our ass off and just chop turn up with all of our... So we we went uh, chosen destroyer and we went runesmiths, which makes like all in, all of our enchantments cheaper and stuff. So we're just gonna super buff all of our units and uh, drop the hammer on turn. Is the game? How dare you, dude? Okay, so I should crushed. get some I should get some good souls from that. Gonna Although Russian skulls. Yeah, I only got eleven. I couldn't soul bound them. So look at this guy. I, I love the, the design of the Lost Wizard. They look so, so sweet. The Lost Wizards are definitely one of the coolest uh, coolest pieces. Coolest <sighs> units you can't get. <laughs> Spirit Wolf Companion. The Forbidden Tome. 
And the first weapon is Staff of Decay. Let's just take the money. Although the mana will allow us to um, cast the, the army buffs. Turns typing slash greed is good over there. I'm cheating, dude. You're in, you're in huge danger. <laughs> he just warped right on top of my base. <laughs> that would that would definitely be in character. All right. Um, well, we have enough for that? Really? Would it be the first time you did this? So this one's pretty good. It gives you damage against low LD targets. It it's, it's requires a bit of pieces to get working, but it can get there. I still haven't met the other guy. You haven't? Which one? No. I, uh, I've met uh, Sinran. Oh, I'm getting all the all the haggard ones. Except, okay, we got one good one there. The dreaded Ashborn, who declared me his rival. Yeah, I was thinking about playing some diplomacy with those guys, but I was like, eh. <laughs> Show that nerd the library isn't the coolest place. The gym is. That's right. <laughs> Tur the second that I roll up on turn, we're gonna give him the legendary dreaded atomic wedgie. <laughs> they shoved me in the locker. <laughs> oh god, dude. And if, if, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll even give him a swirly. How dare you? Such a bully, yeah. man. Pone's like your, come, your your classic 90s bully. Ooh, we got a fury. That was pretty good. All right, so we got some rats coming from ditch, the hills here. Ditch this lame-ass human. Uh, we did the siege. Yeah, there we go. Cause despair. That's what we want. Cause despair. Doom and despair for all. We're about to finish a couple nice buildings. How's your uh, how's your chosen destroyer's empire going? The next city will burn soon. Okay, okay. So he's certainly destroying some things. I am straight up Archeon the ever chosen. Character. Yeah, that would actually be a very fitting character for this uh, playstyle that you're doing. Hmm. While Pwn's finishing his turn, we could do a little bit of feeling it out here. Declaration of friendship. How strong is he? I'll be your friend. You don't. I was. I, I assumed. Uh, I was looking at the strength ratings, and I was like, oh, I wonder who's the strongest. And I just see the dreaded Garrosh shitting at number four here. Oh. <laughs> oh man. My whole man. You guys are gonna. I'll show you the, some of the cool stuff you can do with these units in a minute. Once we get another fight here and this upgrades, um, I'll probably end up fighting this. So. Yeah. We're staying in character. You're staying in character? Is that what you said? Yes. Mm, okay. What is this person? Garbage. But do you have the crystal thicket in your domain, giving you 20 mana per turn? Uh, no. Let's see, then that's how we know you're in trouble. <laughs> All right, oh, cool. shit. We did not prepare. You are not prepared. For the crystal thicket. Our next enchantment arrives. The plus thirty percent crit chance. All right, let's get this. Get those soul wells online. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting it now. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do against like my berserker army when I get that? I'm so ready for your berserker army, bro. Okay, well then I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just the dreaded switch up. I didn't know it was like that. So we're getting our soul wells in our two provinces. So that will give us what we need. How's your knowledge doing, bro? Are you wise, a wise barbarian horde over there? I'm doing, I'm, you know, I my I don't so <laughs> much as like study as it's, much as I just beat people up and take and just like take their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You unga, unga bunga it. <laughs> How good are the beast homes in late game? I actually think they're really good. I if you get a leader and you dedicate your leader to buffing all the beasts, and there's some spells that buff beasts. Like that's what I that's one of my personal favorite builds. I think it's incredibly powerful. Yeah. Your guy Yeah. So strong. they're immune to uh they're immune to mind control. Oh yes, dude. Dude, the the dreaded ice spider matrix. This thing's tier four. Oh is, is it in your army? Do you get one? No, 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 no. That'd be awesome. It's like Pone's cheating already. I wish. Hmm. This, thing, this thing has frozen web. Has a chance to freeze people. <laughs> Let's do. It's a melee attack slows. I saw an ice dragon in one of my games. 
That's so cool, dude. I don't know if you've seen that thing, but it has the like every turn units next to it just take ice damage and have a small chance of being frozen. That sounds really fun, dude. You when we were playing our last game, you were doing like the ice transformation, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. Did you get a chance to like get that offer? Against you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, I think you casted oh my it, God, right? That's right here. Yeah. Ancient wise barbarians. Yes. If violence doesn't solve the problem, you're not using enough of it. Yeah. It's wisdom. I was insulted. Yes, dude. Get insulted, man. I need to find out who the, the strongest guy. Already. Which? Oh, you're getting sieged by somebody already? Oh, I'm sieging. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, damn, dude, where are you going? Bloodlust for immersion. Oh, I'll get there eventually. Yeah, you have. Bloodlust will come. You have to do bloodlust, yeah. Yes. Man. We we drank the blood of Manoroth. A little bit of lag here, huh? Yeah, uh, just a wee bit. It's uh, maybe it's because there's I don't know the map's big. Who knows? Pillaging a province takes minus one turn and gives us stuff. Uh, That's really we'll good for you. That's so good. That. Mines grant ten draft. We'll take that. Like I don't have to spend Imperium on anything else other than tech. So we'll just spam all these techs. Yeah, none of these are that good. I'm shuffling through trying to find. Them. I guess we'll grab you. At some point, that could be pertinent. And uh, this one's really good, by the way. Necrotic magic. It's it's crazy strong. Not really. I I want the. I like the, the. Okay, moving through there. Now let's see who the strongest is. So apparently the destined human guys is just like the Chad right now. Yeah, look at him. He's just sitting up there all powerful. What is what is making him so strong? Okay, he's got a weak magic, but the strongest everything else. Jeez. <clears throat> Wait, where, where do you see these power rankings? You just click I on the don't. diplomacy and then you you can look. Where's where's this guy? So this guy's in the bottom left corner. Click on diplomacy. Can we not seek counsel as we once did? Gonna befriend this guy. We have to just turn everybody against the dreaded destroyer pwn. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so you can like see how you're doing. Are you in the pits? Your, your numero dos. Yeah. I, I, I think it's because I don't have a third city. I think that's part of it. I think the the balance of power really like likes the uh, lose mana. I just summon another unit. We'll see what the balance of power thinks oh. about that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How you looking now on the old balance? You doing good? I don't know. I think it still says I'm overall ranking four out of four. I like to imagine that means I'm number one. You're you're doing I'm great, man. Mm, so well, and then we can just get a shrine down here. This game knows nothing, John. It doesn't. It really has no idea. Okay, I'm very evil now. How are you, how evil are you? I've been very evil for a long time. Okay, so you're just you're just crushing me in the evil department. Yeah, I I became very evil after my first city <laughs> sling. Dang, dude, it happened quick. Hmm. A lot of the our armies are probably strong enough now that a lot of the fights will be manual. Although I'll, I'll still fight the big one in the, if I end up going to at the city here. Burn, burn. Oh my god, what are you doing, man? Burning the countryside. Here's Blackrock. Yeah, you are. It's old Blackrock up here. Here's Pwn. The evil barbarian warlord. Mm. Are you about to try and snake my city again? Which city? You want me to? I could get there pretty quick if you want. <laughs> Just roll up. Oh, that'd be very troll. Oh, this guy's looking extra cool. I rolled up. I rolled up. The dark culture is like every, like, you know, everyone's power fantasy when they're like 13 years old. It's like, oh, look how cool they look. <laughs> yeah, 13. <laughs> <laughs> to this day. <laughs> uh, that seems really good. Yeah, you in good shape there? crit chance going up? No. Pwn with crit chance. I don't know if anybody can stop him. Power overwhelming. So we're pretty much ready for the Whiteborn now. We're going to get it like right away. And then we can build up souls enough to do some summons in battle. Why did my chat crash? Pwn's internet just, uh, just dying there. Accuracy? Yep, we'll sell. We will sell remains there. How jacked is Gromash? What level is he? I'm level 7 on my guy. I'll, I'll offer the info five. first. You're 5, yeah. You're the same level as my side hero. Oh. Oh. That kind of sucks, actually, with Chosen Destroyers. Because you, you get penalized for a second hero because you only have one city, right? Yeah, it's not that bad, though. No? Okay. 
I guess it's mitigated by the income you get from taking a city down, right? Yes. Yeah, to an extent, so that's pretty cool. I mean, the penalties aren't <clears throat> never that terrible anyway. Yeah, I got you. So um, we can just show you guys the tech right now. Because obviously, Pwn isn't going to just tech against me based on info I give here. So <laughs> I have... I have well, I haven't checked into anything yet all game. I've just been waiting. Yeah. We have we have Joy Siphoners, uh Lightning Focus, Necrotic Magic, which gives decaying, which is pretty cool. It makes it so they can't be healed and they take damage over time. So just a lot of fun little effects like that, like dots and you know, decent magic damage and, and whatnot. So we're gonna get whiteborn pretty damn quick here. Our knowledge is crazy good. Oh. Oh, comes the fight. Slay the beast. Make oh. safe the city. Where are you? Oh wow, killed two of my units. Killed my fury. Your tier two unit? Mm. Yeah, that's okay. RIP in peace. They they were gonna get replaced anyways, huh? Someday. Someday, soon. I, I need mouth breathing melee. Yeah. Oh you just all ranged, yeah. You're all using the spam sunders? Uh, I'm not. not Ooh. Crown of Ruin and Ring of Regeneration. What does that do? So, heals 10% at the end of each turn of combat, and then, oh, I get to heal on the world map too? Damn, dude, that's a nice item. Crown of Ruin is great. And it makes my magic attacks ignore stuff? Think we can reach them? No, we can't quite reach them. Okay. So, let's see Rotting Explosion. That one's really fun. If you can get it off, it's actually quite good. Uh, Solwell is a couple turns away from finishing. We'll save up our Imperium. <sighs> Whispering Stone, I can give it to other people's vassals. Instantly gain 500 knowledge. Sign me up for that. Yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome. So, raise zombies. Yeah, that, that techs us through pretty quickly. Was I insulted by you, Pwn? No, I was insulted by this guy. Okay. Why do you always think I'm insulted? Well, I mean, it would make sense. Because you are trying. You would be trying to like build grievances and hostility. Okay. How close are we to the next book? Yes! Burning the cities, burning everywhere, because we don't care. <laughs> are you just singing some Rob? Oh, I thought it was some Rob Zombie, actually. I was like, oh, is he going going the Rob Zombie route here? <laughs> All right, guys. I haven't teched against Rob Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did I not name my guy Rob Zombie, dude? Oh, <laughs> God. That would have been perfect to just like make a Rob brother. Zombie. Failed opportunity. Oh, God. What a failed opportunity. Yeah. All right. It's coming, guys. Um, yep. Yeah, let's just kind of keep clearing. Call them all down. Evil. All right. <laughs> that would be the evil thing to do. The auto resolves in this army are pretty good. Okay. And then we... Just beating down some haggard barbarian. Pitiful barbarian units, dude. Yeah, they're, they're not full-on Unga Bunga, and that's their demise. Yeah, they're just like halfway Look there. Look how the city built, though. <laughs> what a, it's like a line. Which city? Uh, this place called Hexhold that's about to burn to the ground. How dare you? You're such a it's tyrant. Like a straight, it's like a straight line <laughs> uh, going out. Lightning weapons isn't terrible. It does give him a little bit of bonus damage. So let's do that. <laughs> no, it's gone. Did you like it? Oh, Okay, so next up, yeah, we should be on that. It shouldn't take us too long to get that. And we got the soul well. Let's go ahead and power build that. Start banking some more souls. And can you move up a little bit? You can. We're not going to pillage this because I actually want some of the improvements probably. Um, and we are quite good. So let's get another Banshee here. I love being able to just summon reinforcements, man. It's so nice. You're telling me it's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you're just cackling, dude. Um, Seed of Shadow, that's 200. Does give us Shadow Affinity. Hmm. City Progress is coming along. We need a guild, which we already I think have. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in range. I don't know what I was waiting for. You doing good? Let's find out. Yep. Channeling Tower, so let's build that over oh, here. Oh, Frost Great Axe. Oh no! Deals that... regular damage plus frost. That's it. No, no cool specialty. Okay, let's use probably one. not for me. 
We just got stolen power, which makes it if we take a city, it uh, gives us like a ton of knowledge. Man, I could have been Rob Zombie. Now I'm bummed out. That would have been great. I wish this had a chance to freeze. That would be awesome. I'd, t I'd take it then. Or at least to wish it was the fire one. The fire one would be way more thematic. Oh, right. And better, because I have undead shit, so the fire damage would be pertinent. Dude, are you going to burn through the witches or what? They, they've, they were burned <laughs> ages ago. So all these characters are legendary now, or legend rank. So they get like a legend metal evoker. So what does that actually do? I assume it gives them some sort of a, a cool bonus. Okay. Why is this dude shield? Oh, wow. This guy does not. Ignores uh, resistances and stuff. That's really good. Oh, he's got a different helmet. You got a different helmet, dude? Uh-oh. I should probably I just, just quit. Like, just like on the unit. Got well, it. His, this dude's shield. He has it, too, but he's... This guy's, like, shinier than my other guy. Oh. He's got the shine. And this guy's got a little, a little sparkly sparkle. But... The fell orcs, dude. How's Pwn's strength rank doing? Let's see. Has he climbed up? Still in the pits. You do have a you do have a good military though. I'm 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 actually tanking too. The AIs are growing too powerful. They're taking over. Bunga, <laughs> bunga. Oh, we got level up. Oh, they... lost. The AIs are taking over. For thematics. For immersion. Isn't it good though too? Bloodlust. What does it do exactly? Uh, you heal whenever you kill something. You heal ten points and you gain plus one strength. No, oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's good. No, it's not terrible at all. Gives you a little bit of sustainability for a faction that normally doesn't have it, so. What's not to love? Chosen humans sitting up north, the destined humans, and the uh, hedonists are down here. The Ashborn hedonists. Kind of want to go karate chop them if I can. I, I don't know. Judo chop. Yeah. Oh, man, that's, that's, a, that's some, some old lore there. Would you want to spend Imperium on people growth with this spec? I don't see why not. Yeah. Like oh, some... We found a no definitely, definitely. Lose gold, gain 20. Sure. Uh, we're going to save that Imperium for now. Let's move up here. Look as our city grows. Oh, no. Your city's growing? Had siege projects. So let's do the Onagers. I'm going to reach... Some in tower the number of people thought not possible. You're just going to an unlimited amount of power? Yes. I see. I hope the AI comes out and fights so we can get you guys a cool fight and I can show some of the, the tech that we've unlocked. That would be that would be very fun. Alright. Passing here. The city will fall in a couple turns. Actually, we have a little bit more we could do, actually. Let's see if we can go that way. Got one, one more turn to that burns to the ground. Oh, no. Pwn is, Pwn is just burning everything down. What's nice about your build, though, is I know where your one city is, and I just, like, that's it. You know? Like, it's there's not going to be a bunch of, like, rat's nest everywhere. It's just, you know, you're just playing playing it, you know, pretty straightforward there. With the chosen destroyer straight. Which is also why I have to invest in base security oh i thought that was you coming down some haggard barbarian came from the hills and i was like oh god i thought it was you dude all right we're gonna fight this because auto isn't gonna be kind to us here so we'll just jump in yeah i should have used soulbind but they attacked me before i could so this is actually a big battle man whoa whoa dude this guy looks like you too it's whoa. like a whoa. it's like a barbarian with like a giant axe see an huh? awesome orc He's pretty cool, for sure. Um, what do we have? So we have that. We have that. Um, do we still have the spider egg thing? I could have sworn I still had that. Maybe I unequipped it on accident? No, here it is. Okay. Yes, my minions. Spiders rise. Okay. Archer man can be right here. The Unga Bunga Legions it. come. Is anybody still interested in the Evil Dead game? Like, would anyone still be interested if I streamed, uh, like, me playing the demon and stuff? I would, I would, I would join, join you, I think. It could, could be fun. I don't know if I'd want to stream it myself, but I would happily play with you. Right. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, looks like they're fine. Everybody's chilling. That's a lot of Unga Bunga that's coming at me, guys. It's a hell of a lot of Unga Bunga. Okay. Dude, am I in, am I in a little bit of danger here? <laughs> am, I, am I in um, danger? I don't know. The, bar, the barbarians there to pillage you permanently? They're definitely here to cause some, cause some havoc. Um, now, how long do those debuff spells last? Like, it says it says enemies in one hex have a 90% chance to lose morale, but how long do they lose it for? Is it the full battle? Could somebody explain that? I'm actually, I'm actually curious about that. I mean, I played the game. I was just curious if anybody else wanted to watch. Let the boy watch. I, 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 I like to play that in my own time. When, when turns still sleeping, I usually play it in the mornings. <laughs> Which is just like, yeah, literally like 1 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I play it in the mornings at like noon, while turns still in a deep slumber. So I'm curious, like, how long this lasts for. Uh, chain, you can check the unit page to see how long it lasts, but only after I cast it, right? So let's just experiment with this. Um, so that is going to last for... They have Reveler's Heart. Oh, my God. Oh, this faction has a morale buff. <laughs> oh, I should have looked at that. Wow. Okay. Still got him down pretty low. But anyways, let's see if we can tank it. Let's just play around with this since we have a little bit of time. Um, over channel. And we, we have like infinite magic with this build basically, so we're just gonna keep causing some despair and see what we can get. Okay, their morale is low now. Uh-huh. And you can just go ahead and do a heal here. And uh, I think he's out of range with everything basically, yeah. Yep, all right. Oh, damn, dude. Look at this guy going ape shit. Does he have set fast by chance? Okay, it doesn't look like it. The true Unga Bunga is on its way in. Never go full Unga Bunga. This guy sure did. All right, so let's start tanking leadership on some of these guys. See if we can get a master out going. So are you dead now? I, I am probably dead, yes. No, I'm just, I think I should be okay. It's always a little bit scary when there's this much Unga Bunga coming at you, you know? I'm definitely going to lose some stuff, but it's a, it's a good fun battle. How's the morale? Yeah, so some of these units should straight up be just like running now. Uh-huh. We can go ahead and phase in here. Do some more AoE damage. <laughs> there is a... It's a picture uh, It says Tallahassee Time Travel Club. Next meeting last Thursday. It's pretty good. Okay, so do we want to keep doing that? I feel like uh, just doing some AoE damage might be better at this point to just kill some stuff. That one does quite a bit. Go ahead and put a Sundering Curse on Homeboy here. I don't think this thing has any sort of way to survive it. So yeah, let's just take this character down. We definitely want to just phase in and do another uh, scream here, I think. Although, yeah, we're going to lose a bit there. Um, we could spur to action. This character can do a Sundering Curse. And then this Warlock could probably just run back, although it's going to take a pretty big hit. Yeah, so these guys unfortunately have a trait that makes them pretty resilient against leadership stuff. So, yeah, it's not quite as good. Wand is cool. We could raise some dead. Yeah, we got two characters kind of hitboxed here. Yeah, the Dark Warrior can come finish the job. We're probably going to start seeing some leadership issues now, believe it or not. We have two raised dead spots here. Let's uh, pop this guy in the face. And we can also do the dreaded dread curse, which uh, will always hit, kill another Not unit. Not the dreaded dread curse. <laughs> Don't do it. We're doing it. If I spur to action on the banshee, so the banshee can teleport in. Yeah, a lot of these. So this whole bottom portion of the army is actually going to like route right now. I think. 
Yeah, look at that lord. It's going to route. That's actually really cool. How do you kill that which is already dead? Just... I'll find the sword of a thousand truths. That's true, he will. He'll find a way, dude. How do you kill that which has no life? <laughs> so is there something standing on it? No, I think we could move up and do that. Can we reach? Uh, is there anything we want to unga bunga here? Not really. I guess we just shoot it, whatever. Wand of lightning. Can we kill any targets? We can bring it pretty damn close. Oh, it actually here, killed. Here, here's where it turns. Great. Wow, look at that! Holy shit, it actually worked! The enemy is fleeing the field before half their army can even fight. Holy shit, that's cool. Oh, uh, yes. Damn. That's badass. It actually works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, sign me up for this build all day. I did get 65 souls from it, too. And then I'm just going to auto combat the siege battle. Okay. Wow. Okay, we still have to besiege it down. <laughs> the dude just half the army's like, screw this shit. I'm going home. And now we collected some remains too, so we can we can go item scavenging. Yeah. Morale builds when they work. His army strength was literally like right next to mine, too. It was like Yeah, it wasn't like it was a lopsided fight. This is like my favorite spell. Which spell is it, dog? I infectious insanity. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun, dude. But the build we're doing is just buffing our units. Uh, there's not too much Unga Bunga in here that's very good. So what we're going to do is build the um, the Crypt, which will give us two mana per captured creature in our, our dungeon. This is actually really, This is hilarious because it... Yeah, why not? Just if I go it. this route, we get, we get like this. I'm going to keep the remains because they can give me mana uh, with the building. And Dark Culture has some synergies with keeping prisoners and, and stuff in your... Uh, your dude, the, the Destined Humans are getting a little bit crunk for my liking. Kind of like circling around here. I don't think the AI can handle this leadership strategy thing though. I honestly think it's just going to punish them super hard. Yeah, so we have the Banshees, which do negative 15 a pop with their whale, and then you have the, um, or negative 10, then you have the spell, then you have Joy Siphoners, which is my three per hit on a unit, and then you have the um, the Cruel Weaponry, which makes you do more damage against low leadership, so. what What is your Tome income? 235. Okay, you're doing way better than me. Well, I'm a Dark Culture. Dark is, like, right. all about that, so. You unga your bunga through Conquest. I would imagine you're at, like, 150 or something, right? Close, 141. Yeah. I played Chosen Destroyers the other night on my own, and it was kind of like... Yeah, a lot of it depends on how close enemies spawn to you. I think on a small map, it's stronger for sure. Granted, sometimes on small maps, there's only like two free cities, and you just don't get enough. Right. Yeah, so... All done here, brother. Yeah, we're going to go for the Tier 4 Order Tome that gives us Tyrant Knights and the Intimidating Aura. So they'll, they'll we'll have the Knights with leadership, and then all of our Undead will have an Aura. That lowers leadership too. That's that's kind of the game plan. My love for you is like a truck berserker. Oh my god, Pone's singing some war chants over there. Okay, turn is passing. I'm trying to remember what that's from. I think it's one of the Jay and Silent Bobs. Like I think I feel like Jay is singing that in uh maybe like Clerks or something. Yeah, one of those movies. That's very 90s. Um, Galahan, I'm not doing that because I want to take the city for myself. So, All but right. You will fail. Probably not. Um, That's not good. Okay. My whole plan was based on you failing. Yeah, I don't want any of those negatives. We'll just take the evil trait. All right. Save the sister. Ritual Mausoleum gives us mana. Going to make a dreaded decision over there. We're making good progress, though, man. We're making making some solid progress. All right, let's oh, get. Uh, yeah, that seems great. So we'll take this over, and then um, wait. Oh shit! I didn't notice that. Oh, I didn't see that. It it meant war. <laughs> oh god. All right. Well, war it is then. War it is, guys. So we'll vassalize these guys. Oh man, I didn't read that. That gave me war. Did they? Did that really instigate war? That action? I didn't see it in the tooltip. I, I, man, it was probably just 
It was the fine print we didn't read. Oh, I just accidentally went to war with one of my vassals. <laughs> Evil. Yes. Like aggressive works. So we're. It, you know what's great though, is if we if. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, you're good. I was gonna say if we just kill this, then we get the experience and knowledge for killing a hero. So win win. Yeah, that's it, man. Not much. Not much exciting stuff to say. Hmm. How's life treating you over there, man? Pretty good. Yeah, you winning? Uh, <laughs> kind of burned out everybody near us. Yeah, now you gotta now you gotta choose where you want to go rampage, man. I'm, I'm hoping somebody will just point me in a direction and I can go. Well, blind, blindly march to slaughter things. So as a friend, as a friend. <laughs> You have the capital of the chosen humans due east of you. It's a ways though, um, and directly oh, south. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like. I I know where Stelgardus is. So, and that the other half of the map is like what I don't have explored. So I know he's got to be in that direction. I haven't met him yet, so I almost feel like that's to my advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stelgardus is closer to you. The distance isn't quite as far, from what I can tell. Um, cool. All done here, boss. Well, this is cool. Now we get to go be extra evil and beat down one of our vassals. It's awesome. And uh, with this trait, we get experience for killing heroes. I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, 50 knowledge per heroes killed in combat. Is it per level of heroes killed in combat? Ooh, yeah, so that's going to give us like 350 knowledge when we kill that hero. That's actually worth... No, the AI, if the AI starts to move an army, it, it makes an announcement. It says they send a war party, and I could just panic recruit, like, you know, whatever anything and be fine well that's not if the lord ai sends an army that's only if vassals attack you yeah it's a it's it's just a free city so in that case yes <laughs> okay looking good shrine of the war god very close this is nice too spells can now be cast in the first turn of combat but we're saving our imperium we don't quite need that yet so We'll get it. Uh, we'll get it soon once we have enough Imperium. Although we're probably probably going to force vassalize this guy. Although we could take this. His city's got nine, but if we wanted to migrate them to our culture, we would. Yeah, we would lose two supply. I think just taking this city is better. It's like you know, it's a nice border city and it can expand eastward. Yeah, that's that's way better. I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I should be doing this one for the uh, Magic Origin. Yeah, it'll reduce the upkeep on the Banshees. So we're gonna force vassalize this. Uh, I guess we'll hold off. Yeah, that's that's I should help with that. All done, man. Just chain sieging here, so not much going going down. Let's get ready for the dreaded turn attack. You think I'm coming for you? <laughs> I, think, I think you've thought about it. I've I've been having power fantasies about it, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So what we'll just leave like a single archer there next turn to take that city and then we'll we'll go uh go take down this vassal here. The skull. Yeah, scald. Oh, you got the scald. Oh, you're going like full on rampager barbarian. I've just begun researching scald. Scalds are great, man. They're really good. I think they're one of the best support units in the game. Mm, Arcane Institute's going. We probably need to build an Overlord's Tower. Otherwise, we're going to start having issues with territory. So we want to go Tier 3. Probably. Yeah, are we going to have enough next turn? We should. Yeah, we should with this. Yeah, the Shadow Endgame trait gives you like a hell of a lot of experience. 100% faster. It's really good. There's there's tons of, tons of nice stuff at the end of the tree. Obviously, we want that because all we do is burn cities down. Let's take this too, so that way we can foresee everything. Oh, and we must begin our research here. Pone wants to see everything. Everything. Oh, dude, perfect! The hero came back right as I broke the siege. I get more knowledge for killing. <laughs> I get like two hundred fifty knowledge for free here. Yes, give it to me. Oh, I don't think it worked. Just turn. Sit yeah. through that whole animation again. Mm, let's do the production. 
Nice. Get owned, dude. Oh, raising is 750. Oh, that's so good. That's a lot of money. You know what? Let's just let's just raise that to the ground, dude. Enough games. Okay. We don't, we don't need this guy. Oh, and we don't need this guy. Prelude to Doom. Let's shuffle. Find something better. Desecrate structure. Necrotic spires. Man, we have a. We should go up here and just go for XP. Come on. Let's kill. Let's kill this as a. The message. Oh, there we go. All right, the fetid legion. Are you ready, Pwn, for the dreaded whiteborn? The turn 30 something whiteborn? Uh, I love whiteborn. It's the coolest thing. Yeah, it's really cool. Wow, turn zero. Then we just build a mage tower next turn. Kind of need the money. Uh, yeah, let's sell some of them. Fine. Just so I can build the Overlord's Tower, at least get started on that. Uh, oh, that's an outpost from the guy we haven't met yet. But... Which one had the nice chess piece? It was this one. Yeah. Is that not enough to build the Overlord's Tower? Really? I'm still short? Okay, that's fine. We want that. I wasn't going to do this, but we'll... I really need this tower. It gives you draft and <clears> mana <throat> and some other good things. Phone crashed. Uh oh. So no idea if you answered my question or not. What's, what's that, man? Find the animal. Animals like game. Oh, you crashed a long time ago. <laughs> I said I thought the animal stuff was really good. Uh, with all the different buffs they get and stuff, and then your hero can buff them, even makes them immune to mind control. I think going beast is super good and is one of my personal favorites to do in a solo game I'm playing right now. I'm doing the beast. Beast build with goblins. One of the one of the ever uh, first games we ever played. You you beast mastered me with Gladiol. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, my shitty like dark dark warriors were just being mowed down by your hogs. <laughs> the beastie boys cameth. <laughs> they did. It was a fun game. Cool. So this will be ours in a couple turns. That'll give us a huge financial surplus. Um, and yeah, we still have plenty of souls. We're we're chilling in that. So I think I think we're okay. Man, the humans are really encroaching on my territories. The Destin humans. He hates me too. I think that's the one I haven't found yet. He's pretty mean, dude. He's definitely not chilling. Bannerless Keep would give us... Hmm. Do you want me to tell him to stop? Yeah, if you could tell him to stop bullying me, that'd be great. I, I could do that for you. That's nice, dude. I appreciate Hold that. Hold on, I'm not going to. How dare you. <laughs> dare you, dude. So this should be an easy fight. They're they're all like low tier units. We could probably just mass. We'll we'll show you some master out. When you take a free city, you you will capture a hero. And yeah, you shadow skill. You get knowledge. When you beat the hero, you can release captured hero right next to the city you captured. Oh, interesting. And then just kill it again. That seems like kind of an exploit, though. You know, I know there's some like cagey stuff you can do where like you lure the AI to resettle and just farm with like chosen destroyers. But yeah, yes, I, we are not about to. Uh, uh, what? What's his name? Uh, Spiffing Brett. Brit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In PvP, not yeah. about to Brit this. Okay. Opponents are moving. Oh, oh yes. The dreaded Baylor. You got a Baylor? No. Oh. There's one. There's one over here. He's got a Phoenix in his army too. Check this out, guys. White born. No more leadership issues at all. Yeah. So now my whole army's undead. They, so they get HP and they also um. Lifesteal. Yeah, and lifesteal. It's super awesome. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, buddy. That is what I'm talking about. Wait, why can I not move? Oh, okay, we're waiting for combat. I was like, what treason is this? You see how that feels? <laughs> no, I'm good with it. I, I thought it was like... He hates it. I thought I was getting attacked. Oh, I finally met him, Alfred Elderstone. You met the man, huh? So you're the inconsiderate war chief Garrosh Hellsburg. <laughs> he calls you inconsiderate. Yes. I love it. That's great. Mm. He aims to make peace even with the likes of me. And my <laughs> minus 800 happiness upon instantly <laughs> meeting him. I will threaten that man. I, if, he, if you threaten 
Alfred, I'm going to become his friend. We're going to bond over our... Right. I already threw it. <laughs> yeah, I lost my beard. No, my guy full-on became undead. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. Just eat light. That uh, doesn't seem that good. Um, so let's get this. Let's do that. Chest plate of vitality. Shop around a bit. Hell yeah. Like every unit gets HP, it's really nice. Fuck it. Going enchantments. You doing it live, dude? Yes. That's what I like to hear. I did lose my beard, yeah, I did. And once we get Fetid Legion, this gives your entire army 10 HP and a weakening aura too, which is really good with the uh, Call of the Weak. So your, your units have an aura that weakens and then it, it triggers your 20% damage buff against weakened targets. Yeah. Want one of those. Hmm. Is Pwn taking over? I think the human guy is the strongest, actually, right now, according to the Bounce of Power. No, I am taking over. Are you? Let's see. Oh, no, you're still you're rank three. You're in the pits with me. That means I've gone up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the hedonist guy in the corner. Yeah. The, the orcs are taking over. Uh, Sammy, I don't think it does. I'm not sure. But it's still, there's other units that will benefit from that. Overlord's Tower will give us draft and mana. What else we got here? We want that one. I wish multiplayer was actually functional for us. Game was cool, but playing it. Uh, which which game are you talking about? I, this one's great. This one's multiplayer is so much fun in this game. I play it almost every day. Yeah. Bunga bunga the Balin. Do ah. it. Unga bunga him, dude. Summon it. Uh, how much oh, does that give us? Imperium and knowledge. Ooh, that's a nice one. We should maybe do that after we, after we take down Foreign Dusk. I'll, uh, I'll go for the Bannerless Keep here. Oh. All right. So, Overlord's Towers on the way. These buildings are on the progress. The Fetid Legion is almost there too. The tower. We're gonna just absolutely karate chop these guys. Oh man, they got my race trait. They got the whiteborn when I got it. What? <laughs> foul, foul treachery is this, dude? Yeah. It, it. Anytime you buff your race, if there's like a free city or anything on the map, they yeah. get it too. How dare? How dare they? Just making it harder to kill them, dude. Yeah. Now they're immune to all my leadership shenanigans, so I just can't route them. Lovely. Okay, I can still shadow realm them with magic. It's it's gonna be fine. I need to see how many how much souls this costs the fetid legion before I uh, we get a tier three. We'll kill things along the way. Prune these shrubs. And sure. That's the equivalent to your. Oh my gosh, this thing's a little tier four. Oh, it's tree beard. I'll happily farm this experience. You're fighting tree beard right now. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> well, that was short-lived. Uh, let's go ahead and get the heroes gain faster experience here. That'll be really nice for when we uh, karate chop the city here. She's just guarding the city to make sure it doesn't get taken back. Oh, yeah. The wrecking train skill. Oh, no. Are you the wrecking train coming with your bandit armies from the north? <laughs> yes. Man, this human guy is just expanding like an, a monster here. It's really leaning into his uh, yeah. tribal stuff there. He sure is. Do I got yep. <laughs> Suffering from success. Yeah, basically. Ooh. My guys lose this? Let's see what happens. You have an army uh, fight you would lose? Okay, there you go. No. Uh, it, was, it was just like a group of three of my units. Mm, got it, got it, yeah. Against a group of three units. <laughs> and it, they had the more power, but I won handedly. Damn, dude. You're very good at this game. Yes, yeah. I, I am. I am. The, the Senate. Chad. You are the Senate, dude. Hmm. No, Senate has too much talk. Yeah, Matt, fair play. Are they going to raid me or something? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh. That's a common tactic to insult your every character. Have you noticed that every time I play. <laughs> All the AI likes to do is just insult me over and over. Brand of Wrath, Evoker, we don't care about. I guess we'll just take Prelude to Doom. 
Cool. Now, Fetid Legion. Oh, yeah, look at this. Hell yeah, let's go. Even more nasty and undead. Demoralized is pointless here. Can't quite reach the city. Pandemonium. Yes, the war breed. You got some war breeds, dude. Is it time for them? I've unlocked the tome for them. That's awesome. Mm, ooh, I can make oh, the palace. The seed of shadow. We want we want that next, but we want our Giga Chad war breeds. Yeah, they're but coming. That one ability said they do sixty six damage, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, war breeds are really cool, man. You're angering me, Garrosh. Oh, am I? <laughs> Uh, Wizard's Tower. Getting the recall thing is nice. Dark Forge would be drafting gold. This isn't a terrible thing either. Let's just tech up the dreaded palace here. See how that goes. We can hopefully annex. One of these guys, uh, hopefully one of these guys insults me so much that I can just declare war on them. Do you not have that right now? No, I'm not at war with any of them yet. Mm. They, they hate me, but they know that I will crush them. Man, the AI is really coming to fight? Okay, I wasn't sure. Oh, shit. His army is actually stronger than mine. Interesting. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I, could, auto, I could auto this and see. Is that the dreaded Alfred? Yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm pretty sure it won't be a hard fight, but um, they are. I, they have my race trait, so they became undead. And so they're immune to all my leadership shenanigans, which sucks. <laughs> oh, you're not, so you're not fighting Alfred? No, it's my vassal who I declared. I'm trying to think. An auto. <laughs> you declared war on your vassal? No, it was, there was a world event, and it was like, there was a couple negative things that it was like, oh, your city's production is blocked for six turns or this. <laughs> and then there was an evil option, which I just, I just happily clicked. And I guess war was part of it. It didn't seem to say war, but I guess it, I clearly just missed it. Um, we'll manual combat this. Yeah, it's fine. Just. Warbreed Rat. Oh, yeah. Pwn's got, like, the mini tr race transformation, too. So he's going to be, like, extra Papa Smurf. Yeah, he should... Uh, the Warbreed will just be regular size. Yeah. Oh, this is a great map for us, too. This is, like, super OP. It's, like, literally a choke point. All right. This is fine. We can just spam cheesy spells all day. Um, all right. So let's go through here. And uh, where's the Haggard Spider Egg? Okay. So Spider Egg can go here. Get our Dark Warriors going there. Let's have you just heal yourself. Banshees can come down. The fact that they're immune to leadership sucks pretty bad. <laughs> That's like my whole strategy. I'm just like, all right then, I guess we just suffer. Let's do this three position a little bit better. The phase comes off cooldown anyways, and we're just going to be using them as shooting units this time. So, um, yeah. All right. They've unged their last bunga. <laughs> Jesus, it's a lot of stuff. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do... Soul Overflow is pretty good. Definitely is not bad. We're going to want to raise some dead. Why is Alfred running around here with... Not here's Alfred being escorted by his knight. <laughs> Alfred's been uh he's been a menace for sure, man. All right, spells we can we, yeah cause despair is useless. Fulmination is probably honestly one of our best bets. Just start like wearing down the whole army. Yeah, slowly but surely. Holy retribution! I'm getting just hunted by this this dark lord over here, man. And he can raise the undead. Who can me? Alfred. <laughs> Alfred can raise the undead? Yes. Oh my god. This is... The, this threat has, has grown bigger than any of us. <laughs> He's a menace and he must be stopped. Okay, let's do this. Gotta use some dreaded corner camping tactics here to make sure I don't like lose too much. Because this army could dunk on me if it manages to get close. And they're immune to morale, which is great. So, um, yeah. Lovely. All right, let's do it. Oh, I've been debuffed. Mm. Go halfling horde and tech into nature. 
children of the corn. That's pretty great. Oh my god, I could be just dying to my vassal. That'd be so funny. Um, Soulfire does some pretty respectable damage. I, I do not want to fight that army. Which? I will beat it, but I will definitely take losses. Which army? <clears throat> the Baylor Phoenix, uh, Summer Fairy, and two carrion, uh, one carrion bird and one Grimbeak Crow army. Grimbeak Crow army. What's he on? Oh, that's actually decent for me. But oh wait, an absorbing. Oh, if that said burning cities, we'd be all over it. Yeah, that lord is just a raid boss. Jesus. Um. Dread all right. Death explosion. It, it, it's it's definitely scary, man. I think the Baylor design looks pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, it's. I think they're super cool units. Yeah, man, my my army is not good against my own army. That's for sure. Phoenix. Phoenix has poison just dripping out its mouth. Ooh, Pwn. We we are in a hard fight here, my friend. All right, let's just do some fulmination back here. Your free your free city dares not. It's it's Give pretty it's pretty jacked, man. Thankfully, my units are pretty raid bossy too, but it's um. Okay, so we got a 5% chance to hit there. Let's just, if we just snipe the Lord, that's a really good start for us. Yep. Almost there. The tyrant guy needs to go here, 75% chance. Okay, so the Lord's down, which is a big, big win for us. Let's just move this Dark Warrior up here as a screen. And move you as a screen as well, little Spiderling. We still have the Banshee, which can do the Baleful Curse. Can get some like low percentage shots right there. So we could also do the Banshee's Howl here, which is a debuff, which is not terrible. Oh, they're decaying, plus zero morale, because they're undead. Oh god. Did you ever play the game, uh, Brutal Legend? Uh, the Jack Black one? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever did. Oh, I can't, I can't raise undead? Oh, God. I think you would have liked it, too. Virulent Outbreak. It's probably not going to do much, because they're... The disease should still matter. Okay, Dark Warriors chilling. Yeah, Archer Lords definitely pack a punch. Oh, God, dude. This is scary. I can't raise them as dead, either, dude. It's literally just, like, the worst fight for us. Cause it's this is this is this is scary as hell. It would be pretty funny to get unga bunga in this way though. Should have just taken the haggard auto resolve of doom. Oh god, they're pouring in. Oh god, <laughs> there's so many of them. <laughs> oh the god, they're all around us. But sir, we're the undead. I know. Well, it's it's the joke seems to be on me here. So Are we need to lose. Uh, there's a, there's there's a chance of it. It's it's not like super high, but I could lose this. It's because they have my trait where I like they're strong against missile play too, so it's it's pretty bad. Um, I think the soul fire would be better because it does fire damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a nice one right there. Let's just nail that blob, and then we need to over channel, and uh, we need to soul fire again. Should have hit a different target, probably. It's okay. Spiderling's getting in there. And uh, you guys can just zap them. Although the Banshees definitely hit pretty hard, so maybe I can pull something out. I just can't raise any dead, which sucks. Majorly sucks, my friend. Let's go here with the Banshee. The Howl will do basically no damage. Trying to focus down the beat up units. Okay, so he can maybe run away. There was a dark warrior there, so we might be able to kill a dark warrior. Yeah, we got a little bit of fire damage. I don't know if the howl is worth doing. I think we just take the 40%. Let's need to lower those, those numbers here, man. 
Come on. Oh, we missed it. Curses. So 5%. Could go over here and just like use the Banshee as a bit of a sacrificial screen. It feels kind of silly though. Um, I don't think we can raise any undead. I could spur something to action, which gives them like another attack. Which probably would be a good idea to just give this unit another beat down here. Let it kill that uh that warrior. Nice. You feel free to watch my stream too. This is like a pretty intense fight. Um can I raise any dead over here? No, I I, I can't raise them because they were already dead, lol. That's pretty funny. Okay, so we have the quick stab. No other abilities here. Let's see what other units we have. We have our own Dark Warrior. We can bonk this guy. Oh man, we need to get this archer guy out of here, man. This is quite the army here. Yeah. It's a big stack. This archer man. We're definitely killing a lot, but it's like I have to be very careful. If I just met them head on, it would it could have been a for sure a death. Archer man, take <laughs> my bother, hurry on, take me to the land. Okay, let's blast him. Yeah, I think we're okay. The fact that the AI charges in, but then it's all fun and games until the turn passes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're bonking my banshees. It'll bonk. Okay, thankfully they're killing the spiders. Like, their missile units are terrible. If I can just kill the melee stuff, then we're okay. Like, because they have a low chance to hit me. Yeah, no, I can't I can't raise the dead anyways. Because they're undead units. Okay, so we definitely just drop a fat soul fire right in their face here. Oh, God. There's like all these stacking effects going down here. Um, soul overflow. We could do rotting explosion. It's not that good. Was, it, was there a lord in their army? Or? Yeah, it died. <laughs> he met a grisly fate. He did. Okay, so that's pretty decent. Let's do a little bit of. Uh, we need to cast a spell first to get the life steal proc. This will be the last time you guys ever make fun of the dreaded vassal armies. Oh, well, yeah, they're strong because of my tech. They, my tech can't deal with my own tech. <laughs> it's, it's not good. That's the one thing we didn't plan for. Sure, yeah, it sure was, brother. That archer character is carrying this, the, the side guy I have. He's, he's definitely doing the work. Oh, kill them. Lower their numbers. So this howl, what? It does decaying. Oh, God, it's like, it's so bad. It just is useless here. Okay, come on, bonk him. Get the heals. Come on, Banshee. No, <laughs> yes. This warlock needs to flee the scene. Can he get away? Uh, looks like he can, just barely. Misses, no problem. We can shoot here. Uh, then we have the raised dead. Yeah, see, target can't be affected. Man, that feels bad. Feels bad. Okay, let's just use the wand to give him one less uh, attack there. Probably go here and just do the howl. It'll distract quite a few of them, too. It will apply some debuffs and remove their regeneration, so. Oh, God. This is getting close, man. I think the heroes will carry it, but... <laughs> this. Oh man, okay. Okay, thankfully. How are they still able to cast even after. Oh, I think it's their characters, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh god, those Dark Warrior guys are just bonking all my shit. Okay, that thankfully that one didn't finish the Banshee. Archer's just terrible and missing. No, they actually critical hit me there. Come on, Banshee, live. No! Mole man. Uh -huh. I, we need mole man now, dude. More than ever. Could I raise zombies here? Will, just crush you. will this work? Oh, that worked. The spell raise. Oh, that just saved me, guys. And so my one ability cannot friendly undead corpse. Non-undead corpses raises a zombie. But the faction spell 
can still be used. Oh, today we learned. Okay, well, you know, that was our plan all along, as a you know, matter of fact. Um, so now we're in pretty good shape. We just kind of fall back behind our zombie legion and just claw them down. Yes! So Ray Zombies doesn't have that same condition. Oh, that's so money, guys. That's so good. Oh. No, this the wand item I was trying to raise dead on cannot target undead. It legit says it in the tooltip. Non-undead corpse raises a zombie. It had nothing to do with the range. But this did. Oh. Give me the zombies. Hey, I'm glad we're, we're all learning together. This is good. Um, definitely want to keep this warlock alive, so we're going to run it back to the Shadow Realm. Um, this warlock can probably just... Uh, yeah. Do we want to shoot anything here? I think Von Haggard will uh, will kind of peace out this way. And then turn to face the right way. Yeah, so I'm probably fine now. But that was definitely scary. Dark Ritual? I think Dark Ritual would probably work too. Yeah, Dark Ritual would work, but he's standing on top of them, so it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't give it to me. Let's run back. And go here. Uh, a little bit dangerous, actually. We should probably just apply a heal. Hmm. Okay, so we learned some caveats today. That's for damn sure. Um, you're okay to probably sit here and just blast things. And, uh, yep, we can bonk you. The most intense battle. It is a pretty intense battle. Hit him a couple times. Nice. And can we shoot anywhere? Doesn't look like it. I don't think there's any abilities we can do on the bottom. All right, zombies, carry me. Yes, AI. Get surrounded by the haggard zombies. It's pretty funny that like this becomes like such a leadership thing, right? It's like, or it can't become a leadership thing. Normally it does. We're used to, there would be some serious routing issues at this point. Oh my God, those zombies are pretty beast mode. All right, so we could do another Ray Zombie Summon, I guess. Um, we could do it over here. Yeah, let's do it. Just to tie up those archers and stuff. Oh, this is such a cool build. Sorry it's taking so long, man. This was literally me dying or, <laughs> you know, this, it's the nature of the beast. Did, did you click auto battle just to see what No, it happened? definitely would have been bad. It was, they, they had like several higher, like this battle, if it were just like a straight up fight, I think I would be in huge danger. What what was the power? They were three, they were like 2,100 and I was like 17 or 1,600. Cool. Yeah. But uh, raise that OP and obviously heroes can carry pretty hard, so. Uh, almost there. See, if this was a mortal army, they would have like routed like 10 years ago from all of our shenanigans, but. The undead armies are very stalwart. Yeah, overwhelm tactics if you want it on an, uh, I think it's like a staple for undead builds. Because you just have so many shitters and giving them crit chances is really good. All right, so we're basically there. Do I still have my guy over here? Oh, I do have my dark warrior guy, okay. Unfortunately, that guy has first strike. Let's just see if he can survive. And then this warlock can do some dread curses from downtown. Yeah, they have like resistance against all my damage types too. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fun one. All right, let's heal you up. Next unit, Dread Warlock. Is there any curses? Nope. And end turn. Wish the AI would just route. You know, sadly, it's not the case here with undead. Get them with your zombie claws. They are here to fight eternal. I know. The fact that like this is hard though is like a testament to how I think how good I think the build is. If it's if it's the AI can be so menacing with it, then man, those ungabungas they hit hard. Those zombies. All right, so we can just do a uh, ice shackles or something. Although I think they're weak, they're strong against ice. That actually does a fair amount of damage. It's fine. Save some souls. Your soul is mine. All auto. All auto after this uh, last little bit here. 
<laughs> your army's like nothing but just raised zombies. <laughs> yeah, I have a couple necromancers like hiding in the bushes, but that's pretty much it. Alright, um, I, I, like the problem with auto-combating is it's going to use my soul spells. You know? Which definitely sucks. Yeah, I have my archer guy in the back. He's kind of, he's kind of chilling. Can't really reach anybody. Can the Lord get up and do a little something? Yeah, he can. <laughs> Two damage, nice. What a beast he is. Siphon their joy, not that it matters. <laughs> Literally useless here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just end the turn because I don't think it can get to anybody. Holy shit, that was a fight, man. Tyrant. That was a that was a scary fight. Is it over? It is. It's finally over. Oh my god. We only lost three banshees, to be fair. We still have most of our army here. Oh man, I just got 350 knowledge for that. That's good. We back. Uh huh. Oh, my game just crashed. I don't know about you. Uh, nope. There was like some weird bug where I was like clicking on, like trying to do a siege action. Let me fire it back up. Should be able to just rejoin the session. So keep doing your turn, brother. Yeah, so now we just get the city, I think. I don't think Dark Ritual has it, but I, you see, the problem was I was under the impression it just didn't work because of um, the one tooltip. So I assumed that all the raising of undead was like that. Um, yeah, I could have cast Dark Ritual a little bit earlier, and it would have been a much easier battle. However, I only lost three Summon Banshees, so... Uh, actually, we want that. Yeah. Against Wind. Yeah, looks worse than it was. Raise Undead was clutch. It was. It was a good time for the Raise Undead, yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, getting back into the game, my friends. Zombies are good, man. They're really good with, with the overwhelming tactics and... Some of the other shenanigans they have, they can they can do some really nice work. It says busy, one moment, please. Aha. So Pone's in combat. He's crushing all the all the noobs. Uh no. Oh no, okay. It was it was just my lag. We're out of sync now. Domain of death. Target friendly city, friendly undead, steal ten percent. Enemy units in the domain are Oh, wow. I just get the city, too. That's nice. Um, let's save up some Imperium and just vassalize that when the time comes. Or we could just build our own city here. Though it already has a lot of annexed territories and research posts and stuff. I think we just hold on to this. We want that. We want one of these because we have the other one. Spawn, are you using your cheat codes over there or what? Uh, yes. Oh, man. So I am, I'm currently hacking. Helmengorst. Dude, this archer hero was just awesome in that battle. He was awesome. So we don't care about weakening aura. Eagle Eye gives him range and accuracy, which is really good. Cruel weaponry will be useful at some point. I mean, 30% damage against low leadership? That's really strong, actually. And uh, Mr. Cacklestein here is pretty high. Unholy leader gives undead 10% damage. <laughs> some holy halflings. Are you playing holy halflings or that you found some? Oh, I found some. Oh, it's holy. Wait, these are halflings, right? Yes. That's a holy halfling with backed up by some <laughs> holy barbarian molemen. Oh my god. It's quite the combo, man. I'm gonna go get these two wonders now. Ah, so we managed to uh, raise that down, those city runes. I think somebody could settle it. Oh, animate runes. Oh, you can spend souls to animate runes. That's cool. So I could, like, raise the city. Has anybody tried that? I've never done that before. When you when you reanimate a city, does it come back at a higher level, or is it just, like, a level one city? I know a city awaits its fate. I do know this. We will just camp something there to make sure we get to keep it. The AI player here, Alfred, is just spamming like sacks of shit shit units. It's like just all defenders and bannermen and just like low tier potato units, you know? Zombies will also get Fetid Legion. I do have Fetid Legion. I have it. Yeah, I have like the two tier three upgrades. 
So we're just gonna, yeah, I could vassalize them again, which is kind of funny, but we're gonna um, absorb it. Yes, pwn. I think it's just regular. Okay, yeah, thank you. I wasn't sure if it was worth our time. Let's hit that display. How are we looking here? So universal camouflage and Dude, the shadow has the um, ability to make all your armies invisible on the map. That you know what that's good for, Pwn? Sneaky. Base sniping. <laughs> all right, let's get the tower done. Almost. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, his body. This man's lost half his body. Who? One of the one of the units out there? Uh, and just in this little thing that's trying to talk to me. All right. Man, so... I don't want any. Of, I don't want any of this to happen. Uh, the game's out of sync. Quick reload. Just saves you Imperium, yeah. Uh, try Brutal. Well, for team, we're just playing... Uh, the more, the focus is more me versus Bone. It's not so much like us versus... The AI are just kind of like these fa wild factors that can come in and cause a little bit of havoc, you know? To war! Are you battling someone? Uh, he declared war on me. Who did? Alfred? Uh, I mean, I can check. Spinrun. It's public information. Okay, yes, I can see Pounds at War with uh, beating up the dreaded Strength 4 guy there. Showing him no mercy. Okay, Overlord's Tower is almost done. Seed of Shadows is there. We're going to incorporate this city. I, I want to fight Alfred for sure. Um, but first, getting these Wonders would be really nice for the Imperium gain plus the mana and stuff. So I think we do that. Oh, here's some, here's some of his armies right now. We can absorb that next turn. You're already at war, huh? Yep, and I just found some of his forces. Oh, the plot thickens, man. The plot thickens. Yes. All I see is loot. <laughs> you just seeing getting the gold vision there? Time to crush them. Hmm, could set up another city here too. I could like vassalize, re vassalize these guys. I could just keep keep re vassalizing. Oh wait, this, yeah. is, the, this is the other guy. Damn it! You got excited? I did. Yeah. I thought I was about to crush him. Yeah, Mole Man was a very political player last game. Pwn, Pwn like became his minion at the end and it bought him some time. It was like there was some there was some clever plays for sure. Mole Man. It's a great song, dude. It's so good. So next turn we can observe this and absorb it. It'll give us two hundred knowledge too. Get us pretty close to finishing the desecrate structures, which is kinda cool. I want that XP. Time to see Pwn's... Uh, we can only see Pwn's army if he if we have vision of him. So he can't see my... Well, he knows what mine looks like from probably checking when I asked him to. But um, I don't know. His is just going to be mass ungabunga probably. Like barbarians, warbreeds, you know. All that kind of like hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the game plan, I would wager. Bring the pain. Yeah, we got the bone golems. Necromancers. Necromancers are okay. I honestly feel like the Warlocks are better. I don't know. I see Garrosh's scout coming. Okay. Call in support for six turns. Seed of order has been built. Blah! What is this? Turn it loses two population. And I want to kill this stuff, but at the same time, I don't want to lose the units. Is being overrun by allies due to city, st city stability. How do you... How do you... Oh, okay. Interesting. So... Loses two population and or here for the XP. Wow, for, for six turns. Wait, why is the AI moving now? I had a decision. Maybe it had something to do with that. No, like he just had a bunch, couple of his forces just like start move, moving around. Oh, oh well, we'll we'll fight because we'll probably lose some stuff and we can replace it with some of our better stuff. Hell yeah, man! I mean, Let's go. Army's infinitely better. Hey, Martin, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Appreciate it. Yeah, Pwn, Pwn's fighting a battle now. Oh! That's a lot of stuff that died. Did you auto it? Yeah. How'd it look? Oh, man. <laughs> um, I lost more than I thought I would. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's a really strong army. I, uh, hey, Drews, I have the Overlord Tower in one city, but it doesn't affect all your cities. So We're going to try and fight yeah. it. We're going to try to march to war here. To war! We can do a little bit of scheming in the meantime. Oh, look at our haggard warlocks. Look at their heads with the bulging eyes. 
I love it. So here's our stacks. We have the um, Necrotic Magic, Lightning Focus, Joy Siphoners, some pretty cool upgrades for sure. Man, I just want to, I just want to attack Pwn's base so bad. <laughs> I'm tempted to just march up there and do war, dude. Yeah, it's tempting. How big of a fight are you in? Is it as big as the one I just fought? No. No? Okay, so you're just going to no. stop. So it's that monster stack with the Baylor. And the oh, okay, yeah. The Baylor, the, the AI probably didn't play super well against the Baylor, huh? I think we just go this way, guys, honestly, and just do battle with the, the chosen humans here and just steamroll their armies. That might actually just straight up be smarter. I don't know, but yeah, Whiteborn is super good for... It's really good in general. Yeah, you guys can go to Pwn's perspective on his channel if you want to see the battle right now. Um, Adrius just dropped a link, so you can see what he's up to. Um, dual perspectives and all that. Huh, 20 knowledge. Said, I'm probably going to lose some stuff, but just... I just don't think I'm going to lose that much. You got to go tell it's, him he's a mercenary. Steep, though. Just a foul mercenary. Why, do you, why would you... Don't you dare put that evil on me. Yeah, you are, dude. Hmm, can I afford to build anything here? We actually have pretty good uh, production down here. Uh... Hmm. Maybe make a Warlock. I'm saving souls for some late game stuff, just in case. It's good to have a bank of souls. Yeah, we don't have the crabs, the crab walker guys. I, they're okay. They're a tier two unit. They kind of fall off in the late game. Like, I'd rather just have more Banshees or, you know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe having a couple Bone Golems would be smart. Maybe I'll build some crab people just for you guys. They tend to die in autos, though, in my experience. Let's see how long they would take here to build. All your units apparently die in auto. Not that, that, I've had pretty good autos for most of the game, but that was just a, a much stronger army that we had to fight. A Bone Golem Crab army? Are you excited to play Smaug in the summer expansion? Yes. I, I just love playing all the evil undead stuff. It's like my favorite, hands down. And the Empire, like playing Pure Order is really fun. That's really fun. So, we have public order issues here. Betray his people. Yeah, we do, we do. Spelljammer. I think, I think the Baylor is more deadly. It's a tier five. Is it? Okay, so build the affinity improvements three times. Launch the Age of Shadows spells. Dude, are you just I'm, are you just going to get you with a fat magic victory or what? You might. Are you going to come unga bunga my magic down? <laughs> the chosen human guy, I think he needs to go. He's just looking extra jacked up here. I feel like we could take his armies like pretty easily just with the leadership bombs. Yeah, hmm? yeah, sorry. We're playing the same size map as last time, Brent. But you notice that it's bigger. The map is actually bigger, and the reason being is because um, I put on small underground, and when you do small underground and put on a medium-sized map, um, it makes the overworld just bigger to compensate for the smaller underground. So I think that's the way to do it. If you don't want to deal with underground trolls and like chasing them through the catacombs, it's it's pretty uh, pretty cost-effective. In my experience. Absorbing is going to take four turns. Jeez, that's a long time, guys. Have any fat crit? Oh, fat crits from Pwn. Yes. Now, this Baylor has an AoE attack that we are slightly afraid of, but but we are also haggard barbarians, so we charge headlong into it. <laughs> are you showing that Baylor who's boss, dude? No mercy. Okay, we hurry recruitment he here. He will learn. We can get some uh, night guards. Shall die. Where do we? Where do you guys want me to go next? Do you want me to go after the human guy up north so you can see some of the leadership effects and strategy? Need to go unga bunga his seat of chaos. Yeah, <laughs> the seat of order here. Yeah, one order affinity knowledge. That's pretty cool. Because Pone's gonna be bashing this guy. Pone's battling Stelgardis, which is good. Man, part of me is like, if I let Pwn beat him up, he's going to get a bunch of Chosen Destroyer buffs. Looks like he's like moving towards Pwn's capital with a... Oh my god, this guy's terrible. Have you seen the enemy lord? Uh, uh, he's level 3, dude. Oh, I, I didn't notice <laughs> Oh, he's level 3. Oh, level 3. Just in the pits of hell. We could totally go and raise all these bases and wipe out the humans. I don't think it'd be very hard. Just spam Banshees just all day and just leadership on them and they'll run. It'll be like the Nazgul in Lord of the Rings. They will flee the city. 
get blasted by this baler. Oh, he can just fly past everything. Oh my <laughs> god! I forgot about that. Oh god! <laughs> you have to tell me what's happening, dude. Keeping me in the shadows here, man. <clears throat> the baler like flew to a good angle and like nuked a bunch of units. Yes. And then and then the phoenix did the basically the, the equivalent. Yes. Good. Now we punch back, though. The Revenge now of... is the time of the orc. The Revenge of the Pwn. Let's see what heroes we have available to recruit. We can do that a little bit, too. Uh, what do we got here? Strength and Fortune. Not very good. Crypt. Buff everything. Ooh. We could actually reanimate that hero and bring it back to life on our side, right? Yeah, so recruit a hero from your crypt as an undead. Oh, that's cool. So this hero we probably just sell. I think we will recruit her as an undead. She's level 7. Has some good items, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Crypt. Inspect. Yeah. We'd probably change her abilities. Yeah, Rang of the Vicious Killer. That's really good. Barb Shield. Killed. Wow. Wiped out like all my haggard skirmishing. <laughs> Man, the Baylor was that strong, huh? Oh, his ability and the Phoenix's ability. Yeah. I thought that these costed three. Uh, I was very wrong. That cost one. Hmm. See here, the Phoenix costs one. I've never actually fought a Phoenix in this game yet. This is my. This will be my first time. First time. The Baylor's for gonna die, and he explodes when he dies. So, <laughs> let's check <laughs> this shit out. Oh my god. Oh, okay, that wasn't all that. Oh, Dark Vigor. All your armies heal ten points per turn in hostile domain. That's awesome. Oh, immediately reveal the full world map. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that shadow trait. Holy shit. Dude, we're going to see the entire world map, dude. We're going to see where you are at all times. Uh, I think... <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm, I'm like 90% sure that you still have Fog of War. It's yeah. just Let's like see. you can see everything, though, if that makes sense. Got it. Okay. And but... Your throne city. No, no, no. The whole map. It says your throne city gains infinite sensing range. Huh. Yeah, that that's not vision. So I can see where the armies are, right? I wonder. Yes. Yeah. Like, like I think I think you have the exclamation marks. Makes sense. Makes sense, my friend. Did the Baylor defeat you in combat or what? No, Baylor died. Okay, you you haven't ungood your last bunga yet. We're working on the Phoenix now. God, how is the strength ranking saying this guy's any good? Who's stronger than us, by the way? So we have a bad military, which makes sense because we've been running light. Yeah. I understand the Phoenix should be reborn after I kill it, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Running into some drama there, dude? We're just keeping that morale high for us, so that way. Mm. Haven't even checked the underground yet. Probably should do that. We gotta heal. We gotta heal. Healing. You have restore on some of your barbarians. We're yeah. gonna reckless rage with Garrosh. He's gonna come in with the judo chop of the gods. Did he actually he kill slain it? Slain the bird. Yep. The momentum slay. Oh, maybe it takes a turn for the phoenix to be reborn. Maybe it's a chance. I don't know. Oh, I did still lose one of my berserkers. That's a bummer. I was hoping to save one of those, but okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so... But we have done it. We have slain the beast. And we didn't even gain a level. Good job, man. I believed in you the entire time. We lost all that and did it. Uh, this person gained a level, but... <laughs> okay, let's do this. Start recruiting some units. Um, we can just get some baseline units. A little bit of screens. Start getting the Banshee summons. We could declare a justified war against him. What is, mili what, is it, what is strong about him? Is it his military ranking? No, his military is not the strongest. That's probably Pwn. His economy is quite good, though. Maybe we do need to build up a little bit before we go for that heal and, you know, secure our territories. Okay. Our, ha our haggard stack of, like, tier one units was just decimated in that fight. There's like yeah. two guys left. They're like, oh. <laughs> oh, here comes the enemy. Enemy Lord. He's level three. So that will give us a mana node, and then we can take this. So that March will be. From Black Rock. Hmm. He does have that claimed. I think it's okay. Can we still declare a justified war? 
Let's see. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we're still chilling on the Justified War Department. We can speed produce that. So we got our Seed of Shadows. So we get more sh Shadow Affinity. All right, boss, I'm basically done here. Yes. So the Banshee Legion will keep gathering. This city will be ours in three turns. This should be easy. It's just a tier one wonder here. Oh, he declared war. Wow. He just straight up was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Are so, you about to die? I mean, it's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Okay, so this gives us that. Um, knowledge is 276. Has your time finally come? I don't know. So apparently you have you have uh, auto turns for, I guess even the AI is going on our turns. So. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. They're all moving around when it's while we're moving. Yeah, it's... He it's... retreated back and took out that Haggard. Oh, side. God. He's coming for me, dude. I see these armies popping out of the shadows like, hello. Hello there. We were waiting for you. Hello uh -uh. there. Combine two skeletons. So let's go ahead and get a uh, another Banshee summon going. Hell yeah, dude. Tomb of the Cold Dark is pretty rad, but Frosting Transformation gives us Frost Resist. Um, plus 10 morale and cold terrain. That's like more of an aesthetic one. It's really good, but this is super useful right now. So this would be, our shock units would have that, and we get the Tyrant Knights, which are really cool too. Summoning, teleportation. Subjugation does seem like it'd be a lot of fun. Oh my god, we could also do this. Holy shit, maybe this is the route we go, guys. I think we want one Scald in this army. I think we have enough leadership stuff. Do we go for this? So, status resists, keeper's mark. We could do the thing that Pwn loves where, um... <laughs> what does this actually do though? So marching winter, target friendly territory starts changing to snow. We get frost resistance, immune to being frozen. Um, veil of darkness, target enemy gains camouflage, flash freeze. Yes, yeah, this is all like province altering stuff. Dark Knight, Dark has knights, doesn't need tyrant knights. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling about it. Tyrant knights are really cool though. They, they have the demoralizing heavy charge. Keeper's Mark applies to zombies too and summons. I know, I know. Part of me is like, that could be some solid filth for sure. You see everything? Are you sure? Somebody says that you see everything. With that ability, yeah. Okay. Arcane Supercharge, Target Magic Origin, Arcane Restoration, Arcane Bond. Teleportation is cool, but I don't think we need that. Subjugation just really gives us, although the final ultimatum is not bad, you can cast it on routing units and you just gain them for the rest of the battle, I think. Permanently mind controlled. Summons? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, it's, I have enough summons. I don't need more summons, really. I could, but Undead Tyrant Knights does sound pretty badass, and it's also very much in character. Um, yeah, so the Tyrant Knights are pretty rad. Because I believe my knights... Sorry, this is just going to be just a moment longer. Because they don't have the demoralizing charge. So they don't like lower leadership when they hit you. Like the tyrant knights do. Phase beasts are cool. They are. Plus this 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 tome is just really good in general. I wish Tome of the Cold Dark was better. It's just, it's just haggard. Yeah, eh, it's fine. We're gonna stay in character. We're gonna we're gonna stay in character. This was my original plan. I, I'm not. I could make it a little bit stronger, but I think this is gonna be fun. Is given the duty of bringing light onto those. It is the tyrant knight. Okay, so he's capturing this. Are you unleashing the dreaded tyrant knight? I have to. I, I know there's slightly stronger builds I could do, but dude, they're cool. And yeah. Now they're undead. I know. Undead Tyrant Knights? Come on. Oh, Big Daddy's level 10, dude. Oh, yeah. Summon Undead. We finally got it. Soul Collector. Inspiring Leader. 20% upkeep. So now we can just start making him do a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage. Agecraft. 
Yes. How do you feel about the Souls mechanic? Uh, I honestly don't mind it. Um, I, I think it probably needs a little bit of a look at. It seems like it's slightly off, but generally it's it's very fun. Like you, do, I, but I'm also playing a playstyle where I'm not like getting a ton of undead. You know, terrifying aura. The end of this turn, killing momentum. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Dude, the Tyrant Knights are the Tyrant Knights uh, tank leadership as soon as they hit you though, so that's that's why I'm getting them. Look at a skeletal visage. Oh, they have some crappy armies here. Plus, the intimidating aura is so cool. We're kind of really leaning into that, uh, for better or for worse. Outpost founded. Let's make a work camp so we can annex that. City will be ours in a turn. This turn will be quick, I promise. Uh, let's age that up. Spells for the spell god. Oh, we don't need to do that right now. Hmm. Yeah, I was really tempted to do... Oh, I was falsely denounced. Oh my god. The guy that's fighting you is denouncing me, dude. Apparently he doesn't have his hands full. So we'll get this... I think well, he, he killed off like a, a four stack of my units that I just had over there exploring, so he's probably pretty confident right now. He's feeling pretty good. Yeah, yeah his, his level three hero is like, Oh, we've easily routed the enemy army. <laughs> Victory will be all soon. Okay, so we could actually get this combat here, which probably is a good idea. So let's go ahead and get this. And Little then, does he know Doom comes? Does Doom come? Yes, Doom does come. Okay, I was just checking. Okay, I'm just gonna auto. It's an AI army. I'm pretty sure it, I won't lose anything in the auto. Maybe one unit. All right, come on, give it up. So having having to calculate quite a bit here. Wow, really? Okay, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to drag you through that. I definitely wouldn't lose anything if I fought that, though. All right. So Banshees. Looking good. Looking good. And uh, Ruler has leveled up again. Wow. Level 11, huh? He's getting pretty jacked, my friend. Uh, do we want to get... Soulbound, Soul Collector. A little bit of Vigor actually doesn't hurt either. It's probably an army of uh, of the plant people there. We're just going to save our Imperium. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Yeah, once you're... I mean, I have Undead as like a tertiary unit, right? So it's like... Uh, it's like I'll still be summoning them, but they're not like my core... In my core army. Okay, so... Tyrant Knight in shining armor confronts me. Today, my blade will end you, infernal scum. <laughs> I love it. Holy the shit. Tyrant Knight draws his blade with quivering hand and lingering doubt in his eye. <laughs> Is he getting all neckbeardy on you there, or what? It's I like... can offer him riches to corrupt the Tyrant Knight into a war breed. Oh, that, I mean, that sounds like what you're supposed to do. You're right. Or I can lose some knowledge for six turns and gain a warp. Nah, let's just spend some gold. We'll take the warp read. Get some Skeletors. Where, where is my warp? That's not it. Hell yeah, Tyrant Knight's here. Okay, so final ultimatum. There he is. Yes. That could be kind of fun. Let's try that. Let's look at my giga tiny chad. Oh, Death and Human. I got cheesed. That's not <laughs> one of my works. You got you got what? You got backstab? Which makes sense. No. It's just the one that it made is not like of the same race. Oh see so you don't get the me. benefits, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's just a haggard human. War breed. <laughs> a nerd. Look at you trespassing on me, dude, with your haggard scout. What is this? Oh, I don't know. Scout's got his own mind. Here's what Pwn's people look like. Just like Smurf Orcs. The spawn kin. Yeah, it's pretty great. All right, guys, we're going to go just absolutely steamroll this human here. We're just going to just give him the dirty beyond recognition. This would be a really nice spot. I need to 
gain another territory. I can do that, or I can take... What does this one do? Oh, yeah. Tw Makes my building cheaper. We'll take the extra territory for the sake of goodness here. I'm surprised that this human guy just declared war and just like, uh, so that was really out of the blue. Your hero must be kind of high level too, huh? He's doing okay. Yeah. I don't know if he's as high as yours, but... Yeah, Chosen Destroyers is an interesting one. The one I, the one trait I've tried, I don't know if you guys have tried it, um, that I don't like is the, the industry one, Perfect Artisans. I really dislike it. Like having, I know you get gold per building, but it just seems so slow to get going, which is just, uh, you give up so much agency on that. So we need another hero here, um, which we'll try and recruit sometime in the next few turns. I don't want to, I almost want to rush that out. But oh, can I just important. animate you now? Oh, awesome. I don't even have to pay for this. Oh, hell yeah. That's that's great. What a what a win that is. Can I just get this badass hero? So we'll probably respec her though, is the thing. And she can be the governor of her old city. She gets it back. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like perfect artisans. It felt it felt like very weird. Um This guy's, this guy's just hiding in his outpost. He's like the enemy will never be able to out siege our walls. <laughs> Not today, man. Not today. Let me know when you're ready, by the way. I'm just messing around here. I'm done. That's okay. Nice. Okay, passing turn. Man, that's really nice though that I can uh that I can just instant reanimate a hero and don't have to pay for it. The Dread Legion gains Mark of the Conflux. So one astral affinity. Oh no, I don't want that. Minus one mana for each. No, I'm good. Um yeah, we'll just like spare some mana to get rid of that 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 debuff, basically. Yeah. All right, so let's start our uh, conquest against the foul undead or the foul living. Excuse me, I was getting out of character there. And we're gonna start summoning out just droves of skeletons, and they're gonna um, just be raiding his lands as I progress. Awesome! So we got that wonder now. Let's get more units coming up. The Dark Forge is here. Doesn't really look like there's too much we need. Yeah, Perfect Artisan seems like it could be good late game. For sure. <laughs> Did you just kill their ruler? No. Someone's ruler just went to the Shadow Realm. Oh, Summon Undead. Hell yeah. Alf Alfred, that's your guy. Alfred, yeah. Was it? It, it looks like he probably got caught by that Astral Rift. The, the lost wizard up there. <laughs> <laughs> just getting hunted by some AI shit, like, oh. It takes four turns to siege this place down. Oop. So I like to make my these kind of characters, like, support pieces. And then, once you get all the core support, you then make them into, like, you know, whatever type of a combat character you're looking to do. So she, she can lead the second army here. Hmm. I know, I know. I should probably start building roads, but like, I'm actually kind of tight on money, so it's like, um, I can get the teleportation thing, so my ruler can teleport back. I feel you should always make that um, this tower. You want this? Because then you could just teleport your lord back, and you're chilling. Damn right. it! Oh wait. You, you all good there, man? I'm I'm trying to unend my turn. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Outplayed, dude. Let's go through the woods. Yeah, I'm not super rich. Um, I'm gonna start Actually, raiding here. We'll save up for that. We intend to do that anyway. So whenever you like push into someone's base, you should always have like a legion of shitters like following your armies and just um, and doing that basically, just like raiding whatever you can. Go forth, my minion. Yes. Okay, subjugating raid. So Besiege City loses one population and I gain it. Oh, and, and morale debuff too. That sounds kind of cool. All right, let's have you keep going up here. Just get the armies following. Mmm. Yeah, Pone and I aren't going to... I see you guys talking about the spider spam. Um, we, we're, we're not going to like do that kind of stuff. Just cheesing. You know, we like to... I mean, we'll do strong strategies, but they're typically going to be like fair strategies. Or at least what we perceive as fair. Um, so probably need to get some like... Yeah, we could get a... 
Yeah, just start getting some chaff units out here. This looks like double they... mage bane. This is what I need to beat up turn. How how dare you? I don't even. Yeah, I don't need spells as much, but it's mostly my hero actions. Um, so we have summon banshee ready. So let's go ahead and summon a banshee with this army. Cool. Looks like the AI is just sending some shit stacks at us from the south. I don't know where pink has like random armies in the south of the map. I don't know what's what's going on with that. Unleash the shitter. Yeah, it's some funny business. All right, so we got an army leading that. Is it gonna pull that in? Oh. Alfred, is, he's raising his banners. They come. You guys are about to see the punishment, though, for sure. All right, so what is this? This is just a couple of random archers. Maybe they're going to go to my outpost. I'm not sure. Should be able to spam out some dark warriors. He's hanging out right here. Yeah, just get all Every those time resources. I come up here, it looks like this thing's being raised by some... Look at that. He's, he's coming with that shitter stack here. Um, do we have another Banshee? Can he reach us next turn is the question. Might be able to reach that skeleton. Let's just sit back a little bit just to be safe. Once we get one more Banshee, we could probably auto-resolve that army. Oh, he's capturing oh, the outpost. Okay. Turns over Meow. <laughs> yeah, I'm down in the, the bottom right of the map. Not up to too much, man. Just taking it easy. I see the city burning everywhere. I, I don't know if I'd say you're taking it very easy. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm raising all their territories, and, uh... Okay, can I actually just straight up, like, karate chop? Yeah, those units look pretty bad. Hold on, we're not at war. I don't think I'll be able to move in. The prelude to doom. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of debuffing here. Probably that center army is the one we would do the prelude to doom on. Okay. Oh wow, that's an easy auto too. Jeez. Add siege, siege projects. I legit have no siege money for siege projects. <laughs> I guess we're just going in the old fashioned way, baby. Yeah, dark dark is great, man. Yeah, they're they're the culture is awesome. It, it just takes a little bit to learn, but yeah, I've, I'm having a lot of success with them this game at least. New rally started. Um, another rep ruler was denounced. Past turn. Okay, so we got those farms being raided. These farms being raided too. Let's get you in there, and now we can go retake that outpost. Mm, monolith, yes. More, more mana is always welcome. Attack. Show them no mercy. Raise. These banshees are jacked, 121 HP a pop. That's crazy. Okay, four turns on that. Look at these undead mole men. There's some undead moles? Yes. Oh god. My, my, they actually look kind of cool. My nemesis. <laughs> the moles. They come in greater numbers. Infesting the lands. Uh, prelude to doom. Yeah, we save that for the siege fight. Alright, all done, brother. Quick turns. I'm just sitting and sieging, mostly. I wonder where he's got something down here. It looks like there's a hostile... It's orange. That is a lot of stuff. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Five stacks of six th things. We just need to base Snipe Pwn because he only has one base. That's the big strategy. True. Mm, armies are generating in hostile domain. We can instantly get 2,000 mana. Gain knowledge whenever a unit ranks. Spells can be cast in the first turn is probably like a really clutch ability for us. Yeah, let's get the quickening. Let us march to war. Nagash is weak. Witness true haggard. Exactly. This guy's like the showing showing old Nagash how it's done. Definitely raise that city down. We want that. We want that. Yeah, you guys saw the banshees earlier. Like how good they were with mass routing that army. It was pretty strong. Dude's level three. So who are you fighting, man? The other guy. Okay, you're fighting the other guy, huh? We're just like taking turns beating up the AI here. Yeah. So it's great. They each, they each decide they want a war. I know. I'm surprised they went after us. 
Although we're both evil, so like the AIs are less likely to like us. So we're also in between themselves. Yeah, a little bit. Four turns, and we just go do that. Put a fork in them. Alfred really stacking the city up with crappy units. Spell orcs will not be known as <laughs> will not be known as peaceful people. Yeah. All right. So Baron's palace. It's hero. Intimidating aura is what we want. Is there anything else? What we I want? get his hero's army. His hero's army is a shitter staff. Who's who's a? Oh, he's gonna attack me. I'll I'll take going second. Or going first. You getting attacked by some uh, some terrible army? The AI has begun his assault. Just moving to its death in an auto resolve. <laughs> That's what tends to happen with those armies. Have you? I lose three units. Uh, I think that's fair. Ashes, I haven't yet, but I'm going to this this campaign for sure. Yeah, because the tier four chums I go for are both going to be like the dark ones. Yeah. Okay, so let's just keep raiding. He's giving us some nice money. The dreaded skeletons raid the countryside. Look at that, Alfred abandoned the city. He fled. Wow, look at that. Okay. Oh, this dude's on the run now. I wonder what they're gonna do with this. Are they gonna turn that into something something? Some dark warriors over there. This is almost done. We can speed that along. We just get the wizard's buildings. Cannot escape me. Dude, Alfred fled the city, man. He he did not want to defend that at all. Hmm. Living Fogs? I've heard mixed things about them. Yeah, I've heard like some people really like them, some don't. There's a lot of units to lose there. All heroes He's game. got a, such a shitter army. Was it just a Zerg? I'm gonna retry it. You're, you're fighting it right now? Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. How big of an army is it? He's got two stacks? Two stacks, yeah. Hmm. The most evil thing I've done yet involving that spell is the uh, the corpse eat ability from the bone, bone golems. Oh, that's, I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, corpse eating is really good with the un, undead, I think, right? Although, does it get rid of the the body? Because technically, it can make your undead like heal a lot in the late game. Like if you just have stacks and they're just like healing while they feast and kill things. But I don't know. This is my human war breed. We don't care a whole lot if that one dies, but we still try to keep him alive. Alfred's territories will be ours, guys. We could we could. Expand our city cap too, and get another another city, which might not be a bad idea. But if anything, I would do that to his capital, which has a lot of territory. Intimidating ore is coming up. The most evil thing. Phase beasts are uh, a pretty good unit. They're really good for sniping characters. Banshees can do the same thing to an extent, but not quite as much as the phase beast. Because banshees can phase also, um, but they have attacks based on movement, so they do less attacks after they like move and everything. The fogs inflict insanity with armor piercing melee attacks, but even better from the book is AoE damage that makes an expanding fog cloud. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Well, it looks like we have a farm we can expand here. That's nice. We'll probably take his city up here, actually. It's probably pretty damn well developed. We need to get the teleporter infrastructure, too, so we can fly around. Hmm. <laughs> the most evil thing you've ever done. How's the fight going? You you doing better? Uh, well, not not a lot's happened yet. We should negotiate and trade. Let's see. I'm gonna look through your items. Oh, I can just peek through your items. Oh, you have a warg and a ring of resistance. So I can trade territory. Oh, can I actually trade you territory and like get you past the one base limit? I don't know. Do you have a good axe on your character? No. I just have the basic. Do you want the frost great axe, dude? The frost wolf's no. hunger? No, you don't I, want it. I, I had that option, remember? Yeah, that's right. You did. I turned it down because ice magic's probably not good against you. Yeah, I didn't go the frostlings route. I kind of wish I did it. I wanted to expand the frost territory. That would have been very thematic. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a undead leadership discouraging build. So it's like necromancy mixed with a little bit of holy to try and and punish leadership, and it, it's it's pretty strong actually. We've We've been able to master out armies, and we'll, we'll do that here as well. If we get a fight here, I'll, I'll fight it and show you what that looks like, because it's been a while since we've had a fight, so. Yeah, first got to raise the city to the ground, though, and then keep advancing north. Well, 
had of my baby come back you need dark vigor definitely gonna get dark vigor um army's healing while we march through their terrain terrain uh terrain is is quite good um so for the traits we have overwhelming tactics which is insanely good when you have tons of zombies and stuff and your casters standing shoulder to shoulder casting um so we have we have the overwhelming tactics and we have elusive so make us less like harder to hit with ranged which is just probably the best pvp skill in the game i think and then we have um, powerful evokers to make our casters better and we have mana addicts to give life steal to our army when we cast spells it's um it's it's a really strong start so far but we'll see what it really you know holds up when we end up fighting pwn right because that's what matters that is that's what matters is how it performs against him you can make yeah, I tried an evil high culture. I did this exact build with high culture and it wasn't quite as good. I liked the dark the 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 dark casters like battle mages just seemed objectively better. Yeah. This build does have some weaknesses though for sure. Like if you're playing against somebody who's immune to leadership issues, they can just cheese you that way and it's your build's just terrible then. So it's very like, you know, Pwn wanted a hard tech with like certain things he could, you know, but uh just to like counter my build. It's very possible. Um, farm. Yeah, so we got all these in ruins. Yeah, we have good knowledge. 272. Soon to be maybe a little bit more. We'll have to see. Building the wizard's buildings. Could go for the farms granting additional food. Yeah, the Dreaded Dread Legion is the name of the faction. <laughs> Correct. Wow, they didn't annex that wonder for real? The Forbidden Shrine? They must have. Maybe it's a little too hard for the AI to do. Hmm. Very cool. How's the battle going, brother? You winning? We we've, we've just collided finally. Oh, I should I should pull up your stream and we could watch that too. Uh, I mean, unless you want to keep something hidden from me, which is fine. No, you can watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do dark vigor as well, so we can uh, we can do that. So let me see. I just need to turn the volume down for I a second. Think, I think I've informed you of every every fancy thing. I yeah. I'm just I'm just muting the desktop audio for a second so they won't hear you just in case YouTube blasts me with some because sometimes ads have copyrighted music in them and then it would just shut the stream down so um, well, I muted your stream when I watched just because yeah. so, otherwise there's double turn yeah well you yeah you could just turn it down yeah uh -huh. which is too much turn even for me it's too much we'll do it for the there next can, battle you're already there can only one. be one there can be only one brother. Here's Alfred's armies. Let's see what he's got on his units. Oh, man. So Alfred is going for an Intimidation build. That's not good. So he's got Intimidating Aura on his units, but that's going to be basically useless against me. Um, he does have Zeal, which is my units are weak to Zeal. So that's pretty good. Almost one shot this thing. Hmm. Did you get your heroes to turn into 10-foot tall giants late game? Yeah. You could do that. I, I whiffed. Oops. Are you losing, dude? Is it is it time? Definitely, definitely not losing. Is there is there a reckoning going down? A grudging? Is this ah. Oh, this does hurt my units. Satisfy oh, well. the grudge. Boom. Got to develop the city too, man. We are so poor. It's so shitty. Run here, kill this. Get the extra attack. To turn around and murder this. How's your income, by the way? Are you like kind of rich from all your city destruction? No, because I'm burning my money as fast as I can. Basically. Yeah, same here. Same, yeah. Ring of the Vicious Killer. So let's actually unequip that. Oh, we can't do it while he's in combat. I was going to say, putting that on my archer would be really good. This guy. Because then he'll inflict morale penalties. 30% against large targets. That's really, really nice. I really like Industrious. That's what I'll... Next time, because this might be... This will most likely be a couple episodes. Like this one and another one, I would say. Um... So opponent and I will stream this again sometime this week. The dreaded mine has been summoned. The mime? Mine. Oh, okay, got it. A mine. Okay. Yeah, we need to get a we need to get an overseer's overlord's tower here. We definitely need oh, to. That was some fat Oh, that's fat damage. You losing, dude? I've lost my first unit. Oh no, it begins. Oh, what does he have on his castle? Yeah, Faithful. So he's going the Faithful route, Signet of Knighthood, Stabs of Mending, just like classic Holy Healing, but with a little bit of an Intimidation element. But look how weak his units are. Like 86 HP on his frontline tanks. And then if we look at our uh, 
or Dark Knight, for example, Homeboy's rocking like 123. Oh, he's riding a wolf too. Yeah, I'm excited to fight another battle for you guys to show you what the leadership can do. And, you know, he's going to have to fight it. He's going to have to fight it. Unless he's got a spell jammer somewhere here. I should have turned him around. Oops. Whoops a daisy. You getting bonked right now? Murder. No. Okay, you're good. Uh, so somebody says, I went high culture Murder. horde tome and I didn't take spawn kin, made all my heroes get support tanky skills for T1 and took super growth. That's pretty cool. Invincible tier one units with runesmiths. Yeah, it sounds like a fun combo. Yeah, this this game is like, there's so much scheming you can do. It's crazy. There's so much scheming. Go, my bomb. <laughs> Let's see here. What units did the uh, auto have you losing? Like some of your berserkers? Yes. Oh, that's. They had me losing one of my berserkers. Yeah. My banshees definitely just die in droves. Which is definitely not going to be the case. I, I lost uh, just like one of the tier one shitter guys, but. Yeah, you guys think they're going to add gunpowder to this? That'll probably be like a DLC or something, right? Found that Industrious is play backwards, get your units in the triple retaliations and turtle up. I find uh, playing Industrious with like a battle mage, battle mage, like supporting your front line of tanky dwarves is quite good. You know, you get like some bastions and and uh, tanky infantry and then you just like follow them up with mages and do kind of a slow push. And it, it seemed okay. I, I don't know. It seemed okay. His opponent's fighting a big fight here. I don't have vision of him, so I'm not able to see it. You see the Seed of Chaos over there. Next turn, we should be able to clear out the armies of Alfred right here. Yeah, we should be able to move in and take those bad boys down. No problem. Heading over to the west, we got City Ruins. That's the city that we desolated and killed. Don't need to worry about that. And we'll uh, get this as well. For the next battles, I'll pull up his stream too, so you guys can see what he's doing. We can watch them. It didn't occur to me, I was like, until I suggested that he do it. This one's almost done. Yeah, you're good. I'll have a fun battle for you guys to watch here in a minute so you can you can see the, the dread schemes. Mm -hmm. Mainly just three turns of uh, this base being punished, but... Archon. Oh, he flees the battlefield. Claim victory. Claim Auto it for, battle. for the pwn. Well, the units just die anyways, right? I don't know. Maybe. I'm pretty sure they do. I've never seen units live after, unless they have like uh, I think maybe there was one condition and like this weird resurgence ability. So, yeah. Oh, strange. Yeah, they die. They're dead. We have won, and we lost way less units. Alfred's gonna go down here. So we have the strongest military now. That's cool. Your favorite AoE 3 was Berserkers uh, Tiger Rush because they were Berserkers with Pounce. That's pretty cool. I think Unicorn Knights could be a really good build too, because they can teleport across the map and get you turn one. So you just mass like knights, but then if somebody just tech spears against you, you're gonna you're gonna suffer with the cavalry slayer thing. Pwn's having a uh I think he finished his battle, so now he's now he's uh, wrapping up his turn, I'm guessing. Yep. I'm all done here. The intimidating aura will come. Let's take a look at Turn's army here. A level 9 hero and his level 11 hero. Yes. And, and a, a level 7. Looking pretty scary, dude. How are you able to see him? Oh, you have a scout nearby? Oh, you have the watchtower. That's pretty fun. Yeah. The the mighty Gareth the Victorious marches. Yeah, you coming for me, dude? No. Okay, I got I excited. no okay. Gareth the Victorious. Yeah, he's been he's been trying. Alfred's, Al, Alfred's struggling. <laughs> All right. Um, lose gold and receive food. Uh, we can we can lose a little bit of uh, if I ignore the concerns. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Oh my God, Alfred's just spamming cities around the map. Just such a troll, just dude. Found us. Yeah, I see that. Kind of want to go to war with this dude. I know he's a troll. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need to make you guys sit through that. Capture that. Looking fine. To, uh... Oh, the AI is coming for a huge battle. Oh, <laughs> he's bringing his full Dread Legion. Holy shit. Look, Pwn, look at your watchtower. Look. Yeah, yeah. I saw My that. lord, oh, I'm Gareth. surrounded. That, that was Gareth the Victorious. So I could auto this, but I feel like it's kind of a blue ball. We should we should give, you should pull it up on your stream. So uh, you I could, get to watch it. Yeah, you get to watch it. Good. I, I have vision of you. <laughs> 
I have a thousand more strength than him. But uh yeah, I guess he just wants to wants to get in there and do battle. Yes. Souls for the soul god. Alright, so yeah. Men we... of Bretonia! Squires! That's basically what this Squires. army is. That's basically what this army is. You can grab something. No, I'm good, Ron. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I have a mug here. You need the keys? No. Yeah. No, I have soldiers. Okay. Let it. Okay. Alrighty. This is definitely the Darth Vader I'm surrounded meme. Yeah, that's a very accurate, accurate representation of this. Um, I think he does. He have the basic summon undead. So that's the virulent outbreak. I have so many abilities on him now. It's crazy. Yes. Release the Dread Legions. Get you camping in the trees here. Facing that way. Get you going down here. Support character. We have our Dark Knights rolling. This is going to be pretty fun. So we got a lot of spells to choose from. Um, I think we just start causing some despair. Turbo mortals and despair. And just start tanking their leadership, basically. Um, yeah, let's, uh, why not? Let's do it. All right, and uh, I think that's basically it. Should be kind of quick. Pass turn. So the AI is coming. We're gonna try and just route as many as we can. With like over channel. Oh. oh, look at them bunch up too for the route. Oh, but they have bannermen. The bannermen fix leadership, don't they? Rally to me. Are they just not going to attack or what? Okay, there they go. They just gathering for the for the, all the buffenings. The AI is so so fast about that. Okay, so we got to be extra cautious here. Unfortunately, they're out of range. So these guys can't quite reach, but let's create our wall of the dead. Evil. <laughs> England prevails. It's our favorite. Uh-huh. Yes. And we'll set you up right here, although you're a little bit vulnerable to being shot, so I think we'll just chill for now. Is there anything we can hit? Nope. AI hey, did a pretty good job staying out of range, it would appear. Let's form our Death Star down there. They have Grail Reliques, they do. Yeah, they're basically cheating. Okay, nothing nothing terribly good there, unfortunately. So we'll probably just over-channel this turn. Hmm. He should definitely sit a little bit further back. And then we can pull the Banshees down here. I don't know what kind of AoE punishment they would have. Probably not much within the Holy Tomes. Um, they're definitely not bunched up at the moment enough for us to really warrant nuking them. So we could just do some random despair stuff on these guys. Yeah, I think we gotta wait for them to bunch up, guys. <clears throat> have you come down here. And then the Banshees can chill in the bushes here. Banshees. And uh, then you come down here. Banshee should probably look this way. Banshee and Dark Knight. Yeah, the AI is pretty good at like staying just out of range. I've noticed that. They definitely are. Many other abilities we want to use? Not really? Okay, so we got to cast a spell or else we lose morale, which is pretty funny. Um, raise zombies, obviously not very good. We could do soul overflow, which is probably really nice. You lose morale though? Yeah. You're undead. Oh, yeah, actually, I guess I don't, but I still want to cast something anyway, so. It's nice because if he hits you with something, at least you have the life steal. Yeah. All right, come and get some. Oh, look at the knights moving in there, dude. Going for the snipe. Look at my skeletons just giving the dirty to those warriors. <laughs> so we're gonna start tanking their morale pretty hard once they bunch up a little bit more. Get that epic zoom in action that turn. Never does in Total War. I, I'm pretty good about that compared to a lot of people. Okay, so we have our Archer Man. Aboth the Tyrant. This guy hits like an absolute truck. So we want to do 
not the baleful curse. We want to do the curse of despair, but where do we want to do it is the question. Here's pretty nice. Although back here we could get a route, but these guys will probably just straight up break if we do it here. So they break, and then we can go ahead and do a Banshee teleport into the middle of them. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Oh, they're just already fleeing, dude. It's awesome. So this, these units are just straight up routing already. The, the ones over here. So we need a Warlock to use the dreaded Baleful Curse on these guys. Weaken them down so we get the extra damage here from our character. Oh, damage. The Banshee should be able to finish the job. Yep. All right, let's have you um, cast a Virulent Outbreak or we could over channel. I think we'll just do a Virulent Outbreak for now on these guys just to start getting them low. Diseased, yes. So are these guys gonna run? Not quite yet, they're pretty close to it. These peasants will run. Oh my God, the zombies, look at them go, dude. Oh yes, my minions, rise. Rise, baleful minions. Okay, so this character could do a little bit of razzle-dazzle flanking. Yeah, so the whole enemy army is actually pretty low in leadership now. Um, I could have sworn I have over channel on this guy. Did I already? Oh, I guess I shot with him. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, you need to see the foot icon correct. I think if I kill one more unit, they probably flee. Oh, the damage on that is so good. Okay, so these guys are pretty low on leadership. Moving the Banshees up is a little bit dicey, but I think it's okay. The Whale of the Banshee. You can come and hammer these guys down. They've got to be close to routing. Starting panicking. We're in trouble. <laughs> okay. So they are certainly looking like they're going to be running here in a minute. Yeah, so they already have units running. A couple. Except the banner characters in the back. The, the zombies get joy stealers too. Yeah, so when they hit things, they steal their leadership. It's pretty nice. Okay, so they're just buffing things. This is the might, the full might of this human nation here. They're gonna have another stack, which I'll just auto resolve since you guys get the idea. They're trying to trying to salvage the leadership. Rally, my men. <laughs> Bretonia, squires. They're basically just yelling squires right now into the into the void. They should have brought a Grail relic. They should have. Yeah, they definitely should have. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I haven't over-channeled yet. It's it's kind of hard to like use this little bar in the bottom. It's very clunky. Um, all right, so over-channel. Doom and despair, minions. Yes. Look, they all ran. They all ran, dude. Everything runs. Oh man, I could. Leave before you. I could permanently mind control a unit. Um, although I don't think they have anything good, so it's not really worth it. Do they still have a knight? Can you see it on the battlefield? A knight? I think I killed the knight, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he rode in really early. Yeah, it was fine. There's yeah, nothing. He did. There's nothing worth stealing. Oh, that's such a cool strategy. Just like literally take like zero damage against three full stack stacks. So some of them do escape. Oh, so you see a boot icon. I wonder if that means they get away, how that works. No, it looks like they still died. It's weird. Okay, well, let's just auto that shit. The Bannerman is worth maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm happy with this. This is just fine. Just put him out of their misery here. Yeah. Oh my god, so much knowledge. There is a way for you to get to your five dragons and lost wizards. I'm listening. Unless you're talking about with Turin's hmm. stealing uh, mind control thingy as yeah. they're routing. I think you can. That's one of the main ways to do it. Yeah. Good. You need devolve and final ultimatum or turn it into a little beast and then mind control <laughs> that's pretty awesome that would be pretty good 
the escape troops can come back later. Yeah, so next time I'll just chase them down, but it's cool to see that, you know, we can save some time. Oh no, it did kill the Lord. Okay, so the Lord did actually end up dying there. Um, so let's get you, the unholy leader. I don't think he's leveled up. Hero leveled up as well. So the archer, oh, this, char this character is so cool. Terrifying aura. Too bad he's not a melee character. Um, fighting, Sentinel. Gives us first strike, martial expertise, makes physical and ranged attacks. Do 10% more damage, yes. That's cool, so they escape and return to the throne city. Got it, so in the future I'll just chase them down. It's, it's fine though, it's more souls for us to farm. It looks like we're just annihilating both of the AI rulers here, huh? Yes. There can only be one. Uh, yes, you are gonna pillage that farm. You're chilling in the armies, both of which are full. And pastor. You had three lost wizards against a friend yesterday. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. That's pretty cool. Oh. It's a cool little strat. Yes, tier four tome, baby. Which one do we go for? So you can regenerate our health for a minute. So Tomb of the Reaper gives us, we can resurrect, mark for death. So target non-hero unit becomes despair. And this unit cannot recover hit points and will die when this effect expires. That's cool. Target friendly city loses one population, but you gain 60 souls. And then you get the Reaper unit, which is a tier four mythic unit that can instantly kill units and empower your undead. Oh, oh that's so good. Or Oblivion. Um, God, they're, they're, I'm going to get these both, so I don't think it matters too much. Yeah, the Devouring Void, Ritual of Insomnia. I got to get the, the Grim Reaper unit. We got to do that. Reaper's awesome. Yeah. So many wastes. Oh, Summon Reaper. March for Death seems like it's good, too. Do you know how much that costs? Some semblance of hope to their petty lives. Not off the top of my head, they no. <laughs> the Dreaded Finger of Death. Reaper unit is useless? How dare you? Look how cool it looks. I, I think it's decent. So it, it's also, got... It's a melee yeah. character with three attacks. It hits for 60 damage. It can heal off eating. And it has a 60% chance of killing a unit. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I do want to try March for Death first, though. Let's see how that goes. Plus, being able to get souls from all the different buildings and stuff is really nice. Um, Alright, let's get the uh, Wizard's Tower the next level of it. Looks like everything's got something here. I'm going to get the Reaper unit. Now we have Intimidation Aura, so all of our melee units will get um, more leadership. Discouraging. Yeah, I've never used a Reaper, so it would be my first time. Look at you, just this goblin over here, dude. I see you lurking on my borders. Wow. I didn't know about that. Can I use it? How often can I use that? Oh. Oh, March for Death seems so cool. Although the, you know what? I keep going back and forth on it, but yeah, we gotta we gotta get the cool looking unit. I just want to see what it looks like. All right, Let's do that. Wow, he's actually trying to reinforce the city. Are you serious? Oh, he came back with all of his units at like one health. Oh, they just reappeared there, and we get to farm them for more experience. Oh yeah, all the units that routed in that battle just came back at the nearest city. And just we're fed to the <laughs> fed to the gods of darkness here. All right, so let's do the dark vigor. Yeah, so now our armies will heal in enemy territory, which is really nice. Um, raising the city will take four turns. Could vassalize them. Hmm. I think we take the nine hundred G's to be fair. It's way out here. Dude, Vassalizing would only take two turns, and I could definitely use the buffering. Like a nice vassal city. 900 gold versus, let's see. So vassal, we got you. We don't really have too many vassals, or any at the moment. Would give us a little bit of a rally of the lieges action. We're going to keep moving up here, obviously. Pwn's making a decision right now. All right, so... Deciding the best way to murder this guy. How dare you, dude? You're such a villain. Uh, I know. I'm the most evil. Yeah, you're... you're. Well, I don't know. Actually, I'm pretty evil now. <laughs> I think you, you, your evilness might be rivaled. I've oh. been there and done that. That's pretty nice. Let's do this. 
So he's got a couple summons we can do in like the first few turns, right? This is really nice. And Sentinel, Grim Executioner. And it kills a unit against three fortune, which gives it 10% crit chance. That's actually not bad, but Sprint is probably better. So we can escape hitboxes and stuff. All right. Let's go do this. Hmm, I can't decide if I want to vassalize this city. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Have a little bit of buffering. And over time, I do have synergies with giving Whispering Stones to city, so... So that's, that's something to take into account, too. Did we forget to level you up? We did. All right, so she's got the... Uh, yep, let's get the upkeep production. It's nice. It'll save us quite a bit. Yeah, the Sentinel doesn't work with ranged attacks. Yeah, it only works with melee. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a... Uh, do we have the, the Lord of the Humans in our crypt? Wow, he's actually a pretty decent hero. Wand of the Rising Undead and Orb of Seeing. We could uh, we could execute him, and then he moves to the crypt, and then we reanimate. Oh, that's the play. What a pure turn is going for Banshees. <laughs> Evil. And now we can animate him and get a uh, get another hero when we want. Cool. Are you just following me around, dude? Little little, little watch. You little goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well watch. Wizard Sour is really good. It gives you more combat points. Dude, I'm. are you pure evil? Uh, No, I'm very evil. Well, it looks like I got you beat because I'm pure evil, dude. Dang it. Oh, I'm full on evil. Yes. He's reached a form of evil we thought not possible. <laughs> Never in my years have I seen such evil. My eyes are blinded by the evilness. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving up. Put a fork in this guy. His shit armies. Um, new Empire development skill. We definitely save up for that. The Spying Shadows, that's so fun. Oh, that's so fun. A lot of things to spend Imperium on. We got the Mint coming. We really need to get a uh, Overseer's Tower here. Their faction leader is Alfred, yeah. It's Alfred, yeah. Like from Batman? Yes. You need to just stop grabbing all this random shit around here, dude. Uh, do I want to go up and do a little something something? Reinforce, maybe. Okay. Do this army just chilling. They could stay there. I don't know if he's going to come with more stuff, so. I don't think we need to do any of that. Looking good. How cool the warlocks look. Dude, you're the Diet Coke of evil. That's right. <laughs> Somebody in chat said that. It wasn't me. It was credit credit to, uh, to Galahan. Dude, yeah, the Warlocks are awesome. Although, on, on my screen, it looks like they're like the rendering isn't fully done on their head. I don't know if it looks like that for you, but... So we'll give a Whispering Stone. Make them our minions. And, uh... Yeah, the 900 gold would be nice, but it's... They'll event, it'll, this will eventually outpace it once I get them to... Because they're giving me 10 gold and knowledge and mana, and that'll only increase over time, so it's a, certainly a better long-term investment. Oh, the Reaper. Yeah. Shuffle research. Greater animation. Resurrects ta target non-hero unit. Oh, wow. Oh, but it dies at the end of the battle. Hmm. There's a lot of junk here. Domain of death. Construct soul siphons. It's a siege project. Oh, that's cool. So you gain 40 souls. But I wanted mark for death. Yeah, there we go. Okay, looking good here. It's time to put an end to this this uh, this guy here. See if he remembers what happened last time. Man, it's a good thing we have some subjugating raid. Oh, that's cool. So we steal population from them, and they lose morale at the start of the fight. And um, they actually have a fair amount. I feel like the ballista towers suck. It's not even worth worrying about. So, what are the Caltrops considered? Are they a support piece? Support. Yeah? Okay. We'll just do a little bit of that. Just freaking nine turns of just sitting here. Oh, dude, I've been saving the mana for the Reaper. Oh, ho, ho. it's so much shoals though. Holy shit, that's a lot. I need to, I need to start getting some of those buildings and tech. Hmm. 
We'll have to see here. The skeletons can just uh, they can just chill out together for now and just move up. Expansion. Squires. Squires. Nine <laughs> turns until breached. For you too? Are you breaching their capital down there also? No, I'm just looking at yours. It's a long time, dude. It's a long, long journey. All right, so let's get this. <clears throat> For the horde. Is the horde coming? How does demon's blood taste, Pump? It's, uh, you know, it's a little bittersweet. What's bittersweet? Being, being the Smurfs? No, demon's blood. No. Uh, so we can do that. Hopefully they'll just come out and fight me at some point. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, though. There it is. I was like, there's a raid coming to get me. Luckily, that raid's like weak as shit. You'll gain the Cosmic Orb, so it's a oh, tier okay. 3. That's another. Shadowy Vendor, Cosmic Orb turn. Oh, okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take that. It's an okay item, but it's not, it's not the most amazing. Okay. So we need to build a root of shadow. Yeah, that makes makes everything a little bit cheaper there. So shadow spells are cheaper. So let's get that set up right here. That'll take a couple turns. And we want to summon the dark dark wizards here. Where is it? Oh. We want the hounds. Oh, they have a spell jammer. How dare they, dude? God, you guys. Come on, man. Where is it? I gotta go find that shit now. Just ruining all our good fun. It's okay, we'll get it the old fashioned way. Okay, eight turns until breach. I have the Reaper units here now. Here's what it looks like. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Oh, that thing's rad. All right, where's his spell jammer? His territories are so vast, it could be anywhere. Hmm, so we got one of those. No, it's good. I, I appreciate it. You know, I'm just learning this game with all of you guys. So for those folks who have put in some reps, I certainly appreciate any pro tips. It's great. It is great. So we could do the Mage's Guild here. What does that give Turns us? Reaper. Do you fear it? Kind of. I think I think they're really good. I'm excited to, to use the, the point the bony finger of death at your units. All non-Reaper undead units in the army gain plus 10% damage and 2 resistance. Um, so how do I want to deal with this city is the question. I could take it over, like migrate it to my culture. Not necessarily a bad idea. <laughs> this war of ours is tiresome. We should end the war. Who said that? <laughs> The guy whose capital I'm burning down. He's like, can we not seek counsel as we once did, my good friend? He's like, okay, we'll call to draw. This is a spooky-ass army. Two fire dragons, two fire giants, a fire wyvern, and a magma spirit. Looks like he's got everything in the city. Man, not going to be able to cast, which is annoying, but the auto-resolve should honestly be fine. Almost have enough for that. Oh, good draft. Okay, this thing's like about to go run over here and start burning down my my shit. You having problems there, dude? Not yet. Not from a Jedi. Need to build a couple of units to uh silence him. Yeah, that's good. I hear you. Moving up. Passing here. I wish I would have went to war with your guy. He's got cities all over the place. Yeah, oh dude, you would've you would have been farming him for sure. You're, the guy you're killing is actually like trolling me. He's like taking territories from the side here. <laughs> Shuffle research. Hero. Restore undead was healing. It's fine. We don't really care for that. Domain of death. Baron's palace is, is cute. Proud expires. Shuffling is at this point is pretty. Yeah, domain of death, man. I want to get the one harvest population. Yeah, it's pretty. Target friendly city loses population, but I gain souls. It sounds like it's pretty fun. Holy shit, Alfred's calling in the, the the hordes of hell against us. His last stand. Man, and I, uh, I'm i not going to be able to cast magic there, which sucks. This is how much? 150? Damn. Okay, we need to just do this. I think his units just suck so bad, it's probably not a huge deal. 
All right, so let's see. Six turns until a breach, man. Minus two. Let's see what the auto resolve says it would be. Yeah, my army strength is 3,400, so I'm pretty sure that just trash cans his. Um, okay. You can destroy the spell jammer. Yeah, if I can find it, you can you can pillage it down, yeah. 100 percent Keep you guys over here on guard duty. The thing is, Alfred's armies are running out in open field, so I could I could just go pick off these armies real quick with my uh, my main force. Her, her turn question. What's up, dog? Why why do you have a dark warrior in your main army and a reaper in your haggard? Because I'd have to lift the uh, I was trying to switch you it. Do not what? I was trying to switch. No, I, I was trying to switch it, but then I, uh, the spell jammer screwed that up. Okay, they're just coming to their doom, which is great. Although I won't have magic, so this could be a little bit scarier. Yeah, we're just gonna auto combat this. It's not worth the time. It's, I literally double their value. I'll probably lose a couple units. Oh shit! It's a phase kit. That's actually spooky. Yes. Be gone. Although with the the, the spell jammer thing, yeah, maybe that helps them in the auto resolve. Love we'll to see. Nope. Not a single unit lost. Oh, <laughs> Alfred's just feeding me, uh, feeding me experience now. Yeah, I was, I, mean, I was meaning to switch it earlier. I just forgot. Banshees and, and scary monsters. Harvest population is done. Um, the card expires. Sure, why not? Uh, actually, there's better stuff to choose. We should shuffle. Domain of death. Target friendly, 20 stability. That's actually not terrible for like stabilizing some of our weird cities. Let's get re greater reanimation. The AI have gone to war. Well, the feudal, he's using all tier one and tier two units. It's it's not that it's that strong, so. Yeah, and my army is pretty strong, like late gamey. Loses one population. If the city does not have a hero, it also loses 20 stability. Huh. I wonder if I can harvest Target friendly city. Can I harvest vassal cities? No, that would be really cool. But alas, I cannot. We don't need the souls at the moment, so we're chilling. Come on, Alfred. Enough is enough. Hmm. Turn Von Haggard loses, but I gain a Necromancer of the Dreaded Legion. No, definitely not. Oh, gains enough experience. His move to the crypts. Oh, but it kills one of my heroes. No, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I, I'm sure I could just resurrect it, but then that would I'd have to march my hero like all the way down and it'd just be a pain. These skeletons are going to die. It's fine. Just doing a little exploring. All right, man. Quick turns for me. I don't know about you. Just passing here while uh, evil things are commencing in the north. Yeah, you can do team games in this, 100%. You can do team games. Are you too weak, dude? Looks like I have to fight this one. Oh, I get to watch finally. Oh, they, I mean, this is <clears throat> this is me killing a marauding army with the like haggard army I spawned at my base. Oh, you can watch it if you want. I mean, I have no choice. It, it took me in. Apparently, I have vision of this. I, I don't oh. know. Yeah. Oh, I have an iron golem too. Dude, pones, pone. Here's pones. People, we can finally see his upgrades. <laughs> oh my god, look at them! So he's going for a critical hit chance. Uh, morale and strength. Honestly, the morale tome will help him against me. Um, he does flame damage, which is great against undead. And he's got a little bit of resist. Yeah, solid army. Really solid force. What? It is Gromash's, or uh, Garrosh Hellscream's dreaded... Do I just get an iron golem every turn? Yeah, it's because of your golem mine. Uh, so in this province, you built a golem mine, which gives you reinforces golems if you're fighting there. Oh, I'm going to win this, no problem. Yeah. Is this like your bandit army or something? No. Hmm. I just like start building them as soon as it said that there was an army marching forward. They have a phase beast. I know. That's why I was slightly What what did, what did the auto have you losing? Everything? Oh, I didn't look to auto, but it I I was like way down in in uh like power strength. Yeah. That's the phase beast. That thing's really powerful. But yeah, getting the golems probably keeps you from running into issues here. Oh, 
Yeah, Pwn's army has super high morale because of the uh, the Slanesh book. War oh, and War God Spirit. Oh god, my morale strategies aren't going to work against him, guys. He is too strong. Oh, okay. Wow, the War God Spirit is because they're fighting in my domain. Yeah. Pwn OP, dude. He's too strong for us. Okay, so... I tried, I tried to warn you. Nice flank. Let's see if he's going to get it. Yeah, the phase beast, when the AI controls it, typically just dives. But when a player's controlling it, like much like the Banshees, you can really get pretty optimal plays. Oh, dude, you just bonked the hell out of those things. And it explodes. Oh, that's going to be so good against my zombies. Just bonking them and exploding them in my lines. Oh. No, that, that was their unit that exploded. Well, yeah, because you bonked it, right? And you have the flame burst oh, weapons. When it died. Yeah. You have the ability when you kill something, it explodes. Flame burst weapons. Yeah. Reload. This is why we weren't spectating, is because it, it typically. I mean, it's not that bad, but. Hmm. Yeah, it can cause it can cause some uh, some issues here. Oh, waiting for combat. Okay, I guess I'm not watching now. Are you in combat? Yep. Okay, weird. It just like literally kicks me out of the battle. It's like, no, you don't get to watch. Alfred just spamming cities everywhere, dude. He's got the whole frozen north up there too. I've had an enemy mage lord who just Leroy Jenkins himself. Yeah, that's weird. You sometimes the AI is really cagey, and then other times it's just like a potato. Yeah, you know? it's very strange. It's very strange. So we got all the channeling towers. The overward, the overlord tower should basically solve this crisis that we're having down here. Are you ready for the most evil army possible, Pwn, to come for you? He's right. <laughs> Damn. Did you win? No. You did? Of course. Good. You Ooh. doubted I would? It was looking a little dicey there when I when I left. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon another one of these because they're so damn cool. Although I think... Hold on a sec. How far off are we from those? Yeah, no, we need to finish those seeds of, uh, yeah, seeds of shadows before we build that. You know, the AI is like just straight up not even bothering with those skeletons. The siege is quite, quite long. All right. You seen the claymore called Anathema? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is that some high tier god weapon of destruction? Harvest in some souls, because we'll be able to just get it back pretty quick by attracting the population when it's low like that. And uh, yeah, we can just keep harvesting whenever we have the need for some souls. Yes, Alfred, keep feeding me experience by sacrificing armies. Okay, guys, we have the shadow. Immediately reveals the full world map, and I get to see where everything is. The pinnacle of evil. Oh yeah, so let's see what this looks like. So now the whole map is revealed to me and I can see where all the cities are. I can see, oh look, I can even see Pwn's armies attacking. Oh, isn't that cool? Now you get to watch all my battles. And yeah, oh that's, dude, how cool is this? Oh, I love it. I get to see where everything is. We know where Pwn is too. We you're, know. You knew where I was. <laughs> well, no, where your army is. Yeah. You know, I, I had already told you I was sneaking. Well, you know, this could be any number of cities. That's really cool. Okay, a couple turns on that. Wizard's Apex Tower will give us more Imperium. I'll never forgive this man. Declare justified war. Who, against me or that guy? The old man. No. Oh, it, it just said he took one of our territories, so I was <laughs> like, aha! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Teleportation circle, yes. Sign me up for that. Uh, I think I I'm going to fight this one because this is my big AI battle here. Yeah, it's fine. I, as long, if I can watch it too, that would be great. I think I should be able to because of the ability. The walls have been breached. Apparently there's a claymore that can instantly kill magic origin units. Has a chance. It's pretty cool. Gotta try desecrate structure. What does that do? 
Target a resource node in your domain. Node provides plus five mana income. If you lose the province, this effect stops. That's actually pretty good. I should have been doing that more often. Hmm. A lot of things I'm learning about the undead here today. You're in the fight now, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so despite, how big of a fight is it? Is it going to take a minute? It's a siege, yeah. Okay, big. so let me turn the mute the audio and I'll pull up your stream and we'll just watch that. One sec. Almost ready, guys. Just getting this all set up. And I think we're good now. Okay, so if we go full screen here. Aha! We are live. Yes. We're stream sniping, Pwn. Here he is. I don't, I don't blame you. Oh, look at the war breeds you have, dude. Those things are pretty cool. It's a single entity model, right? So does it still get smurfed, but it just still gets the 20% damage, right? Yes. Okay, okay. I like that we're like killing the AIs at the, like, the same time. <laughs> Within like a couple turns, right? Your, your guy's got way more cities. Well, I'm at his capital, so if I kill him and he's defending his capital, so yeah, it'll just kill them. Yeah. Let's turn, turn his other stuff into a... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Whatchamacallit. So I just have the game sound muted, guys, because otherwise there'll be an echo. You you would hear you would hear Pwn Dog's voice. This is great. I can just like rest my hands and watch. This is awesome. Hmm, Berserker units. Alright. Well, I guess after these two are dead, it leaves just you and I. <laughs> so it would seem. And I can thankfully I can see where you're coming from, or else I'd be nervous about the barbarian ambushes. It is the hound masters. Look at Pwn being all cagey and shit. Look at this. A true a true barbarian would just auto combat this. <laughs> a true agent of chaos. You're absolutely right. There's Garrosh with 90 HP. He stands ready. That is the war breed he got from his event. If the race has swarm can, it will uh, become multiple models. Got it. Yeah, yeah, because you can see these these ones are swarming, right? Is this AI? This oh man, they have some. Look at the dreaded triple unicorn hero. They must have the faction trait, right? For uh, I suppose so. Yeah, for unicorn mounts, I think so. Sometimes the AI will just uh, all their like. If you notice, all the heroes always have equipment. Yeah, yeah, they do. Stream rating. I don't know if YouTube has that feature where I can like do that. I think maybe Pone and I could set it up so we can do that to each other's channels or something. I'm, I'm not sure actually. Oh, the fat, the fat combos. Shoot my dogs. <laughs> yeah, the, the dogs are ready. So he's got a bunch of Houndmasters, Warbreeds. It's a pretty classic Chaos Army. Uh, I don't have very many Houndmasters. I just, I have that uh, special uh, siege project that gives you the army of dogs. Oh, unleash the hounds on siege. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Dude, this, this AI is not going quietly, man. What was the balance of power in this, actually? Uh, I had more. Yeah, of course. I would imagine. Your army looks huge, but they're, they're actually killing some shit. Yeah, they're killing dogs. Yeah. Does that affect your leadership? Can you check that? Oh, Blaze of the Horde. I don't know. Everything looks pretty normal. Yeah. Blaze of the Horde is a great spell. Yeah, I don't know about stream rating, how that even works yeah, on YouTube. So YouTube's like, you know, pretty potato with its streaming features, comparatively. Okay. Still doing a little bit of poke here. The big decisions. This is going to be the end of Pwn's army. Wow, I lost. <laughs> they do have Caltrops. Yeah, that's true. So, Oh, the Warhounds are shock units too. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. So they can, they can get in and uh, bonk things. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, he gets in there. Oh. <laughs> You're doing some work, man. Warbreeds are a built unit, right? Not summoned? Yeah. Yep. Dude, I love that pushback when they like bonk it and it pushes it. That's so cool. 
Yeah. Pwn's got a lot of those tier three war breed units, tier four. Onagers shooting and blasting away. Very nice. How much did the, uh, did you check the auto out of curiosity? No, I didn't check it. Okay, that's good. I, I, I would imagine uh, you might lose a few things for sure. It seems they have three decent quality heroes in here, right? Go Smurfkin. Gila the Blessed. Some, some nice elemental summoning. That was a a bomb summon. Oh, what did you what did you actually Oh, it was a, so you summoned like a, a Devastator Sphere? A mine. Just gonna go swarm the gates, dude. Yep. Yeah. Can they destroy walls and shit, those guys? They have the demolish trait. I think that's maybe maybe it just gives you bonus damage against like the siege buildings and stuff. I don't know if it actually affects the uh the other things. Okay, there that's you go. Pwn's glorious Ungo Bunga, dude. Hound Masters have an interesting synergy with high heroes. Damage bonus for its marks, and high heroes have support ability. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the Hounds, I think Hound Masters are probably one of the best early game units. They seem very strong. They seem very strong. Oh, lightning weakness. Okay. Pwn shooting a little bit of lightning. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty excited for our fight. I think it's going to be really fun when our armies clash. When the when the kingdoms collide, worlds collide. You remember that song? Yep. That was that's like one of the quintessential like new metal early two thousands like really. How many of you guys remember like early YouTube days? You know, like watching like World of Warcraft like PvP videos that would have like, you know that er, like that new metal music on it. Oh my god, that's like that was one of them. And uh, oh, what was the name of that other band? Dude, the Caltrops are going to give it to you, dude. Lincoln Park. Yeah, Lincoln Park was in a lot of them, for sure. Um, God, what was the name of that one band? If somebody can name it in chat, I'd be pretty surprised. Oh, man. Okay, let's see here. God, what was the name of that band? It's going to piss me off if I can't remember it now. God, man. Look at the AI just cheesing you there, dude. Killing your war breeds. Power Man 5000. Yeah, that was that was one of the one of the bands there. Dude, these guys are they're no joke, man. No, I I mean it was it was a big fight. Yeah, they're killing for some sure. shit. The choke points aren't doing you any favors for sure, you know. With like all your unga bunga. Dragon Force, AMV, yeah, AMV and montages. Oh my god, Power Man 5000 anime <laughs> collages, yeah. Oh man, it was it was uh God, what was it? It's going to haunt me, dude. There was like a really famous one. Where it was like that Swifty guy. I think he was like a World of Warcraft like PvP -er guy. He used, he was like one of the first like early guys to. No, it wasn't Drowning Pool. It was like S S Saw or something. Oh, what was the name of the band? Dude, this is haunting me. Um, Soil, Soil is the name of the band. Yeah, and they had a couple like really really classic new metal songs. I think it was they're called Soil. Yeah, hang on, let me check. Soil Rock. Soil band. I just searched soil rock and it's like giving me all these like geology things. Yeah, soil. The, and this song was Halo. Look up the song Halo by 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 them, I think is what it was. Or Breaking Me Down. Like Breaking Me Down. You remember that one? It's it's they're called Soil. That's that was the band. That was like in everything. I made a PvP video with my 70 lock using Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication. That's definitely that's definitely different. Yeah, which is great. Uh-oh, the Unga has started to bunga. Here he comes. Pwn Unleash the bunga bunga. Pwn's leadership is just fully erect. Samson, I was way off. Soil, yeah, they had that single halo. Yeah. And that's what it was. Did they mind control that dog, or do you? did you have... They had a dog. Dude, Garrosh Hellscreen must go in and satisfy the grudge, dude. <laughs> 68 damage. Oh, and he gets the bonk again. So Pwn just made his hero like a straight-up killer. Look at that. He's just bonking everything with his axe. It's so cool. Yes, Evan, that's the deep lore, isn't it? 
Yeah, he's probably going to get a leadership route soon on this army. Dude, you're just... Whack the whack. <laughs> you're just, like, one-shotting everything now. Here's another one-shot. You ready? Dude, shock units are so fun in this game. Just char Yeah, just charging in and unga bunga, like, bashing these guys. Oh, that's so fun. Sorry for the no volume. We're watching Pwn stream to see his battle, by the way, so that's that's why this is... uh. This is going down like that. All right, nice. Late game chaos is even better with Houndmaster since the dead units can come back as demons. That's it, and that works on hounds really. That's pretty good. So Pwn should have this battle won in just a second. I don't think they really have a whole lot left. Yeah, a couple guys up in the walls, things like that. The Skjald. Come drop some uh, some lightning fire beams. Dude, the unicorn characters are gonna like phase over the wall and just kill that skill, dude. Can you charge that thing into the walls? I don't know. That would be really rad if you could. Ooh, 85% shot. That's pretty nice. It seems we both have like our own Legolas character, huh? I think it's time to unleash the dreaded auto. Yeah, at this point it's pretty pretty much a squash. Well, they'll kill a couple of things, but it wouldn't make a difference really. Right. Like next turn you're gonna unga bunga like everything down. You only lost, I think, like, what, two or three units? Yeah, sounds right. Yeah. I'm mostly just an army of dogs that died. Yeah. Man, the uh, the retaliate on your war breed was brutal. I'm not looking forward to those things just bashing through my shitty front line, which I don't have. <laughs> I just don't have a front line at all. Can't you do PvP battles in Total War? I wish you could take over the AI. It'd be fun, but, like, honestly, these battles would take, uh, they would take a little too long, probably. So Pwn just basically cleared everything out. Um, we'll go back to our perspective now. Should be pretty quick turns from here because he's just got this, and then um, I'm gonna just auto resolve mine no matter what. It's it's like a joke. You know, empire skills available. The thousand mana one's pretty nice. Okay, let's do a little bit of planning. We have the root of shadow, the seed of shadow. Soul wells are giving us souls per turn. Warbreeds can attack walls, yeah. I think I think they might be able to. It kind of looks like they were. Hmm. What's this? All this up here, dude. There's like just a huge astral rift near your base. You never cleared it, huh? No, I think it's got a fat, like a fat army on it. <laughs> You're just like, no, thank you. I, I went that direction early in the fight, and then uh, or early in the game, and I left. Yeah, it's good. Send the Forsaken, uh, compensate gold. Yeah, I know. Come on, get that get that out of here. We're evil, dude. Oh, no. Pwn has defeated them. Their cities lie in ruin. As the chosen destroyers do what they do and destroy. Burn. I have to admit, I'm not surprised that you were uh, ungabunging there. It's a lot of gold. I wonder if Pwn will come our way. Or if he's, gonna, if he's just going to kind of do his thing. Mm. All you know for sure is that there will be unga bunga. -ing. Well, I will see you coming. Yeah, I like. He can't see. I I am looking right at your armies. He sees nothing. <laughs> I'm quite. I'm quite literally looking at them. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I love that. Like the undead armies, you don't need to like heal when you're like out and about. You just like keep marching around and cackling. Mm, prelude to doom gives you demoralized Life goes on. prime city oh there's just like a oh so it, the the cities just became like random random crap cities basically the ones that are around interesting so they started at war with me oh, that's funky it'll probably happen here too and i didn't get any of his heroes you get nothing oh wow this person got a bunch of items are you just are you just scavenging? Yeah, I'm just looking at uh, some of some of these other heroes. Yeah, I gotta like. Look. I guess these were his heroes. He hired a bunch of rats. <laughs> he just got a bunch of rats. He did. Okay, let's get that. I don't think I have anything I need to cast. I'm all done here, boss man. Yeah, they they become. It looks like they just become free city. So.
Okay, Alfred is should be in his city defending it. So next turn we should smash him. Uh, here, if we do that. It doesn't really help too much. Let's get the academy for the forbidden lore. Got the mage tower. Now wizards, what exactly does this do? Wizards teleportation. So grants teleport allowing friendly armies to be teleported back to the throne city. So that's any armies. That's so nice. Or observatory. So we're gonna definitely build that because that will, uh, if Pwn wants to like shine sniper base, we could just teleport everything back. The Tomb of Oblivion. So this is the cool one that has all those like wild debuffs. Is not truly the opposite of life. So target non-hero unit dies after two turns. They come back to life and are inflicted with insanity. At the start of each battle, all units have a 90% chance of being stunned for two turns. Wow, that's gnarly. So these guys have intimidating aura, weakening aura. Then you will truly command life. Yeah, but the problem with the mind strike is on the living fog guys is that can she can she stop? I understand. Yeah, do your thing. The problem with the fog is that um, like I could I could make a yeah sleep of oblivion ritual of insomnia. Hmm. There's so many cool things. This is really fun. This one seems better, especially, yeah. It is inflicted with insanity, so I think it's only for one turn. Ritual of Insomnia seems really, this, I mean, being stunned for two turns. I kind of want them to come at me though, so it's not like as useful. Let's shuffle a little bit and see what we can get. Living Fog, Sleep of Oblivion. Hmm, Necrotic Spires. Well, I mean, he's kind of a chunky boy. He doesn't hit that hard, though. I feel like the hit hits really soft. He does have 130 HP, though, and would give us a bit of a front line. Hmm. Yeah, let's just see what they look like. Who cares? It might not be optimal, but we're going we're gonna to have some fun with it. Fog ignores defenses. Yeah, so we'll give, it a, we'll give it a whirl. We'll see how it goes. It could be fun. Like I said, might not be the strongest thing in the game, but we're here to have fun. So we could do the vassal thing. We could take the mana or gain knowledge when a unit ranks. I don't know if Pwn finished his turn. We have these guys, this free city. We can't make peace with them for another four turns. Okay. Well, thankfully we have these like sentinels here, which can kind of keep tabs. He hits softer, but ignores defenses. Yeah. So like against like tanky units, he's, he's good. All right. So yeah, we just auto-resolve this. Super one-sided. And uh, there we go. That should be the end of him. And then this will become a free city, which we can go take like right after. I have to return. Perfect timing. I'm just autoing. Uh... Wow, didn't lose a single unit. Jeez. That was a brutal auto. Oh! Wait, why do I get to make a selection? Because it, it, you, whenever a ruler dies, you, I think you... I'll take gold. Okay, manipulate the fading zeal of Alfred to get some money. Hold the parade. I'll take that money. Hell yeah, all day. So do we want to... That seems like it's too supply. I mean, it's a fair amount of stuff up here. So we do this. It's fine. Absorbing it would allow us to do the Baron's Palace. But I'd rather be able to get my own tech there. And then we can increase our city limit. Oh, we don't have enough Imperium for that. I'll have to do that next turn. Hmm, or do we vassalize it? Vassalizing Conquered City. We could do that and actually start collecting money from vassals. I think that's okay. And then we have this city over here, which is, um, uh, they don't appear to be at war with us. So we could start vassalizing them. We could even play a little bit of vassal game, game in here. Because we get knowledge per each vassal and gold. I don't hate it. Yeah, let's play around with it a little bit. Have our, our legion of, of minions here. So Pwn is, oh yeah, Pwn's coming for me. <laughs> I see the Unga Bunga in the mountains, bro. I see it. Holy base shit. Is way over there. No, it's not as far. I have multiple bases. So you would hit like the edge of my empire pretty quick, actually. There's a bunch of uh, these free cities now that I'm off to go destroy. Is that is that the case, huh? I'm marching towards Omni Spire. You mean Prime City? Or Omni Spires? No. Oh, Omni Spires in the corner. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 
You gained a population. Let's go ahead and harvest the population here again. The city loves it. It's their favorite. It's their favorite pastime. Please, Target sir, is. Can I have some more? Oh, I can't like spam it on the same city over and over. Okay. That's great structure. I think we're okay on mana. We don't need that. Orders required, my lord. Hmm. Unga Bunga is strong. We know he's down there. You may you may want to be wary of your city. I'm I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't see you yet. I know, but, but I do have the recall spell. Okay, good. Okay, good. I didn't want to go out like that. Um, let's do the. Yeah, that's a great one. That's really good. And then we can get the vigor to be a little bit tankier. Always nice for those undead characters to be raid boss. Mark of the tower. Uh, I don't want to lose cities. Ah, yeah, that's fine. We'll just pay the Imperium and get rid of that. So the Dark Lord of the Ungabunga is on his way. We have the ways of teleporting back if we need to, if he gets too close. Okay. Let's get you going. You going here. I see Pwn's Haggard Scouts. Summon Living Fog, yes, awesome. So Fog of Insanity, target friendly any, now has Fog of Insanity about which causes enemies to have a 10% chance of gaining insanity every turn. Oh, wow. Target friendly city, any battle and domain. Okay, so that's only in my domain, which is cool, but I think there's more useful stuff. Devouring Void, oh. Uh, you you best believe Turn's got some, some wedgies in the future. <laughs> Are you going to give my, my nerdy necromancers a wedgie or what? That's right. Oh, God. Bunch of book studying nerds. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Comes for you. I'm I'm scared of the the jock orcs that are coming to bully me. Uh huh. That's expansive as hell. Oh my god. I'm about to get a shit ton of gold. You are? Are you just? Are you coming into your full fruition as the chosen from, destroyer? From, from well, from raising that that capital, it's about to give me a bunch of gold. Yeah, probably gave you over a thousand, right? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Give him a swirly. I'm afraid of it. Oh, yes. Gold. I like gold. I love gold. Boost allegiance here. That's going to finish in a couple turns, which is nice. And it gives us vision range and true sight. Definitely want to just set this up after. Do it over there. We have our sentinels. We see the Unga Bunga moving in the shadows. Okay. Using our evil manipulation. I assume you're just like speed moving across as well. Why are you, are you just trying to race up to, to my base? Right well, now? I might be. You see, this is the risky run by getting so crunk out there. I'm on the north side of the map somewhere because I was obviously killing the humans, but am I going home or am I coming for you? It's, it's, a, it's a great scheme. Should he stay or should he go? Definitely, I can, I can do some work against these guys. I want to give them another Whispering Stone? Yeah, it's kind of like... It's an idea. There's a, there's a new free city next to you too, Heldon. That guy just like was going crazy with the free cities. You know, he's just going bonkers. Could get more Whispering Stones, but we're so low on Imperium right now. I don't think Pwn's even wronged me yet. We legit, yeah, we're, we're both like... We cool, dog. We yeah, cool. we're we're not on like the, the, the worst turns here. Yeah. All right, so what does that do here? <laughs> what does denouncing you do? That's funny. Uh, modifier that slowly decreases. Uh, well, uh, in relations. You don't need a home city if you take turns. <laughs> That's not true. I can only. Ha I can't take turns actually. Yeah, yeah. You, he can only raise. It's like his whole faction, but he just gets like a mega city that's like turbo powerful. Off that, basically. 
Hmm. Dude, you got those like dreaded ritual circles up by you and stuff. All right. How are we looking? Is the spell teleporter thing? The city was released as a vassal. All right, great. So we got you now. This guy can come down here. So this is one of our dudes. Do we have any more Whispering Stones? We can get another one. Give them a Whispering Stone. That'll also give us knowledge and more money. Oh, the Devouring Void is here. It's a nice siege project. Sleep of Oblivion seems fun. It's actually a spooky army. Whose army? Mine? Or someone else's? No, someone else's. Is the Ungabunga running into a roadblock? No. No, no, no. No, not like these. Dude, I see Pwn. He's he's really getting aggressive here. Making me a little nervous. He's he's coming for blood. And I am just a waddling potato on the north side of the map, basically. Um, is there any way we could repeat this one? I don't think you can repeat that one more. I think I have another way to get like a Whispering Stone. All right. Gonna go take, we could take that guy down too, which would be nice. We're at our city cap. Pwn might be coming to Ungabunga. I think he, he kind of looks like he wants to. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense. How long are we off finishing this building here? Two turns? Yeah, okay. Should give us enough time. We got our little vassal empire up here. Why are they still hostile? Are those hostile armies? Okay, doesn't look like it. Man, that astral rift with all those like armies up there is pretty pretty hog wild. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just uh, I'm just spotting it. Okay, finish that and let's see. So we have recall ruler and return. Okay, great. So we can we can definitely get back fine. Yeah, you can do Force March, but that does hurt your armies. It does hurt. It does indeed. So Ridge Keep is here. Getting to Pone's base is like, it's a journey, dude. It's like marching through freaking Mount Doom here. So maybe we just go down here and just karate chop these guys into Vassalage. I think wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yes, we are definitely about the trespass. It's fine. They just have like, oh, that's a full army of knights, actually. Wow. It's not a bad quality force. You can annex another territory. Is there anything that's good that's left? Not really. Let's take a quarry so we can build a little bit faster. All right. So let's see. And where are we at? Yeah, it's like a caveman reference. It's like what sounds the, the caveman would make, I guess, is, is, the, is the reference there. Mm. This turn is the local barbarian. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, we are kind of chilling out. Got some auto moves coming in. Okay, you're here. Move you up here. Move you up here. And yes, of course. Start. And let's go ahead and add this. It's kind of a nice one, although it doesn't speed it along at all. So hmm, we might want to just actually do the fast ones to reduce the time of the siege. Although it doesn't look like it actually reduces it by much. Oh, it's because we're waiting on a decision from Pwn. Yeah. I will probably take the city. It's not a bad one. Pwn's just butchering down there. I see his, his barbarians going for the prime city now. The, the chosen destroyer grows in power. Yeah, that makes Burn it three turns. Everything. I know you are. You sure are, man. Root of Shadow is there. We got some spells ready to launch. Could summon some of those big boys. Let's wind that one up. Are you ready for the living fogs? Oh, that thing looks so cool. That looks so awesome. All right, let's get another one. <laughs> Sign me up. And you just hustle down here. We have the Haggard Defenders of the Realm. 
Pone's Pone's gonna get rich though, because he's he's gonna start getting some actual good momentum. Because he's killing a lot of cities now. So this is where the chosen destroyers can take off. Hmm. Alright, so Foreign Dusk is here. We definitely need to get an Overlord's Tower here, so we would need to get a Dread Spire. So maybe we cancel this while Pwn continues to scheme. Get the Dreaded Dread Spire, and then we can build the Overlord's Tower to mitigate the penalty. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Three turns is a long time. Three turns is sure a long time. So now it's just me and Pwn. Both the AI rulers are dead. I think both of them, right? Yeah. So they're they're all gone. It's just us chilling. This is allegiance. Uh, which one is this? This is one of my tributaries. Yeah, it's fine. No problem. We'll we'll roll with them. Can gain mark of the horde. You're gaining mark of the horde. I can. Let's see what it does. I have no idea what that does. Construct soul siphons. You gain so it's a siege project. You gain souls and zombies. That's pretty cool, actually. Fog of Insanity, target friendly city. Huh. That's pretty good. All right, let's let's uh, let's try that one out. That could be a lot of fun, depending on the circumstances. So Bone's still down there. Pull you down here, just to keep watch on things. Sure, I don't think I've ever taken one of those. Why not? You don't think you've ever taken one of what? One of the, the options for like when they give you a new, new thing like that. Got it, man. All right, so we'll save that summon for when it matters. Dude, the, the big, like, monsters from that infestation are, like, charging my armies right now. <laughs> they are. So I know where you're at. Yeah. No, that's fine. I don't care if you know. <laughs> and then I see fire to ridge keep. Yeah, you could just deduce it by looking there, so. Wouldn't be too hard. Okay, how are we looking here? Beating up some vassals. I can't believe I don't have war justification against you. It's hilarious. Like the fact that I don't have that. Uh, Forbidden rods have been getting stroked for sure this stream. Yeah, I'm playing a like kind of a leadership necromancer type build. It's very fun. I got like warlocks and you know reapers and living fogs. It's all sorts of cool stuff going down. That would be quite helpful for sure. Pone's got his dread capital over here. Blackrock, holy shit, 22 territories on that. Every That's time I burn cities, I gain more. You're growing fatter, dude. He grows fat. We're trying to take this down, man. I wish I could siege fist faster. It's uh, so, so, so damn slow. Pone's sieging right now. Yeah, oh, he's already, he's already, he's already, <laughs> already getting the job done. Oh boy. The haggard defenders of uh, of the schoolyard necromancers are going to get bullied here. Let's look and see what else we have. Harvest population. I don't think we need to worry about that. We have enough souls. The Reaper unit is cheaper now, so we could summon another one of those if we want to. Yes. This is actually the best thing to do here. At the oh my gosh. Guys, the Dark Wizard Pwn is growing in power. We have to go for the magic victory, yes. Just <laughs> sit sit in the corner and make him come to us. We'll do some Total War corner camping tactics. Oh man, this is a cool one. That's a really neat ability. So what are you up to now, dude? I see you oh, sieging Prime City. Picking things. Yeah. Like this entire bottom side of the map has been... Basically rampaged by the chaos. Um, yeah, I could actually... I think I... Does this thing even have a leadership? Oh my god, that's actually a really funny idea. Mage Bane? What does that do? Devour, while in this battle, spells cannot be cast by the end. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I guess I could. It's like, let me look at the tactical spells I have. Alright, so... I have an interesting strategy I'm going to try here. Would it would it even retreat? This is gonna be very quick, but let's see let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> oh, look at the living fogs! Can you see this battle? No. Okay, that's good. It's for the best. We have to keep the surprises here. So this thing does have leadership. Okay. 
Why can we? Oh, that's right. But we can't cast spells in the normal way because of the because uh, of the mage blocker. Yeah, that sucks. Your vassal, your vassal, not your vassal, but your your buddies are coming after me. Oh, the reaper is so cool. The dreaded finger of death. Oh. Hmm. Just fat level twelve heroes coming to party. It's a good thing it doesn't matter. Okay, move you up. Move the AI up. Move them up. Yeah, it's true. I, I, I just realized we can't cast the spells because of the Mage Bane. So, Pone, I had a scheme where I was going to route a, like a mythic unit from this AI camp. Oh, and try and steal it. Yeah, but unfortunately, I... I like I, I it didn't my Mage I was I got so excited that I didn't like think that it was um it was a mage blocking unit. <laughs> so it basically just the whole strategy's out the window. Yeah. God, that would have been so cool. So that's one way to get the lost mage too, you know, under the right circumstances. Alright, let's just let's just speed this along, shall we? Come on, AI. Alright, so let's phase. Tank the leadership. Should be able to get him to route pretty quickly here. Uh-huh. It's hilarious, dude. I love this. It's so fun. Yes. And uh, let's get you to phase up and go behind him. And do we have any more? I think we do. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Be gone, spawns of darkness. So they're like immune to damage, basically. We can phase right behind them here. The Mage Bane's morale is still holding firm. Uh, I'm just going to auto combat this. It's stupid. I shouldn't have even fought it. It was a waste of time. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, so everything is basically going to instantly route there except the Mage Bane because apparently it's a immune to psychology. It's ITP. Auto combat. Dude, are we going to have a showdown in this episode? I don't know. Are you coming for me? Um, not, not with Gromash. Not with Gromash, no. Okay. Well, I see you lurking down. You're pretty close to my base, though, man. You're, you're actually really quite close. Yeah, I know where your base is at. I'm going to use the Finger of Death. God, these phase beasts are so annoying. Okay, that should just tank their leadership, right? Yeah, okay, that's a, that's a route right there. I could steal one of those things, which would be pretty funny, but... Oh my god, it's using zombie summons. Wasting my souls. Classic. Alright, sorry about that. That was, that was a scheme that would have been really funny. Okay, two turns until the siege. At least I'm getting some... They're literally just trickling in free experience. This is great. Um, Marauder Guard army attacks me. You're getting attacked by the Marauder Guard. So this is where uh, Garrosh Hellscream is, or Smurf Scream. That's where he lurks. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. Don't try and fool me, dude. I don't see him. I do. I use in the bottom corner. Living his best life. Okay. So Pwn could declare war at, on me at any time. I see several armies gathering on the border. Yes. So I think we just do this and then we can move on from there. Yeah, we got a lot of funky business to use. The Mage Bane's are really cool. They seem so OP. If you could get one on your side, it's just like you could just shut down entire players' builds. It's just like if it were a PvP. Yes. It wouldn't affect you that much. You don't. You would just totally be able to bash through, and you know, you would just miss yeah, out I, on. I wouldn't care, but yeah, it would be really cool to have one though. Damn, you destroyed that quick, dude. You destroyed that real quick. Okay, now it's Pone's time to shine. He's he's all the way down here. I don't see why he wouldn't just attack. Unless his army's like weak or something. I don't know. Maybe he's worried about that. Let's see. I can spot any of his. Okay, he he also has a lot at his capital. Yeah. Which hero is this? Oh, okay. 
It's just his side hero. Got it. So she's here. She's she's looking looking angry. Who's that army strength? Six hundred army value there. Okay. Should be all right. Um, let's actually do this. Summon one of you. you. Can do it in there. And then we need to we need to start harvesting the cities again. Harvest the population. Let's get some, uh, yeah, save up on the points. Waiting for Pwn to make a decision here. Yeah, Pwn and I aren't at war yet. We're, we're gonna have to be at some point, you know? I don't know when. It's not entirely true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, we could just have like a, a very relaxed kind of adversarial, uh, you know, magic race. Okay, so you're good. Only you would win it. Yeah, no, for sure. That would <laughs> that wouldn't be the probably the best route for you. He's close. He is very close. Okay, a little bit of lag as I passed. I notice sometimes that happens when you get like a really big like map. Like everything's revealed, all the graphics are kinda of going at the same time. The AI comes to feast on my scout. Oh, I was wondering why it paused. Yeah, Pwn would never attack me. He's clearly not just annihilated entire civilizations over and over. <laughs> All right. I come in peace. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, waiting. Oh, you're in combat too. Okay. I was like wondering what's going on here. Mm, I'm not in combat. Oh, it said waiting for combat. That was weird. Mine says waiting for combat and waiting for player decision. Yeah, it's just lagging. Okay. So that's not you. Uh, it was, but it, I just I just resolved that, and then it, it's like lagging because I think there's some funky business going on. There we go. Wow, that's oh yeah, I actually killed. Man, really? Eh, that's all right. Ah, I do want to keep that character though. That thing is pretty cool. It's been with me since the beginning. <laughs> uh but it's not worth. You know what? Yeah, it kill. It's killing one of my legend characters. We we can't have that. We can't have that. And also several of my other units. It's because their army's like full knights. Can you see this, by the way? No. Oh yeah, dude. This is gonna be a good chance to get to use some of our big scheming. Oh, oh my god, no wonder it got the kill. So the Lord just teleported out and one-shotted one of my units, just like Super Saiyan, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. You take your bullshit and you go somewhere else. Yeah, man. He he was not having any of it. So how good is this thing in combat? Doesn't actually seem that crazy strong. Um, he can shoot here. Damn, that was actually really solid damage. And then you can just finish that night off. All right, let's get you down here. Oh man, I screwed up the movement there. It's fine. I don't think the knight will one-shot. We have the dreaded living fogs. Can they reach? Okay, they can, but we just pull back. A little bit of this. Should have done the uh, spirit leeching first. So, sleep of oblivion. Huh. Target non-hero unit dies. After two turns, they come back with insanity. Let's give this spell a try. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can I raise them as the dead and then they just straight up can't come back? That would be pretty OP. Mm-hmm. Let's go around here. Bonk this guy in the head. Wow, that was that was terrible. Holy shit. He's got some sort of resistance thing going on. Uh-huh. Let's just phase here. See if we can get some shots. The living fog should ignore all the, the buffs. That's a cool spell though, man. It's a really neat spell. Oh yes, the five percent. Okay. Oh, but I, do I get to cast another spell? Just auto? That's kind of interesting. Cause despair. Let's see if we can route, start routing these guys off. Yes, we will hit them eventually. Dude, that guy's got like just mad hit hit resist. He's got probably has some sort of item or something. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just pass it. Yeah. Okay. That didn't do that much. Going after the lords, whatever, it's fine. All right. 
So now let's go ahead and do a little bit of AoE tanking here. This guy should just go down to this. Looking good. So they should start suffering leadership, especially when we move up. So let's phase you to the middle. I might end up losing exactly what the AI thought I would. It's pretty funny. Just like was happening to you earlier. Mm-hmm. Let's go get him with some Joy Siphoners. The Living Fog units definitely don't hit very hard, though. They do not. Um, so how's the leadership looking here? Pretty low. Okay, so let's do the uh, Cause Despair on these two. You guys just decurse this guy. Finger of Death, 49% chance to kill. I feel like it's better to just come in and whack this guy. Yes, mage him down. And we should have another Warlock here as well. Alright, so let's get the Tyrant up here. How's the leadership looking? Let's do our over channel. And cause despair again, see if we can just get a route on these guys. Not quite. Okay, so I'm getting kind of comfortable with how that works. What's been, what would you say has like been your favorite unit in the game so far? Uh, a, what a interesting looking question. Has there been something that you just like enjoy every time? Banshee. Uh, I don't know. Hard to say. These knights are just raid bosses. There's a dude, lot. Geez. There's a lot of really fun units to play with. Yeah, there sure are. Let's go here. Blast them. And uh, the Onager could shoot, but it's okay. Oh, the the insane knight came back to life and attacked uh, attacked one of the homies there. Oh, that was cool. Okay, so we need to get them to route here, guys, so we can use our ultimate game plan. So here it comes. Okay, is the enemy fleeing the field? There's still a knight down there? There is. Okay, so let's just kill this one. The reason why we're fighting this is so we can sh try this mechanic. Normally, I will be auto-resolving these type of battles in the future, fun. It's just our first time seeing this one. Okay, so no. And then what we do is we use the... Oh, yeah. Look at that. So we get that knight permanently now. Oh, <laughs> that's so rad. All right. So what is, what is Pwn Dog up to, huh? See, we just got this, like, random knight now. That's fun. So let's just throw him into this army. All right. Um, I don't hate this idea. And then we can go ahead and increase our city cap here soon. We'll just need a couple turns to do that. Hmm, but we don't have the Imperium for it right now. Vassalizing it is fun. Raising it is... Raising it is also nice because it denies Pwn the... Um, it denies him the freebie there. Fog of insanity. You got to demoralize, then kill a unit, then they chain route. Yeah, makes sense. Still learning it. Oh. Oh. For each turn. Okay. Each turn for three turns, all enemies. Wow. Is that a combat spell? Withering mists. So skill level combat enchantment. So a type of spell that affects the entire battlefield will active. The spell triggers at the start of the caster's turn. Holy shit. Raise an undead army? Summons a full stack of low tier onto the world. Grants 30 cent of marked for death, which kills affected unit. <laughs> what? Ah, you've reached your tier 5 tone. Oh my god. There's some cool shit in here. Yeah, all the tier 5 stuff's kind of rude. Well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta work for it. Okay, the undead army thing is cool, but it's like... Withering Mist. So each turn. Let's try that one. Oh, <laughs> That seems pretty rad. So let's just take that down. And then, um... <laughs> Did you just declare Whoa! war? <laughs> Is it on? Yeah, it's on now. Okay. Pwn's here raiding me with his uh, with his, his pit army. Oh, it's on. Yeah, I was, it was only a matter of time before he came for us. Dude, how cool is that? 
Uh, let's see, raise army. Let's see, how much do we get? Summons a full stack of onto the. Yeah, but the problem is you can only fight with up to three armies, right? So, how much does that cost? It probably costs souls too. I want to try that miss spell. It seems pretty good. Did you see the hero skill that the tier five tome gives? No, I didn't look at that. We'll uh, we'll we'll take a peek. So, okay. So Pone, Pone just bonked my scout. He's very attentive to the scout. He he knows. The boy knows. Okay. too greedily, too deeply. Sure did. Hmm. Activate Heart of Darkness to make your. Let's see. I I, I should have read the the tome a little bit better. I mean, I just looked at the. I didn't look at the side things. That resurrects all your units and all their zombies. Let's see. So, did you see the uh, turn that resurrects all your units and all their there's as zombies under your control? Yeah, let's see. The full stack summon can get banshees as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm like part of me is like it could be useful here for defending. You know what? Let's try it. That's very thematic. Let's 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 play in theme a little bit. I do have the Reaper. Um, we've kind of dabbled in it. Yeah, the undead army does seem very fun, especially for defending against like haggard raids and shit. Right? Like that seems like it's something to consider. Okay, level up. So what do we get now? I'm looking Soul Collector, Eternal One. When this unit is killed in battle after two turns, it comes back to life. Oh, ho ho ho! Does not function if all. Wow! Holy shit! Pwn, have you seen the Eternal One trait? Yep. Damn, that's OP. Give me that. Where is that? Can I get the Eternal One? So he comes back. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. And then Greater Corpse Consumption. I don't think there's anything in that tree. Greater Corpse Consumption gives me... Okay, that is just Heal, Mind Crush, Base Magic Taps, Insanity, and Weaver. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, too. Unfortunately, the Eternal One is uh, is not going to be there for a while, so we probably just go down this way. All right, let's pop that. And we can get this to make him even tankier, which I don't hate. Yeah, so I, I wasn't able to get it on my big boy, but I think my two combat heroes are going to have it. Yeah, so we'll start just working down this tree with her. That's really cool. So one of my heroes has it. Okay. Spell's ready to launch. Is Pwn coming for my cities is the question. He's, he's a little bit close, a little bit ornery. He's looking a little bit angry over there. Okay, let's keep moving and grooving this way. I would like to summon a Reaper, but I like the, the Souls thing is a little bit tight at the moment. Pwn's doing a little bit of raiding, having some fun at my expense. I don't know. I don't know how good that hero is. Don't know how good it is. Uh, maybe. Got another decent little army over there. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think we can win it. I think we can do okay. So Garrosh has stolen my outpost. Um, these haggard vassal cities are are growing. Is there anything else we want to do? Yeah, we can prepare die. that spell. <laughs> just die. Yeah, just just roll over and let you in. I surrender. I'm too weak. It is the only way. <laughs> that doesn't seem that good. Um, catapult tower, sure, why not? Just in case. Down here, we can get an academy for more knowledge. And a monolith for mana. Orders required, my lord. Should just get rid of these guys. They're basically just standing here and doing nothing. Looking cool. Looking extra evil. Yeah, the living fogs, uh, they do insanity. All right, what do you guys want? Get out of my way. Come on. Use the realm. Okay, so I get Imperium. I get food. 
night guard or use it to gather. Yeah, we'll take the golds and then we just make peace with these goblins. Hmm. Turns army. The armies are close. The armies of darkness are nearby. Yes. Evil. Evil armies awake. So Pone, Pone's harassing my base a little bit. He's he's getting a little crazy here. And he does have a couple stacks, but I'm going to be grateful I did that tree. That's for damn sure. All right, so how far can you reach? Let's get back. Got you producing, you producing, and uh, we can get you making some units as well. We don't really have good draft here, but it's okay. It'll it'll get the units out eventually. Yeah, 260. We're, we're minus nine souls a turn, though, but I can use the um, harvest population to instantly get 60 souls, which is probably... Can we do it? No, we can't do it on that city under the effect of the spell. Oh, so it lasts for five turns, and then I can use it again is what it looks like. Okay. The undead cometh. Do you have a whispering stone for you? We don't, sadly. What spells do we have winding up here? Yeah, summon a living fuck. That looks good to me. So we know that Grom Ash is here. We can see... Oh, Pwn's moving. He's coming for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're if we were in our domain, we could do some really cool spells, but... Even if we do lose to the barbarian hordes, no. I know I'm in your I'm in your turf. Makes me a little nervous. Eat their children. That got real heavy. Okay, so let's get you. And uh, yes, we were gonna summon something, weren't we? Oh shit! Nice. Nice. Don't say that. You're supposed to be suffering. Suffer. Suffer like I do. The fog. Don't know how good the living fogs are, but they look rad. So I'm going to have a bunch of them in the army. <laughs> okay, spells ready to launch. <laughs> Can you donate your soul over super chat? That's pretty funny. Yes. Give your souls to the Dark Reaper. He's an 800 strength army versus our 1,000 strength here, so he probably wouldn't choose to attack. Uh, what does this do? Target a friendly, friendly city, unfortunately. Hmm. And then we can just keep summoning things. Because why not? Yeah, the tier 5 shadow spells seem really good. I, I my first time experimenting with them, so I'm just excited to dive into those guys. All done, brother. Sirtha Ek moves to do battle with us, which is exciting. Um, we could just get stomped. <laughs> but, you know, even if that happens, it's all good. We'll be back in our evil shadow empire and he'll have to come kill us. <laughs> but if he loses, on the other hand, he's in danger of losing the game. So that's why the aggression is good. Yes, not sure how many more fogs turns mana can afford. Uh, I have I have a lot of mana, plus I can instantly gain 2,000 mana. So there's not really um, too much drama here. Matter of fact, I should just do that now. Yeah, so then casting combat souls reduces the cost of all their... Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then this um, immediately summons in... Oh, that's with low maintenance. That's rad. Universal camouflage. That's really funny. Yeah, so we're fine on mana. You can go negative, no problem. Yes, indeed, that is true. All right, Pwn. I have passed turn. I don't know what you're up to, but... Evil. Are you up to evil? Do you really have a lot of evil going evil. on? Okay, I wasn't sure. I am up to. So we can. This is actually really useful, though. I now that I think about it, like raising just a full stack of undead units. Like if he's harassing my base, I could just like fend him off, you know. Or I could bolster them to reinforce while I'm raiding and attacking. And uh... if he has a what's it called up? Yeah, he's got a spell jammer in the back of his base, so I probably just won't attack. Because he's trying to lure me into a spell jammer. See? Thankfully, it's late in the afternoon now, and I'm not, like, half awake. That, you know, like, if he's got a spell jammer cackling, I, I gotta just... I gotta just, like, go for a magic victory. I, I could maybe win without it, but it's, like, such a disadvantage. Hmm. 
Yeah, so we're definitely not going to... It's really tempting to attack, but I can't take that disadvantage. Um, what is this? Man, your army strength is high. 1,800 on one, 900. So yeah, pretty similar to mine, actually. I come to bonk you. Yeah, you're going to have to come out here if you want to bonk. You got some bonking at the base, too, it would seem. I do. You do, indeed. I do. I do. The double threat. All right. Let's get you out. Move you up. Get you going up, too. Yes. Appear to have some units down here. Okay. And then what else do we want to do here? We can do a little bit of this. So... Oh, that's pretty rad. Yeah, let's give that a try. And now, wait a second, we have that spell too, don't we? So that takes a turn. Okay, so let's just chill there until we can gather our forces. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan for now. And then we have our tome, so we need to make sure to get some like high tier shit. So we're gonna just shuffle until we find something good. All friendly and units come back with, um, wow, with, uh, to life with, uh, okay, that's pretty insane. So we're definitely going to just do that. That is crazy, crazy good. Okay. So back at the city. Um, we could just do a mages guild. We're pretty, fairly rich now. Start planning for this. So we would need... Defend your okay. So we need to build something here, and what can we build here? It's not it, so it'd have to be up at this province, I believe, is where the last one is. Yes. All right, so let's put that back in the corner there. Looking good. So we're gonna plan ahead a little bit. You hope they add rabbits in the future. Yeah, that would be pretty funny for sure. Um, I think I'm all done. All good here, man. Yeah. I think I'm all good. So living your best life, huh? Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So Pone thinking about it. He's eyeing me. It is time to raise an undead army somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, so it does have some limitations. It does have some limitations. Could work here. What does your armies look like? Pretty decent value on those forces. Um, let's see. All right, so that's a fun spell. And then we do this. And we attack. All right. So that's the summon undead army we just got. So we also use the... Um, you want to fight this one? It's up to you, uh, dog. Sure. Yeah, it's if you think you have a chance, then we can we can totally fight it. Let's do it. I don't know, like I, you know, it doesn't ever give me a screen. Yeah. Like total war, so. Yeah, so we it might, you might as well fight it. So we have the um, fog of insanity. So. Oh, a fair ah. amount of his, a fair amount of his units resisted it. Not all of them. Great. Yeah, so I don't know how many of your units resisted it. It looks like a couple did. Did you resist it on everything? That would not be good. Unnet, what gives me this? It's it's your lord's like trade, I guess. I don't know. It's like it's, it affects everyone. Uh, I mean, I'm for it. <laughs> just, just roll with it, dude. Uh, at the start of each turn, originates from. Yeah, okay, cool. Very cool. So we have a lot of undead. We have some units. The great war between Pone and I has finally commenced. What a what a This is what everyone's been waiting on. Dude, look at the big chunguses. They look like ogres, like Ogre Kingdoms units. That one's the human one that yeah. I randomly got. Yeah, the big boy. Fifty percent morale from all sources is pretty good. It's pretty good, my friend. Oh, well, Pwn has a hero here, too. I don't. So this is a little bit scary. Because then I would have to teleport home with my other guys, which would suck. You know, I was like, be super bummed about that. 
The Dark Warriors gather. Storm clouds gather. This is my Haggard Defender Force. I do have some, some cool units. I have a Tyrant Knight here. I got a Dark Knight. Tyrant Knight's a little stronger, more HP. Oh, they're T-posing. Look. Hell yeah. Oh, he's like floating on the... <laughs> he's the dreaded T-pose. Oh, man. What is this ability? Over channel, the owner may cast in it. Oh, is that you that over channeled? It says, it says I can overcast another spell, even though, like, I guess it just happens perpetually. Oh, probably just because you are a, uh, probably just your lord thing, but obviously you don't have any lord that you can select to activate it, the ability. It is time for the devouring void of doom, of evil. So let me read it first. Um, Conjures a devouring void with one hex radius. Each turn, the radius increases by one hex, but he's just going to move out of it. Um, Sleep of Oblivion is kind of fun, too. Because he comes back with insanity and just starts like bonking his own units. But we could do both too. We could definitely do both. So that will do this. And then they just come back and start bonking his own guys, if I'm not mistaken. Well, firstly, let's get our positions all squared away, yeah? How fast can Pwn move? Oh man, you got you got wheels on your army, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you guys see how fast Pwn is? Like, get right up in here. The finger of death waits to point. Hmm. Yes. Okay, let's get you here. Can't quite reach everything. Man, Pwn can get really far. His guys are fast as hell. Okay. I know he's got Blaze of the Horde, which is okay. It's not too crazy of a spell. He's probably just gonna hit my undead, although he doesn't even have a lot of tier one units. Alright, so let's uh let's try this. The Devouring Void. Conjures a void, each turn it increases. It doesn't seem to do I guess it does the damage on his turn, right? Is how that would work, yeah. Let's try it. Okay. And then we can also do the um What's it called? So we have we have some crazy good spells, man. It's like crazy. I'm overwhelmed with how many good spells I have. <laughs> how about we just point and click and the thing dies? <laughs> you die. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about your army here. I don't know how hard shit hits, so. Dude, you resisted every single fog of insanity! What if ten percent? Oh, okay. So it's it's a ten percent per unit. Got it. That's still pretty OP, though. That definitely could could be get you really unlucky. Okay, so here's the the void thing. Did a little bit of damage. Fortune fades, mirror fade, gone insane. But the memory memory remains. It's the best song ever, dude. It's so good. We'll get him with the dreaded insanity one of these turns. I don't know when, but it's coming. Uh-huh. Pwn's moving up his old shield wall, is he? Can you eat his unit before it reses? Well, the thing is, when that thing resurrects, it comes back with insanity and just starts clubbing his own units. So, that's like the whole point of that spell. Yeah. I don't know. We're, we're trying shit out. We're going to see how it works. Yeah, so Pwn is swiftened because of uh, Garrosh Hellscream. Yeah, which is pretty nuts. Hmm. The fog prevents turtling. Yeah, I can see that being really good under, uh, like, against a mage build where they just want to, like, sit in the corner. I can see that being incredibly strong. Oh! <laughs> the Devastator Sphere has been conjured. Okay. We need that that insanity shit to like pop off, guys. Enough games. Yeah, Pwn's army is pretty good at, with the morale thing. The the void spreads. That is a really cool spell. To be fair, that is really cool. Can we do that to this character? I guess it would. You'd want to do it to like combat characters, right? 
Hmm. Marked for death is an interesting one. Target non-hero gets despair and marked for death. So unit cannot recover hit points and despair. They lose morale at the end of each turn. Interesting. But Pone's, Pone's clearly got like good morale with his force. So he's uh, he's pretty happy here, I think. Can do a little bit of charging over there. Another dreaded devouring void would be really funny. Yeah, how much mana does that even cost? It's really intensive, geez. It's really, really intensive, but uh, mana isn't something we're in short supply of. The insanity could pop off next turn. Anyways, we should just like move everything that we want to move. So Pone's got his like wall of doom coming. We have our living fogs waiting. He can almost reach here. Okay, let's get you down here. Pull back. And we can definitely move you down. Start setting up shop. Finger of death pointing is cool. We can do this too. Alrighty. Yes, the devouring void. I don't know how good it is, man, but it's so rad. I think we just gotta gotta go for it. Spam it. The whole map will turn to darkness. The whole map will turn into the dreaded devouring void, yeah. Alright, I think we're good. Not too much else going on. We don't have a, any characters, so we're just kind of waiting for Pwn to crash upon us. Did we get anyone insane? Yes, we got... Oh, look. <laughs> what happened? Did something just randomly die there? Uh, yeah. My, uh... My skirmisher ran through that shit and it killed him. Yeah. That's a pretty cool spell, man. And it just keeps going. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it just keeps spreading. So in like a super long battle, you're just, uh, oh man. So when you do run through it, it nails you every time. Got it. Okay. I understand how it works now. I understand how it works. So those units that are like in it are going to have to move. Okay, that's cool. So it just did 30 damage to that guy. He's going to He's going to try and teleport in with the phasing freeze. Oh. Oh, you actually froze my crab beast in the back, dude. Look at that. Got him. It lasts two turns. Okay, so there's a there's a cooldown on it. That would that would be pretty OP if it just kept spreading and just the whole battlefield just becomes that. It'd be fun. Is this guy, uh, so he's still insane, but probably not for too much longer. Okay. Let's probably start using our magic more cost effectively. It's just like, it's wild shit. Damn, dude, the big bonks. The big bonks. <laughs> I just see the sphere creeping up on me, dude. Look at it. <laughs> Look at this thing, the Urukai bombardment. Oh man. I really like Shadow Man. It's so fun. It's it's my favorite culture to play for sure. I struggled with it at first, but once you get get to where you want to be, it's not so bad. Skeld's rerouting. Okay, Pwn's doing some funny business. Nice. The big plays. This is one of his heroes. If you can kill it, certainly not going to be bad. Yeah, the void thing's cool. I didn't use it properly at first. I would have put it more in front of him. Now, but now I know that it's like damage when you run over it. It seems much better for sure. Oh, dude, the finger of death. You got the war shaman dropping some sick beats over there. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, you're, that Slaanesh Tome was a really good idea for the leadership against me. It like, I mean, it still could come into play, but against you it's much harder. Because he's got double leadership buffs from things that happen, basically. Oh, here's the Blaze of the Horde. Look at that spread. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a flavorful, uh, flavorful spell there. 
All right, so where were we? We have this big beastie back here, which is kind of a problem. Let's start shanking it down with the old spears. And, uh, you know, fulmination, greater reanimation is kind of cool. Marked for death, raise zombies. I mean, God, there's the options are pretty limitless here. What up, dog? You scheming? Uh, no. They, I'm pretty sure I'm losing this one. But... Yeah. I... <laughs> the values are pretty different, but I, I didn't want to just, like, auto it in case you had some, some right. cool cool thing that you could do. I, I mean, I don't mind at least killing something. Some things. Yeah, exactly. The auto probably would have been, you know, pretty pretty rough. Um, okay, so now we can get you to charge or you to charge. Which one of these? These are the Tyrant Knights. I don't know. The AI might, or the auto might have just warped all your Banshees in. That's true. That's very true. Yes, give me the bonks. And uh, we can do the... All right. That looks like it's a good spot for that. Let's point the finger of death at some unit and see what we can kill. 54%. Um, Let's take it. Nope, didn't quite kill it. It's fine. Still freezes it. Yeah, Whiteborn, uh, Whiteborn is uh, the trade I have, yeah. Man, that spell is really, really good, though. I can see that for sure being a big determining factor in a lot of fights. Okay. The big bonks. Skeleton spears. Who's still fought? And you're done. Done. And uh, enter. Evil prevails. Maybe. Although we're both evil, so. Damn, son, that's insane. Insanity's taking hold. Yeah, the insanity's hitting you now, huh? That's what I was like. I was trying to see if I could do that in your territory, because that would be so OP against like your full army. If you just get unlucky with a couple units, it's, you're just losing so much. God, how do you even like attack into that? You know, I don't know. Okay, things are getting popped in the face, and even still, your leadership's holding on. It's pretty impressive. Critical hit on the far side. Tomb of Revelry with Joy Siphoners with cool, cruel weaponry does seem very cool. Oh, dude. The big daddy. God damn, those things hit hard. What's the cooldown on this? Man, five turns. It's a long time. Jeez. The Shadow Wizard. I don't know what the second one is. If when you're asking the question about which two are better. I have no idea. Just some forbidden language far beyond me. <laughs> Did you move your Devastator Sphere, dude? Oh, look at, I did. look at the void spreading. This is going to kill my own shit, too. That's really funny. Well, they can have some skeletons. You can have the Skeletors. Get me out of the void. Mm-hmm. No, I should have done uh, the cast first. Just cast something low-key. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, man. Are any of my guys immune to it? I don't think so, actually. Jeez. Let me just get a leadership route here. That'd be nice. <laughs> Run from the void. It is spreading too fast, my lord. It will consume... You will die to... Your own cities will die to your own spell. I know. It kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Can we kill that thing? Oh my god, it's tankier than I thought. Alright, Bone Golem. Let's go. Could charge this guy down. He's probably worth killing this Warbreed. And the big man can go finish the job. The Living Fog should be immune to that shit, dude. Look at it. Okay, let's have Night Guard move in. Okay, uh, end turn. Bro, are you ready for the Devastator? No, I'm, I am I, I set you up for it. Let's go. So Pone's got this, like, Urukai Devastator Sphere. Let's see what he can do. Oh! Oh, the MLG Snipe. 
Will I make a Zinch faction? Yeah, I would do that. Oh, that was so cool. I mean, it, it, it killed a Banshee. That's pretty great. The the void still consumes. Okay. Nice. I'm surprised your army's still fighting, man. That that leadership thing you have is good. Holy shit. It keeps spreading. <laughs> Alright, can we get out of this? Try not to like lose my living fog units here, you know? Uh-huh. Can the crab man reach you? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Can these guys reach you? Yes, they can. Nice. Let's siphon a little bit of joy if we can. Shank him from the other side. Um, spears can't reach anything. Fogman is out of here. Fulmination does a bit of damage. Ice Shackles might finish that character off. He already used Sprint, so it's probably just dead. Fulminate is lightning and... Um, yeah, I didn't really need to use too many necromancy spells here. I don't know if like letting your hero escape matters. So, yeah. Go crab man. It's fine. <laughs> man, your army's still not still not running. That's crazy good. Maybe that'll route the lord. Is that character? Oh, you just kinda chilled in the trees. I just put it all in auto combat. Yeah. Alright. So your city has survived. Yeah, I was a little sweating bullets if that had gotten through, but summoning that undead legion was pretty nice, although now I'll probably just unsummon them. So they cost, I believe, some upkeep. Yeah, we got the reaper here. Uh -huh. yeah, I guess we could keep some. Send you in with that army. Yeah, we're pretty pretty taxed on the old upkeep now. And then these guards can hang, so we're back in the positive with the mana. Pwn Dog is up to no good here. Let's scheme a little bit. Hayesberries have been acquired, spells ready to launch. I think we're all right. But what about Mimba Berries? I know. The berries are unstoppable. Active. Um, we can turn that off now. Got to remember to turn that off or else it'll just keep draining all your mana. Man, Pwn just like absolutely karate chopped all these cities over here. So it requires a hero unit to do that. Okay. Let me know when you're done with your turn, by the way. I'm done. You're done? Okay, sounds good. Oh, Gila, your, your, your orc. Oh, this guy's level 10? Damn. So let's animate. So she's level eight, this guy's level 10, and this guy, yeah, so we'll take you and animate you. It's fine. She's got like a jacked level 10 hero just right out of the gates, it's nice. All right, so we almost have that. So we're just kind of waiting. You can come and uh, maybe do something here. I don't hate that idea. You can move up that way. You can come this way. Heart of Shadow is going to take like 10 years to build, which is whatever. Sirtha's going for the city. I don't blame him. Our army looks okay. It looks pretty decent. Um, we want this. This is this is what we're we're waiting for here, guys. All right. So Sirtha is on the city. Looking pissed. Alrighty. What sort of scheming are you doing over there? I'm just hanging out, dude. You know, just chilling. Just being an evil necromancer. Let's see what else we can get. Immediately summons magic origin. We get 15. All your heroes instantly gain one rank. That sounds pretty good. Let's do that. So we just get level ups on all the all the crew. Okay. Lightning weapons, sure, why not? 
Not terrible. Just gives a little bit of damage. Vaughn Haggardstein here is uh, making his way down the tree. Mm, Sundering Curse, Distant Evocation is always nice. Then our level 14 Archer Hero. This guy's just like, this guy's straight up the Terminator. Fighting is only for melee. Defense, Grim Executioner, he gains fortune when he kills something, which honestly isn't bad. Soul Collector. Yeah, Soulbound, that's not bad. Most shit's going to be Soulbound, so. And, uh, cool. Wand of the Rising Dead and Orb of Seeing. Cool, man. All done here. It is time, Pwn, for us to do battle, perhaps. Ah. Okay, so 100% success. Okay, well, let's take that. Deciding our fate. Uh, the Lord is level 14, I think. Is it? No, it is 15. That's right. I almost forgot. Draining Blade Restoration. Mana Unchained. Friendly Units. Starblades. Reckless Rage. Probably Mass Rejuvenation. Restoration is probably better just for healing like an important target. <laughs> Are you running after? Uh, is that, is that your, your scout? Burn the city. Yes. There you are. You had to get that close to see me? Yep. Damn. Hell yeah, we're going to trespass. <laughs> Be gone. Look, it's it's literally calculating all three of my armies against your one goblin. It's like, hmm. wonder how this is going to go. It's any man's fight. Uh, so this is a combat for each turn. He looked back. He was just like, for Frodo. <laughs> But nobody else went with them. <laughs> yeah. They're just Everybody like, else in my army is like, who the fuck's Frodo? Like, who's that guy? Okay. Well, I'm here if you want it. it depends. I don't know if you want it. Let's see if Sirtha will uh, come do battle here. Okay. So he's going to come to these city runes. You're going to go here. And uh, you can go there as well. That seems pretty good. That seems very, very powerful. Yeah, Mana and Chain doesn't seem like a bad ability. Pwn's going to continue raising the city. Although I don't know how fast he does it. The Prelude to Doom. Man, so many neat things. Soul Binding and... Desecrating and summoning. I think we got full stack though. Yeah. Production is done here. Let's go ahead and get the dreaded dark palace. It does give us some money, which is nice. And uh, cool. You probably raise cities in like two, one or two turns, right? Probably. Oh, look, it just spawned a knight out of the city. Hmm. Hmm. To Sirtha Ek Flea. It's just, it's just your one knight there. I'm just going to auto it. If you don't mind. Nope. Yes. Evil. I don't have enough for that. That's rough. Okay. So we should probably... This thing is how much upkeep? So yeah, we should probably get rid of that. You need to solo our roll on that. And then you are how much upkeep as well. Okay, you're fine. Unfortunately, we can't do a whole lot here. Yeah, running a little bit light here. There we go. That kind of gives us a little bit of bolstering. And where, oh, where, man? I think we just have too many things that are too pricey. I'm right here if you want it. Yeah? Well, <laughs> what, with your spell jammer? Does that affect that? That Yeah, because that's Blackrock. It's your only domain, so... Yeah, that would affect that. Dude, I'm totally fine to play on the defense, too, if I have to. Let's go for that magic victory. Let's see how far off I am. Uh, okay. Give you... Can move back into the mountains a little bit. 
I challenge you to Mac Gora. What is that? Oh, is that like the honorable like dual thing? Yeah. I don't know. I think it is. Okay, reset skills. This guy's a beast. Holy shit. Oh, this guy was a feudal lord. Oh, that's cool. So Lord of uh Lord of Knowledge. Sure, why not? Lord of Foolishness. He was uh he was a mighty feudal lord in his day. Then we can go ahead and get the hmm, that's not bad. Slight chance of instant killing an injured target. No, it's like a crappy one. Visions of woe. Enemy units fumble their attacks for one turn. Yeah, no, that's not very good. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Do it. Take the terrible ability now. <laughs> All right, so we can do this. I think I like that direction with this guy. Turns go way quicker when you only have one city. Yeah, no, I bet. I'm gonna be pretty quick from here on out. I'm just, I just got this new hero, and he's, he's pretty, pretty fly. So I'm trying to gear him out. At least for a white guy. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say he's looks like that. Um, <laughs> turn of one. Yes. Yes, and yes. Great, so he's gonna come and join the party. We're all set. How do you think Dark Chaos could focus? Yeah, oh, it's, it could totally work. Yeah, there's there's tons of awesome strategies. You can make everything work. Don't really need this. Kind of built that unit before thinking here. I'm waiting on like one thing to go before I before I go on the offensive. Yeah, it's totally fine, dude. No worries. I will meet you honorably whenever you're ready. I'm. You can honorably fight me, right? <laughs> right on your spell jammer. So I just can't do anything. I'm just like, my whole strategy just is gone. It's not true. You still have units. Yeah, against your, enchantment. against your caveman strategies that just like are designed to, you know, just bash and not care. That's, that is very funny though, for sure. Okay. So where are we looking here? That's coming along nicely. That is going to be done soon. Oh, man. I'm getting so many good abilities out of this level 5 tome. It's pretty wild. That sounds about right. Yeah. The dreaded withering. So each turn, for each turn, for three turns, all enemies suffer that. A chance of this, and then getting weakened. Okay. Yeah, it's easier said than done. That would take like probably it would probably take a scout like I don't know twelve or fifteen turns if I'm lucky to get back there. And Pone always is watching. It sounds like a good idea on paper, but it would uh you know it's definitely not not going to work out. Okay, looking good. All done here, man. Just kind of having a little standoff with you. I see Gromash running back. But if he if he turtles, we'll just go for magic victory. Which uh, let's see how far off are we. In the meantime, let me know when you're done with your turn. By the way, I'm just looking through things. All right, so they're giving us income. We have Pone's Pone's old hero, which had some nice gear actually. Mask of precision. So we probably can keep that here. Mm, how are we looking? Is it close? Seven turns on that, and then, yeah, we can start doing that. Okay. So I think we just pull back and establish a city, because we can see all of his movements, so... I think we're just cackling in that regard. Spring of Youth. Yeah, we know that was the, the fallen city down there. Would be 100 Imperium for that. So he'll go next turn and grab this. Hmm, yes, that's actually a good idea. I wonder what your forbidden tech is that you're saving up for. You know? I really don't know what it is. Yeah, the jammer, I can't, the jammer like shuts down a lot of my strategy. So it's like, uh, well, we might have a chance just because our you know, army is pretty strong and we still have our heroes and stuff. But, um, you know, why why give up half of yes, your faction? Black, Blackrock is where all the evil orcs meet up to kiss. It is. There's so many of them, dude. It's such a such a huge, huge thing. <laughs> mm, what's other world spells? We have summons, we have bone golems. There's so much to keep track of. Opponents are moving. Okay, let's go here. Uh -huh. Can we win this? 
risky battle, but it looks like we can. Hmm, maybe let's just go establish the city and we'll just bring our other characters back to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Give it to me, Precious. True death magic. That's really cool. True death magic seems pretty badass. Like, it makes it so that you can mark them with uh, mark them with death, so they just basically wither away. Who? what are you fighting up there, huh? Some random marauders in your base or something? Who knows? I, I'm a little suspicious. God, I wish there was a way to get more souls. What is really eating my soul income? Does that trait, like, cost souls or something? So we got the fogs. The fogs don't cost souls. No, they're just mana. The necromancers don't. It's just this guy. This guy costs 30 souls a pop. And uh, income per turn, city income, and then unit enchantment upkeep. Okay, so there's an enchantment we have, which is probably whiteborn. So for now, what we can do, just so we're not in the negative, is we'll just get rid of this character. And then we can just summon one out um, whenever you know the battle's about to happen. Or summon something else. I mean, it's a good unit, but there's plenty of units that are equivocally as good. All right, so you guys are ready. It's just time. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Loses mana. You gain a Banshee unit, two skeletons. Shadow Crisis. Lose 420 mana, and I just gain a bunch of random units I don't need, but it's I'd rather that than a Shadow Crisis. A horde of undead appears. No, thanks. I'll just... It's fine. We'll just take them. We'll take the scraps. We can just get rid of them if we don't want them. Rebuilding. Why are you so smug over there, dude? What is this evil, maniacal scheming you got? Do you guys hear Pwn just, like, cackling? You, you should be able to uh, see it on your screen. Okay, evil character alignment. Yeah, it's fine, although the experience is probably better. Although those are the old god guys, maybe they will kill some stuff. Mm. Did you see the uh, proposal I sent you? Is it a vassal? <laughs> I said, I said uh, do you want to be? <laughs> you want me to be your overlord? <laughs> How dare you? Do dude? you surrender, turn? <laughs> Just Pone's trying to make me his minion here. <laughs> oh my god, the guile on this guy! Just pure, pure un unabashed villainy. Okay, so yeah, uh, Age of Wonders four. This game's uh, super good. It's really fun. Super good. Yeah. Super. Tons of amounts of customization. Just been nothing but addicted to this shit. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, it's, it's cool that you got uh, the weekend off, man. It lets us get some reps in here. Um, okay, so where does this... Uh, does it matter where we cast this? The Age of Shadow. Oh, it changes the whole world. Look. <laughs> So, well, if we get in a fight, you're definitely going to win. Because now all your spells do insane shit. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, come. Surth has got to come. So has got 15 turns to come and kill me or else it's over. Well, we'll have our final battle in about six turns. <laughs> yeah. It's when, my, it's when my evilness is ready. Well, I'll be waiting for you in my land. So you come and get some. <laughs> this is what you get for turtling. I got I to gotta run back now. Okay. We're good here. Good here. We'll just, we'll just chill right here in this region. Um, so let's get this badass character in there. And then is there any unit substitutions we want to make here? Yeah, probably get rid of this thing. The Age of Darkness has come! The Reign of Evil is now. Yes, dude. This is pretty cool. Oh god, I just got something in my eye. What the hell? Oh, sweat. <laughs> sweat pouring down in the old eye. Yeah, I do get invaders that spawn. I actually don't know where they spawn from. Um, what is this? Heart of Shadow? Is this what I need to protect? Let me read the quest. I've never done this before, so. You need to protect all of them. All the Heart of Shadows? The Heart, the Root, and the... Uh, whatever the other one's called. There's three of them, yeah. Are you so like some invasion squads will come, huh? Yes. It's kind of cool. That's yeah, kind of cool. 
So we better start mar marshalling some units, although we could just summon undead armies, right? Uh, it costs souls. We don't want to mess with that. We're trying to like save those for the final battle. And is there anything cheap here we can make? Yeah, Dark Warrior, sure, why not? All right, cool. So yeah, we got we got our armies, and we got this little Bone Daddy stack that can kind of go defend things. Surth is coming, man. He's he's coming for vengeance. Are you ready for true death magic, though? Only time may tell. Now, where are those invasion armies coming from? Have you done it before? Do you know like how, how and where they spawn? Oh, they just randomly spawn on, on top of the things. And like, do they kill it right away, or do you, I just like knock them off? No, like they begin burning. Oh, okay. So it's like a like a pillaging process. Got it. Okay, let's grab you. And so I feel like that should be like a good enough stack to defend that, and then pull you guys back here to deal with this. You declined my proposal. I didn't actually even consider it. It was so haggard. All right. What? You're just too. You're oh, too much, dude. That was a good deal. It, I don't think it was. That's the thing. Oh man, I can get another. Can I get another level five tome? Oh, the tome of the cold dark, dude. Oh, this would be so annoying. This would be so annoying. <laughs> the the keeper's mark, the thing that makes them unkillable. <laughs> hmm. So that's not terrible either. That's not bad. Physical, uh, man. Pandemonium's okay, but Pwn's just got like so much, uh, so much just cackling basically. The Frostling transformation, it's not going to go long enough, so yeah, I'll just go this. All right. Oh, the Keeper's Mark. Are you ready for the Faithful Dead? So he's here. I don't remember where I built the other one, so Crabman's going to have to deal with that. Here's the Root of Shadow. By Sigmar, no. Surth is coming. Okay, so we got a defender here, albeit very slowly. Um, we could make some soul units, but again, they we were trying to hold on to those numbers for the final duel of fates. Oh, that actually spawned some decent armies here. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I got to go deal with that. If they pillage it, do I just straight up lose? Or do I, no. do I, does it cancel it or I can rebuild it? And... It just cancels it. Oh shit, okay. So you gotta like really be on it. Hmm. I think it takes like two turns, two, three turns for it to pillage. Yeah, I don't know if I can like... You, ha you have time. I do have a little bit of time, but I definitely underestimated it. We might have to just do this. The Horned God. Okay. Has been sent to destroy your chaos. I could probably win this fight actually with um with magic. That's impossible. I think it's I think it's fairly possible. Alright, so unfortunately we did have to use a little bit of this. Our characters are pulling back for now. Um Let's cancel this. Get save the Imperium. Get some nice upgrades. Mm, your throne gets magic for each magic material. Immediately summon a magic origin army with low maintenance. That could be useful. Our mana is a little bit tight, though, but let's see. Yeah, it's fine. We're still in the positive there. Oh, it's actually a pretty nice little army. They can help defend here and bounce between these two territories. All right. Turin has reached level 15. So I probably fight this. Because otherwise they get the seed. I'm pretty sure I can win with magic, so feel free to watch it. Well, I, I get uh, since your territory is revealed, I get to watch it. Yeah, I have my undead armies here. Invade now that he is distracted. Oh, Pwn's coming. We're gonna have the fight tonight, guys. It's going <laughs> down. We've committed too long. Oh, the horned god. Okay, well let's uh, let's do the old uh, man. I got so many cool spells now. So they suffer that, or they, yeah, Devouring Void is obviously good. So the Sleep of Oblivion will kill it. The Withering Mist, so it does 15 damage per turn, so a total of 45. Are nature units weak to ice? 
can't quite remember. Well, anyways. So let's do the um, the scary one. The insta kill. Sorry, I'm having to like read through all these. Death, status invulnerability. What does status invulnerability vulnerability mean? Oh, they're weak to status effects? Huh. Yeah, okay, looks like it works. He'll be back, I can assure you. So we need to hold here. Because now we, Pone's going to be knocking on Heaven's door, dude. He's going to be making me listen to some of that music. Knock, knocking on Turin's door. We can use the phase to reposition, so then our army's basically chilling. And uh, let's do the Devouring Void and just put it like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where we put the Devouring Void because they're going to have to probably move down that way. So let's like try and use it in that manner. Are they going to move through it? Let's see. Uh, they kind of do, yeah. Oh, what the hell? I just got a random ass zombie? What is this? Age of Shadow. Each turn a random corpse is reanimated as a zombie? Holy shit. That's really good. Are you ready for that in our battle or what? Uh, no. I, I mean, it's really hard to beat uh, somebody who cast a fight. Yeah. <laughs> the, the end game spell because it makes all your spells just insane. Yeah. Oh man, so he does, does he even get the, the big guy back? Now it's a zombie now. <laughs> oh god, that's so strong! You're just like, I want to kill this unit. Oh man, that's pretty brutal. Okay. So, look, another zombie just comes. Oh my god, that's just such filth. The endless hordes of the undead. This is such filth, bro. I could just one-shot high-tier units and they just like... <laughs> oh god. Dude, I, I, this is not... I mean, oh, our battle, our battle is not going to be close. <laughs> Evil. It's a. I mean, look, Pwn could have came for me earlier. I guess I don't know, but like neither. I didn't know how strong this was. Oh, you, you've never gotten to end game like I have. I've never. I always just rush the AI and kill them quickly to get the pantheon points. I give them to me. You. Get, it's alright. You get more for doing. Longer games, I know, but I have that, I have that, like, unless I'm playing with a friend, I usually don't have the will to finish it. Like right. a long game, yeah. You'll get a lot this time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we both will. Okay. Dude, that is just, just some Filthimus Maximus right there. <laughs> okay, so they actually resurrected that guy, but he came back with madness because it resurrected a different corpse. What an evil scheme, I know. Tell, tell me about it. Well, we need to keep this army alive, otherwise the spawning armies will kill us. The undead seem very, like, good at this strategy, like, defending with just the army summons. Oh my god, I'm just getting zombies. Are they, how is their leadership not broken yet? It's little stupid birds. Alright, guys. It's just time. And uh, we can do the Devouring Void, although no, that's just going to mess up my army. Yes, let's do the Sleep of Oblivion and uh, just pop this guy in the face. They do come back, in, but they come back like insane is the whole thing. Right, but they're going to come back as a, well, it's random. But, yeah. So they, they might come back. Yeah. That's a great song by Nine Inch Nails. Came back on fun and interactive now. Well, I'm not fighting him. This is just an AI army fighting him. Yeah, yeah. Pwn will have more tricks for sure. Come on, can you just break? These like druids of the cycle are just raid bosses. Okay, is there anyone we can go flank and shank? Even the basic spears, yeah, they're pretty good. Morale is low. All right. Um. Yeah. Pass turn. I gotta do that creeping lightning spell, that thing, or the creeping, like, snare spell, that seems pretty good. The battlefield wide spell? Yeah, I'll do that next turn. 
Has a chance of like blinding and slowing and stuff. The death, like, have you has has it been your experience that the death tome is just really strong in the late game compared to some of the other ones? They're all really strong. Because I got the tome of the God Emperor and it didn't seem to be like this this powerful. Um, withering mists, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so that's like a map wide s spell. Mm hmm. Let me just auto combat this. Go, my minions. Yeah, skill things. Shank him down. Banshee going for the snipe. Crab with the claws. Nine Inch Nails is probably one of my top three favorite bands of all time. I love Nine Inch Nails. I saw them live. Dude, they, they put like pretty much every other show up, but like act I've seen to shame. Like I've seen Metallica three times, I loved it, but um, yeah. Nine Inch Nails is kind of a unique type of music though. Are they just fleeing? What's going on? They are fleeing. Okay. We could do some cool tricks here. Like they're all routing now, right? Yep. So we can actually do the final ultimatum and just steal this unit. Oh, it's cause they're not, he's not officially routing yet or this one is, okay. Uh, he's nothing but temporal hell. Hey, we got a druid of the cycle now guys, forever. <laughs> That's so cool. It's one way to bolster our armies pretty quickly. Oh no. They I sniped it. <laughs> oh no, it got someone killed it. I don't know. Oh, it must have been the frost thing? I don't know. How is this thing? Uh, the the druid of decay has an ability to like kill a unit. How dare you, dude? Alright, so that was good. Pretty decisive defeat. We didn't lose a single unit. Okay. I assume they spawn by different ones every time, right? Uh not necessarily. It's just random. Okay, so we got the goon squad, the pwn squad. Uh, you have a squad of my own? We, we got some tricks for sure. Let's do the, yep, it's pretty good. And then we can do the keeper's mark. Pwn's gonna love everything being unkillable. <laughs> the dreaded undead, show no mercy. We'll uh we'll do like an open f yeah I mean I could be really degenerate. Uh, you want to should we just do an open field fight? Cause if we fight in my base, I can do that insanity thing, which would probably just be brutal, right? We can open field fight if you want. I just need two more turns. Yeah, well, I'll be lurking here, I guess. We'll see. Maybe we'll put it up to we'll let chat decide. Uh, X. Evil or not? Fight in territory? No. All right, you guys can decide on how we do this. Do you want it like the extra, like, because if you were actually trying to win, you would make them fight in your territory, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy zombies. Yeah, we got a lot of zombies. Um, so I can see the idea of why you would build like one of these things like really close together. Kind of chill here, so we can like bounce between the territories. You guys want him to suffer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame me for this. It's all them, I swear. You have betrayed me, chat. <laughs> I was going to lose the fight either way. <laughs> well, they want us. I guess they want to see the optimized play, right? Not the. Sure. Yeah. Oh man. You looked up, uh, so Nine Inch Nails, my favorite, look up the songs like, uh, there's one called We're In This Together Now, which is like one of my wife and I's favorite songs. That one's really good. And um, yeah, they have a lot of a lot of great music. The, the ancient god, the forest god guys keep coming for me. Oh my god, it really says it's a risky fight, dude. That's so Let's dumb. See what happens with the auto. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it. I'll probably auto it regardless, even if I lose like all this shit. Yeah. Come on. It's probably gonna use like a hell of a lot of my souls and stuff. Hmm. Let's see. You can turn off the spell. Well, I, I probably need it to win. Oh, I didn't even need it. Okay. It literally just crushed them. It doesn't like take into account like the actual army abilities and stuff, you know? All right. Um. 
Invader spawned. Pwn's on the way in. I have to be- why do I have to suffer as the Chosen Destroyer? <laughs> don't- don't do this to me. Oh, we have a new Magic Tome here. Let's see what we can get. Um, Necrotic Spires, Brand of the Salvation. Let's see what we got. Ritual of Somnia. Oh, that's the one that... <laughs> Is he coming, dude? The Dark Lord? Yeah, all right, so let's grab you. Oh man, that costs a bit of souls, but that gives us the true death magic. Uh, do I want to lose mana? One population? Yeah, it's fine. So Surth is on the way in. So we're basically just turtling until we get the uh, until we get the the goodies there. Let's do this. Is there anything we want to do Imperium wise? It's pretty good. It makes things cheaper. It makes things cheaper. This gives us a resurgence in the base, which gives us a Spirit Wolf, Crypt's Blade, Vassaling. That kind of sucks. It's good. The Age of Shadows is upon you. All right. Well, here he comes, guys. Our army is pretty sauced up and ready to- I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh look, they just, this AI Marauder army came to just give me some more souls before our fight. <laughs> it's like we felt you didn't have enough of a, of a, a trick here. Okay, I don't know why the auto is taking so long. I guess it literally has to calculate all that. Oh, should I have this like random army up here? Okay. Okay, looks like nothing's being spawned yet, so we are more or less within striking distance of all that. At the start of each battle, all units have last one world turn, okay. Construct soul siphons, uh, yeah, we can do Brand the Wrath, should have done that a while ago actually, that would have been very strong. All right. Have at ye, oh, you got the demon kin. Oh, look at Pwn's got many Smurf demons. <laughs> That's cool. How many turns do I need to defend? Seven turns? Yeah. That'd be pretty hard to get through all that for sure. Your armies look good though. They look pretty strong. But next turn we can do battle. Yeah, you coming for it next turn? Oh, I have a new tome. Not that it matters, I guess, right? Uh, Tomb of the Beacon, Tomb of the Cold Dark. Sure, let's just stay in character. Get some more extra evil stuff. Light brings back yeah, let's get some uh, some frost resist, shall we? And you plunge your foes into cold. It's fine. It doesn't matter at this point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man, we have so many things we could be building. <laughs> I could have been doing so much during all that. I guess it doesn't matter, right? We'll have to see how this it, fight goes. It matters not. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, so you're gonna attack next turn, huh? All right, uh, do I have any transformations I want to pop? Brand of Wrath. We have that going, which is good. The morale thing is pointless to you. you could soul bind your army, I guess. Soul bind them. Brand of Wrath or Anointed People. Ah, that's probably not terrible. Actually, that is a lot of damage. All right, so it begins. The greatest battle of our time. The forces, the barbarian hordes, they emerge. Let's see if that helps. Oh, here he comes. Oh man. Auto. <laughs> Was that auto good for you actually? No, no, it's definitely in your favor, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just deny everything. <laughs> Just like, all right, guys, stream's over. We're going home. Oh, good night. <laughs> we're yes, we're keeping the souls out of the hands of the foul demons. Oh man, the fog of insanity is going to be potentially pretty brutal. Yes, all the resource systems are the same, other than if you go necromancy, you also get souls. Yes. All right. Do you have any bailers or anything cool like that? I do. I have a bailer. You do? Okay. 
Where is your Baylor? Hello. There, there's the big man. All right. So here's what we're going to do, Pone. We are going to... Don't do me! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Just goes into the... Oh, and he reversed. What? And he killed all your shit when he blew up? Wait, does he even have a corpse? Does your Baylor have a corpse? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, dear God. Well, might turn into a zombie on. Okay. That one will for sure turn into a zombie. <laughs> now let's summon you. You're really fast, aren't you? That's like your whole thing. Uh, no, that was when... It was because I was on the defense that I had all that super speed. Oh, okay, got it. Do Dude. I think souls are the squishiest resource? <laughs> Is that a dumb pun? <laughs> okay, let's get the uh, Finger of Death Lady over here. Oh, we do actually have one Reaper in the army. I'm glad I wanted one. Um, we have Summon Undead here, so let's just summon the Dread Legions. Oh. <laughs> It's pretty brutal, dude. Oh my god. Uh, I was in the middle of researching uh, like a meteor spell that does like 40 damage and a fat radius. That would have been pretty good. That would have been really good. If only I could have got there. I know. Materium magic. That's like literally a tier 5 spell though, so yeah. It can't. I'm, yeah, the, the one I... I... Oh, like your shit? So look, it, I think it, yeah, the, your guy's back. <laughs> the insanity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here comes the barbarian hordes. Dude, look, look at the army difference. Holy shit. Oh, here they come. He's got his demon destroyer guys. I didn't even need to cast an over channel for that to work. That's pretty crazy. Did it bring your guy back as a zombie? Uh, no. I, I, I think it would if it was your turn. Weird. Because yeah. it's your zombie. No, like the, the effect from the uh, Age of Darkness. Each turn, a random corpse is reanimated, so... I don't know why I didn't reanimate the guy that I killed. Well, I was assuming your turn. Yeah. Yeah, it says each turn, though, so man. Could be. He comes back and... Yeah, so the units I kill, they come back to life, but they're insane. So it's kind of like you put them to sleep and then they come back and start attacking their friends is the whole thing. You have Deb the Encouraging. Dude, Debra, is she coming for vengeance here? The fat heals. The Barbarian Hordes descend on us. Pwn summoning a Water Elemental. Okay. Charge. <laughs> Is the Unga Bunga time upon us? The age of Unga Bunga is here. <laughs> the time of smarts is over. Am I going to get shoved in the locker when you get close? Oh my god. The in look, look, the zombies did get summoned. Wait, are they? Did I get? I got demon zombies, bro. Look at them. So the zombies maintained his race trait. They have Demonkin. Oh, that's that so... Looks, that looks awesome. That's so cool. All right. So let's do the um, the Mist. So that's going to like do AoE damage to his whole army every turn. I think. And then we over-channel to run Von Haggard. 15 frost damage. It slows too is kind of the thing. Almost guaranteed to be blind. Almost guaranteed to be weakened. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's it. That's it. Dead. <laughs> Just straight up karate chopped. Oh god, it's so evil, dude. Yes. Let's see, how fast are you actually? Wow, you still can't reach me if I just chill here. Okay. Uh, so let's form up ranks. Let's go this way. <laughs> I love just the Dread Legion surrounding Turin. Yeah, it's very, very, uh, very lore accurate here. <laughs> banshees and banshees the dark knight will chill in the bushes wait to ambush as they usually do this character is just uh i can't remember what this character was i think it was a support character so it's gonna go in the trees and just do what it does best which is camp 
Good morning, or or good evening, depending on when you slept. But yes, this is the final battle right here, and it's Turin's got uh, his tier five like fully researched, so <laughs> this is gonna go incredibly bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see the insanity trigger, dude. <laughs> oh my god, are you auto combating? No, that was an insanity. Oh, okay. I was like, for a second, I was like, is he just rolling up? Dude, look at this zombie. Holy shit. I it, know. That's why I figured I needed to send him in. <laughs> that zombie hits for 75 damage? What, dude? Oh, my God. That's insane. So we have the uh, Withering Mist. So each turn, all enemies suffer slow and... The fog of insanity has a chance to insane his armies here. Oh man, is that your hero? Let's get to your hero. <laughs> we must thank <laughs> your lord. Are you just diving deep back there, or what? Holy shit! This is the only way. So you're soul bound. Um, okay. So you're coming, moving in. Oh my god, that like reanimation thing is so funny. <laughs> Whop. Oh, you just whopped that guy, dude. Oh, is that a... Oh, that was your Berserker. Okay, they have like a knockback. No, those are just my... Oh, those were Berserkers, yeah. yeah. I thought that was my tier one guys at first. Like, no. Your leadership. The finger of death points. I wonder, I, I wonder if I can finger of death on your Berserkers. I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. Okay. Oh! I see Gromash Hellscream coming in. I'm just kind of just trying to charge with everything. <laughs> Ain't no, can't just stand around and hope that things work out. <laughs> it's some wild berserker in the back corner. Oh my god. Let's see. Cast Insanity and chill? Yeah, well, it's like... The Insanity has, has been good. It hasn't been, like... It's a 90% chance to resist it, so... It's actually a lot of damage, goddamn. Which guy? <laughs> the finger of evil. Damn! I just got baptized back there, dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Goddamn. Turin Von Haggard's gonna have to fly away on his teeth. Can't afford to be losing him. This tyrant guy is a beast. All right. There's like so much going on that it just straight up lags. Yeah. The fog of insanity. <laughs> 10,000 words spread across the screen. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get rid of these, these chung guy. Oh, the zombies are coming, dude. Evil! <laughs> My cool unit. <laughs> this is like the most anti fun build ever. <laughs> Holy shit. To be fair, he did go with like kind of a weird cultural trait, you know? The Chosen Destroyers is like having only one base is. It's hard. <laughs> You're getting the wimp low finger point? Is that what someone said? Holy shit, what does this we do? We trained him wrong, as a joke! Alright, zombie. Let's go here. Zombie. What's in your head? <laughs> just, the workers are... Oh. Alright, let's go back here and be the, the brave necromancer. <laughs> the brave necromancer. The bravest. And we have the true death magic thing too. So every time we hit a unit, it, it applies marked for death where they just like lose morale and die every turn. It's pretty crazy. Um, all right, so let's move up here. Go bonking here. Okay, let's do this. Leadership. I think at this point it's probably worth it considering how, how it's all going to start doing leadership bombs on him. 
Even though he's got the revelry, revelry I think uh, I think it's a good idea. Oh, are you still low leadership, dude? You're still your leadership is so good in your army. It's crazy. Uh huh. Let's just give Sir Thak or his his character some things to kill. All right, Skeletor, let's go. Shank, shank, shank. The living fogs are coming. Though. Don't worry, they're they're gonna make their way out. Insanity. All right, so we need to make some room here. Let's shank you down. You have adaptive armor. Yep. Hmm. Damn. Okay, so this character can do a dark ritual. Yeah, I think we actually can just spur the fog to action again. So that'll let it uh, swing again, basically. And then it'll just kill that scaled. Okay, so let's get the knights to come in. See if they can plow something down. It's a dark knight. Let's go. It already looks like you have infinitely more units. Than <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit in this army, dude. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty wild. Hmm. Oh, uh, so if you don't have the Overlord Tower, you can suffer some penalties in the um, in the late game. Well, not late game, but it gives you these events that are pretty unfortunate. So you should eventually build an Overlord Tower at like all your bases. Oh my God, this is so evil. Oh, my army's about to break. It was a good run. <laughs> okay, so the Dark Knight can come and just try and polish these guys off. Let's see if they can. Damn, couldn't quite finish him. It was quite accurate with their assessment. We have another dark fog that can move out? No, he's just gonna be chilling here, okay. Man, can we please get that unit? These cavalry need to be prepared for the charge. Tyrant knights, let's go. Do we get the kill? No, not quite, damn. How come you don't get to retaliate on these units? Is it some, some effect, maybe? I'm not sure. You must have did some. Yeah, I must have done some foul witchcraft. Um, cool. So this character's just going to hang out. You're going to hang out. All right, end turn. Intimidating or resisted. Weakens. Oh, I think everything's just running. Or some things are. Yeah, can you, see, you can see a lot of his units are running right now. Oh, man. For Frodo. <laughs> For Frodo, is that what you said? Holy shit, man. You can't retaliate on pull arms. Well, these are these are uh, berserker units against my zombies. I was curious why they couldn't they couldn't get back in there. So the the reason why? Oh no! Oh no! Post post bonking my lord. Look, <laughs> Garrosh went back after Turn von Haggard. Oh, he almost got him too. That's so shady. Damn, dude! Look at the last laugh of phone. What's even happening in the middle? Is everything just running? Uh, yeah, I think so. So the reason why the sleep combo is brutal because you put them to sleep and then you reanimate them as an undead unit and they don't get to come back. So it's just like you just kill a unit and I have basically have infinite mana because of the shadow trait. Um, the shadow culture trait for units dying giving you mana um, in conjunction with the... Um, with the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The Battlefield Convokers, or the uh, Powerful Evokers, yeah. He's not leaving empty-handed, I know. I It, it was, I, I reenacted uh, 300 <laughs> <laughs> when they're about to die, but he still chucks that spear <laughs> just to prove that even a god can bleed. Yeah. That's so funny, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Just, uh, everything's just fumbling and just... Just a haggard melee. <laughs> this is just like the trope of every like game ever. Just like the haggard melee rush, just getting owned by magic. It's like, oh man. <laughs> okay, you almost killed the zombie there. Yeah, don't you forget it. <laughs> Look at the duel back there. The berserkers are just struggling against that zombie. 
<laughs> oh my god. No normal zombie. It's got all my bonus buff traits. And there's just like that frost magic going down. <laughs> you totally you totally Xerxes, dude. Through the spirit Xerxes. What's still going on? Are you auto Oh, my zombies are fighting first. Okay. Because they have a mine I, I of their put, own. I put mine on. Yeah, I put mine on auto auto battle now. Yeah, we'll just claim victory, yeah. We don't need to even a god can bleed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude. That was brutal. Oh man, I don't know if I lost the unit. I don't think I did. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So some of the units will escape. Um, Gromash will Gromash will die, but he'll be back we'll, in his capital. We'll just speed things along here. Yeah, just just <laughs> give us the old surrender. Jesus, man. <laughs> I think you just with barbarian. I feel you just need to rush me earlier. You know, because I was a lot weaker than you earlier, probably. You know. Yeah, but uh, it's not what. Not really what I was looking to do. I know, I know. Well, we were testing the boundaries of the chosen destroyers, right? We're we're not he we weren't here to bring the sweatiest sweat. Yeah, I didn't think that would be either, but it, it turned out to be pretty strong. Like I went leadership debuffing, which I've always felt is kind of casual, but <clears throat> it seemed to work pretty well. We got three pantheon points for that. Ooh, Earthshaker hammer. What does that do? Gives you a quake ability on your character. Cryomancer staff. Oh, that's cool. Some rad items, some really rad items. So next time we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do next time. A good solid six hour stream. Yeah, well, Pony has the weekend off, so we're we're going we're going ham. Um, yeah, this one this one was quick. quick yeah, quick. well, we we both have gotten pretty fast in general. Like you and I get through our turns quickly. So, like I noticed, we were at like turn 40, 45, like a couple hours in. It just slowed down once we started fighting some bigger battles. Um, right. Yeah. So it's it's something. You have the same Pantheon Alrighty, level. Well, GG, big dog. Yeah, GG, man. We'll do Lord of the Rings next. So, Pone, Pone's doing Gandalf with Halflings, I think, right? Yeah. So, he'll do Gandalf with Halflings, like a Halfling army with Gandalf leading it. Um, and I'm going to do Saruman with Industrious uh, Orcs. So, it'll be like uruk -hai with like Halberds and Crossbows and stuff. So, <clears throat> it'll be it'll be pretty fun. We'll do that. Anyways, dog. Uh, GG. Yeah. Peace out. Have a good night, sir. You too, man. Take care. All right, GG to Pwn. It's a fun one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was that was quite a journey. That was quite a journey, but we got there. And uh, yeah, his morale, the morale debuffing was still pertinent, but it was mainly just the army strength being lopsided, you know? And, and the magic support, like OP spells, like tier five tomes, like it's just too much, you know, for um, a barbarian army to deal with late game. Maybe if he gets to like demon tech, but the thing is I could just like one shot the demons with that spell. And then if you cast the Age of Shadows, it's like the whole map is just like punishing your opponent. It's, uh, yeah, so we're going to do Saruman. Saruman will be a wizard, but he's gonna, not going to be using um, undead magic. He'll be using um, probably ice. Like, I'm thinking ice magic for Saruman with, um, I don't know, ice lightning backed up with industry. So we're going to go, like, half industry, and then we're going to go half um, half non-industry, like some sort of a caster could, to support Saruman. I think I feel it really captures, like, the Orakai well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourselves. Thank you for joining. It was super, super fun. I had a great time chatting with my friend Pone and all of you guys today. Thank you for uh, all your support, and we'll uh, see you guys back in the next few days. We'll, we'll probably stream this next time he's got a day off, um, so sometime next week. GG, take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you all on the other side.